four, Ashton Simmons on five, Chad Bartlett on the six, Tyler Fleming on the seven, Weston Gabriel starts off in the eight, the grid is set, marshals look good, drivers look good, race number one, shake and bake. Here we go. All right, so Rudin King out in front. That's Aiden hanging on. Noah's right there behind him. Pretty sure of that Sturchill. Pretty much everybody going just how they started right now. The numbers are set all the way down. Chat up on the pipe just a little bit. There's a triple. Problems there for Aiden. Noah Ward going to get around. Ah, Noah Ward gets bounced over. The dragon back, but cuts to the inside. Hangs on to her. Look at this. We're stacking up here for second. Noah. I think that's Sturgill now up to third. Yes, it is. Ashley McCormick is in the mix. And then Tyler, Aiden, West, and Chad. Ruben King, hanging on up front, no award in the two. Ashley McCormick in the three. Ash from the five to the three, one of the big movers, Tyler, Alex, Aiden. Leader hasn't quite caught up to lap traffic just yet. All right, Ruben King catches the tail end of the lead lap. That's going to be those guys letting him go. Chad and Weston doing a good job. You guys are having a little battle back there amongst yourself. McCormick, Ashley McCormick now up to the two. No award down to the three. We got two minutes left to go. Ruben King up front by kind of a lot. Ashley is pulling away from Noah just a little bit. Noah, one of the ones running four classes today. Now, Ashton McCormick be coming up to the tail of the lead lap there. Thank you. That's perfect. You guys are doing a really good job. Minute 35 left to go. Oh, Noah taps out, but so does Ashley. There's a car stuck in between him. Noah's going to get around the lap traffic there of Weston. So it's game on. Ashley and Noah, one minute to go. These guys get the uh, freshy track straight out of the morning. Probably a little looser one minute left. than it was at the end of last night. Oh, Noah's upside down. That might just do it. 40 seconds, 40 seconds.
Chad, Ashley, Noah, Tyler, Alex, Aiden, West, and Chad with 15 seconds left to go. This one's kind of in the... Ruben King with a pretty good lead. McCormick with a pretty good lead. Noah's still going to take home a plaque from this one, though. Cross line, you're done. Ruben King gonna win this one by a lot. And here comes Weston and Chad. There's Chad. Here comes Weston. And that's gonna do it. You guys are all done. All right, top two move on. Chad and Ashley North Ward will get the D main two five plaque. Weston, Chad, and Aiden, and Alex, and Tyler, you guys win some door prizes. So you can come in here and uh, pick from the litter here. I got some uh, Donathan RC stuff and some J Concept stuff. So when you're done marshalling, come in here and uh, pick out what you want. Up next, 13-5, four-wheel drive, D-Main. Zach, Dylan, Randy, Eli, Josh, Dave, Tom's not here, Owen's not here. Let's go. Almost everybody's checked in. Just missing Zach Gabriel. Only missing Zach Gabriel. Don't, yeah, straightaway is closed. Straightaway is closed. No more fast on the straightaway, please. Do not go fast anymore on the straightaway. Car one. Car two. Perfect. Whoa, whoa. No more fast on the straightaway. Zach Gabriel on the one, Dylan Haas on the two, Randy Gabriel on the three, Eli Vanderbeek on the four, Joshua Ryan on the five, and Dave Hassett on the number six. Dylan Haas on the two. Get up there. There we go. All right, all right, all right. Marshalls, we could use one more over there. Help Weston out. Wonderful. All right, here we go. Drivers ready, marshals ready. Shake and bake. That's the tone. Run away. At one point, I think we had an F main in uh, thirteen five four wheel drives. Both, both of them. After. Cutting out all the no-shows and the purge and all that stuff. Ended up with a D. Still not too bad. I think that's Dylan Haas getting away. Oh, no. That was a weird bounce. Hang on. Whoa. No, no. You got to wait. Okay, now wait for this whole pack. Go. Got to give up a spot if you're going to do that. Go, 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 go. So we lost one already. Yeah. 
pass it out front from the back to the front. Then you got Josh, Randy, Eli, Dillon. That whole pack of cars. Oh, ho, ho, a little bumpy. Nice. Side by side, four wheel drive. Dylan working on Eli. Oh, man. The door is shut. I want to pull out that Lord of the Rings reference, but probably none of you will get it. They're still slicing and dicing up here. Dylan still has a shot to sneak in. Just cannot buy a bucket. Eli, Randy, Dylan, Joshua back there. Meanwhile, Dave's like, well, I'll just be over here while well, you guys are doing all that. Eli's been fending him off. Dylan had a shot to uh, get a lead, but he rolled it at the end of the straightaway. Now he's back up to third, trying to hunt down Eli. There you go, hug it nice and tight. There you go. All four of those guys making it through the big sweeper. Dylan maybe a tick faster, just got to settle down. Two and a half minutes to go. Eli holding everybody off. Dave in the blue buggy white wheels. Pass it your leader. Eli Vanderbeek in the two spot. Dylan Haas in the three. Randy Gabriel back up to the four. Josh Ryan in the five. Help, 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 help. Go, 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 go. Eli's upside down. That's going to bring the pack back to him. Meanwhile, Dave driving away in this one. Race three already. About two minutes left to go. Eli, Dylan, Dylan gets close. Just got to settle down a little bit, stay off the pipes. Meanwhile, that's Randy Gabriel getting closer as well. Josh going to hit the pipe, bounce back just a little bit. Dave has it up front. Oh, man, it's game on. Eli and Dylan, two of the young guns here at the Plex. Dylan on his lid again. Randy off the pipe. Eli up the hill, Dylan up the hill. Just got to keep it in the black for the moment. Track's still a little loose in the morning. We're going to about, we're about, we started practice at 8, so we're going to, we're actually going to take our first track break at 10. I kind of fudge that a little bit. Oh man, Dylan still <laughs> can't quite seal the deal when he catches up to Eli. Eli's been fending him off. 25 seconds to go. Last lap coming up. 10 seconds on the clock. They're going to get one more. This is for the bump. Eli and Dylan. Dylan had the lead early. Eli jumps to the inside, but too far to the inside. Eli keeping it clean. Dylan bouncing around. You got to hang on to her. That might be all the room that Eli needs. Now it's Randy looking to get around Dylan for the plaque. So another race up for grabs. Last straightaway. Dylan hangs on to it. Dylan over the top, here comes Randy. Dylan will still hang on and get that D-Main award. He'll have something to take home, put on his wall this weekend. You are done, everybody is done. Dave and Eli will move on. Dylan, Randy, and Joshua, you guys get to pick from the prize pool. If I called you out to pick from the prize pool, you guys can come in and check everything out. Grab what you uh, 
Grab what you think. Car three. Car one. Car five. Car four. All right, we need to get to the Marshall Land. We were a little short, so again, some of these early races are going to be a little short. We are checked in, except for uh, Sergio. I think he said he wasn't going to race expert in this one, so everybody's checked in. Now we need to track down some corner marshals. Everybody's checked in. Now we need to track down some corner marshals. Again, Dylan Haas got the award for that one. All right, no more laps, no more laps, no more laps. We'll gather you up some corner marshals here. No more laps. We need, uh, we need somebody on the back wall. There's two cones and then the, uh, then the actual two cone. So the two, the three, and I think the five maybe? Straightaway's closed. Tyler Brinkerhoff on the one. Chance Rolk on the two. Aiden Petri on the three. Chad Bartlett on the four. Matt Robinson on the five, Mike Winders on the six, and Tim Marks on the seven. We could use one more Marshall on the uh, two cone in the corner. Well, we need one on the three too, so you pick one. We still need one extra. Thanks, Brandon. Brandon Carney, ladies and gentlemen, Brandon Carney. All right, here we go. Well, let's have some fun. Top two move on. Third place gets a nice, cool, heavy wood plaque that was supposed to be stained black, but they couldn't get it done in time, so they stained it cherry red. I don't know. Here we go. Caught you off guard, I didn't do my whole shake and bake thing. Pretty good start though. Brinkerhoff and Volk, those are two uh, local boys. But they get split up a little bit. I think that's Petri. Yeah, Aiden gets up there, but Ringrov looks on the inside. They touch a little bit, but that was side-by-side -side contact. Tyler had the inside there, so he's going to keep going. Misses the pipe. That's going to be Bartlett. So Chad Bartlett now up into the spot, folks, trying to do what Dave did last heat. Petri gets on the inside of Brinkerhoff again. This time much tighter on that turn on the downside of the tabletop. So now it's Bartlett, Petri, Brickerhoff. That's second, third, and fourth as they go up the top to the back. Over the triple. The purple buggy. Chance Rolk up front. Bartlett in the pipe. I think that's Petri getting around now for second. Brinkerhoff. No, can't quite get there. So Bartlett back to three. Then Tyler. Then here comes these guys, Matt and Tim. Don't count those two out. They're not that far back. Winders is back here. Brinkerhoff all over. Chad, look at Matt Robinson. Matt Robinson did a majority of the LED lights that you see in this building. He's been switching us over to LEDs as our old halogen lights have been going out. Electrician by trade.
Meanwhile, Chance Rolk just doing his thing out front. Petri's kind of gotten away as well. In fact, Bartlett bounced off the pipe again, so it's going to be pretty spread out for your top three. Got two and a half in, two and a half left to go. Chance Aiden, Chad, Matt, Tyler, Tim, and Mike here in race number four. We are going to blow the track off at 10 o'clock. That's a right around the two hour mark from when we started practice. And then we'll get back to the schedule that I listed. So we're going to take a very short five minutes, blow the track off at about 10 o'clock. You know, I don't know, however long it takes people to go that way and that way. It's been, we did it in four minutes the other day. Uh, last on, on practice day, I did it in four minutes. Five. Anyways, Chance Rolk up front, trying to put laps on some guys. He bounced off the pipe all by himself as soon as I called his name, so we'll stop doing that. Aiden doing a great job. He was in a dogfight there early, but he's gotten away a little bit. Chad Bartlett up into the three. Tyler Brinkerhoff into four. Chad right now would get the cool D main 13.5 plaque. Tim, that's uh, first place behind you. Thank you. One minute left to go. That's uh, your leader trying to get around winders there. That's not for position. Thank you. but he does have a lap on the field. I think he's gonna get away with it because Chad Bartlett's gonna get caught at the line. So Chad will get third, that'll lock Chance in, but unfortunately, instead of being ninth, he'll be 10th for the C main, but he did get away with one there. We're racing to the line here. Look at all these guys super close together all of a sudden. The whole pack coming together again like uh, like Hunter Biden at a Las Vegas strip club. And that's it. You guys are done. You guys are done. Aiden Chance will get the bump, and Chad Bartlett will get that third, that first place award. Nice job. Then it was Mike, Tim, Matt, and Tyler all kind of there at the end. Mike, Tim, Matt, and Tyler, you guys can come in and choose from the prize pool after you get done marshalling. On to race number five. Race number five. Car six. Car one. Car five. Car eight. Car four. Car three. Car nine. Car 7, car 11, car 10, car 2,
All right, we need as many marshals as we can get. This is uh, one where we bumped up from the uh, first main of the day. Everybody's checked in, no more laps. Everybody's checked in, no more laps. Nobody break anything. Everybody's checked in, no more laps. Everybody's checked in, no more laps. Everybody's checked in, no more laps, please. Thank you. All right. We need uh, one, two, at least two more. Two more marshals for this one. This is a big field, 11 cars. We need two more corner marshals really fast. Ronnie Wint on the one. Josh Ryan on the two. Zach Gabriel on the three. Alex Eichler on the four. Ariana Smith on the five. Levi Voth on the number six. Dave Hassett on the seven. Emily Bagley on the number eight, Lily Kaziski on the number nine, Travis on the number 10, and Alex, you get to be on the magical, mystical, imaginary number 11 back there, please. You'll have to go hard on the brakes or get somebody to hold you or something, probably. That's the only downside about having a wavy straightaway. There you go. Okay. Uh, 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 one more. One more. One more. One more. I need one more in the back. Matt's all back there by himself. We don't want that. Thanks, Dave. Hey, Dave, your daughter's in this. Hey, what are we doing there? Get back to your spot. Dave's got to watch his kid, so Josh is going to get out there. All right, here we go. Drivers don't suck. Shake and bake at the tone. Our first really big one of the day, 11 cars coming into that first corner. A little loose on the outside, getting a little sideways. Getting through it. Oh, man. Don't hit Richard in the butt. There you go. <laughs> we had a crossover two weeks ago that was about chest high, and it wasn't a, it wasn't a kicker. You just launched off of it, and uh, this kid named Bender decided to be a good idea to bend over while picking up a car right in the middle of it, and he got whacked right in the face. That's why I don't like doing crossovers, but it happens. Anyways, uh, Ronnie Wentz, he was at a wedding for the last two qualifiers last night, so he's just trying to make up for not being here. He's out in front so far by kind of a lot. And the two spot, I think, that, that is Zach Gabriel. Yes, how about Alex Eichler, let's go. From the four up to the three, then Levi, Lily, Josh, Dave, Ariana, Emily, Steve, and Travis. Ronnie Went now, he's got a big lead. He's just gonna have to take care of his car. He'll be doing the bump game, I think, for a while today. Zach Gabriel in a great spot. Alex Eichler not too far back there. Just keep it in the black, dude. Alex, one of the kids that I uh, challenged to make the B main. So he's got a little bit of work to do to get that $25 gift card. Same thing with Lily, Ariana. Alex a little wide at the end of the straight. No, that was Steve, not Alex. Steve's got a new body. Zach's gonna go around. There's Alex, Alex in the pipe. Who's coming up? I think that's Lily Kaziski. so a couple of my plexers getting hung up. Uh-oh, there goes Josh Ryan. Ryan over the top like Stallone. Now they're starting to hit each other. Take it easy on one another. Ooh, Alex sending it. Josh kind of got spun a little bit, but let's keep going. We got 2.15 left to go. Ronnie went out in front, trying to stay there. Pretty healthy lead. 
He is in that black, actually the white car with the black wing, black wheels, so try not to run him over, try not to take him out. So he's coming down the straightaway. Zach is in the white and pink buggy. He is kind of all by himself, over by the back, doubles, coming up to the triple. It's Alex and Josh right now running for second. Lily back up to fifth. Ariana now in sixth, not too far away from Lily. So a lot of action in the middle of the track. Alex Eichler letting Ronnie go by. So Alex in third. So Ronnie is lapped up to third place. We got 135 left to go. Getting through race number five already. We're gonna run one more race. So we're gonna blow the track off really fast. Oh man, Lily getting to the inside of Alex. Alex kind of spun out in front of her, so she's gonna take that spot. That is for the first place award from this main. Cars in the pipe. A lot of my Plex Beckers in this race. That's Lily and Ariana. That is for a award, a plaque from the two chicas. Ariana's right there. Lily and the associated Lily off the drop off. Doing a good job. Ariana and the low C up the hill. Oh, Ariana's putting her head down. Lily and Ariana, they're gonna get one more lap, 15 seconds. This is for the first place award from this main. Lily pulled away from Ariana just a little bit there. Hang on to her. Lily off the drop in, coming up to Steve. Try not to take Lily out, Steve. Try not to take Ariana out either. Over the triple, Lily hangs on to her. Ariana in the pipe, that'll put a fork in it, I think. It's all about the end of the straightaway. Cross the line, you're going to be done. And Lily is going to do a good job there and hang on to it. Nice job to Lily. Ariana is going to get fourth. Here comes Josh waiting on Emily and Steve. That will do it. Ronnie will take that one. Ronnie and Zach will move on to the D main of independent two wheel drive buggy. Lily's going to get the award the first place plaque. Then it's going to be Ariana, Josh, Emily, Alex, Travis, Levi, Dave, and Steve. Excellent. All right, uh, let's get all the models out there. We're only going to have five from this one for the next race. We're going to take a break right after this. We're going to blow off the track really fast. That'll be two hours from when we started running on the track. So then we'll get back to the schedule I have posted. I wrote on the, uh, on the sheets. We'll just go back to that. Everybody's checked in. No more laps. Everybody's checked in. No more laps.
No more laps. No more laps. Ooh, that's pretty cool. No more laps. Dustin Hosick on the one, Mitchell Pavel on the two, Craig O'Brien on the three, James Nelson on the four, and Lyle Lamb on the number five. Should have a whole bunch of marshals. I've been getting uh, asked some questions. I uh, I didn't I didn't have time to print off the uh, event timetable today until just now. So the uh, the four wheel drive modified A1 should be up probably about 12:45 ish. So that's when those A mains will begin. We should be done with the lower mains by about 12:40. Hopefully. We're actually ahead of schedule right now, so. All right, uh, Marshalls look great. Here we go. Shake and bake. That's the tone. Pretty good start. Mod two wheel. Dustin Mitchell, Craig. James and Lyle. Oh, Craig getting in the inside of Dustin and Mitchell. How about Mitchell letting up before he hit that step up? Ah, look at that. Gets in the inside of Craig. That's why he let up. Mitchell showing some maturity and some patience. He might have to change his name from Mitchell the Missile to Mitchell the Mature. <laughs> That didn't, that didn't play very well, did it? A little flick in the air. Pretty close. Mitchell, Dustin, Craig, and James is right there. Ah. Oh, Mitchell bounces off the pipe. There goes Dustin, there goes Craig. There goes James. He loses three spots just like that. Dustin Hosick, he's got the antenna up. Craig O'Brien. Right behind him, they can almost cruise for a little bit. Mitchell's going to have to really press here to catch back up. We take a very short break. We're gonna blow the track right after this. It'll be right after, right about 10 o'clock, 10:04. Kind of, kind of forgot to blow the track off before the start of the races today. We were busy. We were kind of doing stuff. So, sorry. I had a lot. I mean, I had to set up the computer. I had to grab all that trash that was in there. I had to fix a little emergency. Halfway, Craig and Dustin. Now the order is uh, Dustin with a little tap, Craig with a little tap. They both kind of got loose there coming up the hill. Uh-oh, here comes Mitchell. Mitchell Pavel back in the game. We got two minutes. Craig's gonna bounce off the inside pipe off the down tabletop. Mitchell takes a spot. He all set his sights here on Dustin. Dustin, a little whip. Whip. You can hear the tires squealing a little bit. Ronnie's got the blower ready. He's ready to go. He's the man. We are going to need some volunteer marshaling help for race number seven. We're only going to have five, so we're going to need like four or five more. I think that's a, I think this truck's up. Yeah, truck D main is up next. 
Might need some help here. Just a couple. Everybody pretty close. You got Craig trying to fend off James Nelson. That is for the first place plaque from this event. Here at the Hobby Plex, we go top 10 in first place for all lower mains. One minute left. One minute left to go. Little tap out there from Mitchell. James Nelson, oh man, just when I was gonna call his name, he's in the pipe. Craig's gonna get around for third, 30 seconds. It's still pretty close, one little mishap. And the next thing you know, you're down one, maybe two spots. James gonna get back around for third, just like that. Dustin, just keeping it right there in the middle. Look at Mitchell going up that step up, dragging back, being patient. They get the extra lap. Dustin gets the extra lap. Mitchell does, Mitchell does, barely, barely. 459.950, Mitchell barely makes the extra line. And James will be done, he'll get third, he'll get the award. Craig and Lyle will get a choose from the prize pool inside the booth here when they're done marshalling. Here comes Dustin, here comes Mitchell, here comes Lyle, everybody's done, everybody is done. All right, we're gonna take a moment, we're gonna blow the track off really fast.
Okay, Don, Mark, Josh, Chris, Emily, and Dave. Let's get out there and get lined up. Sorry, guys. Peter. Hey, everybody online. Thank you, thank you for tuning in. Sorry, I've been a little bit quiet. I've been trying to fix uh, the Facebook issues that we've been having. For some reason, we're not able to connect to Facebook, but I hopefully we'll get that figured out real soon. Anybody that wants any of the waffle tickets, let us know. This is for a B6.4, and it has with uh, also it comes with a mod puck system of choice. So James Elliott, yes, there is. Let us know. Let us know. Thank you guys so much. Appreciate your guys' support. Don, Josh, Mark, Emily, Chris, and Dave. He's in that green and pink truck. First time he's raced off road in a while. Mark Schmidt was the two, but I think Josh can get around here for that spot. Mark time in top for three. Then got Chris Engel and Dave. Josh, everybody, four seconds. Josh, you got four seconds. And then Mark, Mark got five over Chris. Chris has got eight over Dave. And Dave's got one point two over Emily. So that's for that for the moment. But we've seen of these races and coordinating that together a little bit. Thank you. And we've got so, 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 so. Get to the dead.
Wisdom was seven. I'm not sure if I'm
They're going to set Tony out up to the lead. He will drop the second. Dylan up to third. Ronnie Wint. Remember, he was at a wedding. So he's got to play the book game as well. But he got some pipe. He like goes upside down. Dylan Haas, one of our challengers, is a three. And Ryan also in a four. Steve Oliver Sarah. As they go up to step up. The car's stepping out on them just a little bit now. Here and there. A lot of straight relief from second over third. Ryan's hanging in there. Ryan's going. And Ronnie A now who's clear. Oh, that Steve Ball in the pipe. Dylan goes up to the bump spot. Ryan will be right there for third. Ryan sends it. Side by side, elbows out. Oh, a trickle of instant karma right there. Ronnie Wink, though, don't count him out. He's coming already. Two minutes in, three minutes left to go. He's in the five spot, but he's in the driver's seat, I would say. Dylan has to hold off Steve. And Steve goes around. He goes a little wide. Steve knocks out the pipe. There's Dylan. There's Ryan. There's Ronnie. Ronnie can't catch it. Ryan bounces up right now in the bump spot. Oh my goodness. Set up Ronnie. Oh, Ronnie bounces up into the straightaway. It is Steve Wall back at the bump spot. Ronnie's right there. Ryan gets on the inside of Steve. They go box around. Ronnie wins up to the two. Dylan, I'm back into the three. This is Steven Ryan. Let's see, we'll catch up to the tail of the lead lap. I think that that is maybe Randy Gabriel. We're going to have Sarah Carney behind him. That is not for position. Yes, thank you very much. Ronnie went now in the two. Then Dylan, Steve, and Ryan. They're battling right now for the plaque. Ronnie went playing Crusher of Dreams out there. Sarah Carney now has some slicing dice to the field here. We've got uh, the idea of going to let second place go. Thank you very much. Let me show you. I think that Zach. Zach can have first, right behind him, eventually second. Ryan Hemmick up to third. He's got a fast car, man. He's got a shot. We're leading to dodge, get, dodge up, and dodge and get traffic. That's third place behind Gabriel. Thank you very much. Ronnie Wynn is uh, putting a lap here on Zach. Ryan's right there. Ryan's all over Ronnie. This is for a bump spot to keep the dream alive. Ryan gets to the inside of Ronnie, takes the spot away. They're putting a lap on Zach. Ronnie trying to get to the inside. Oh, oh Ronnie gets stuck in the pipe. Sarah's upside down. Oh my goodness, Sarah's looks down. Got a step going in. It goes to the front. It's Ryan, Sarah, Ronnie. Where's Dylan and Steve? They're back to the battle. They gotta help these guys crash a few more times. There's 30 seconds left to go. Up to step up, driving back. Zach goes upside down, so the top three are free and clear. 20 seconds left to go. Ryan, Sarah, Ronnie. Sarah and the bump spot. 
spot. Run it down into the bump spot. Today so far. Sarah and Ronnie move on. Brian Nimick will get the award. Uh, when you guys are done marshalling, Steve, Eli, Bentley, Tim, Randy, and Zach, you guys can come on in and pick from the prize pool. When they run out, we run out. So there's still quite a bit of Jonathan stuff left. It was crazy. Race number nine, race number nine, race number nine, race number nine. Mark up for what I've seen, and we'll go into the box and box and help out with this one. I'm still working through some of those little names that are a little short. Justin on the one, Tommy on the two, Connor on the three, Chris on the four, Weston on the five. Should have plenty of motions from the last one, obviously. We're missing one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We need one right here from the trucks. Not from the trucks, from the buggies. Should not be waiting. Eli, right here. Eli, right there. All right, here we go. Shaking bacon at home. Start. Dustin, Tommy, Connor, Chris, and Weston with mixed vocals and out of counters here in this one. Ooh, Tommy. Why do you say that? Maybe a crossover, but Dustin, it's all coming. Tommy, a little shaky. That's going to get Connor right there. We're going to go around the second. Now he's going to go for the lead. Dustin, Tommy, he's got the pipe for Tommy now for the two. So it's Connor, Tommy, Dustin, and Weston and Chris.
Tommy Dustin, they're going to be putting a lap here at Weston.
buckets in the middle that are open. Now there's one bucket in the middle that's open. <laughs> Andrew Thomas on the one. Dave Kaziski on the two. Josh McMahon on the three. Ronnie Vick on the four. Ben Seidlick on the five. Casey Ford on the six. Steve Wall on the seven. Mike Stokowski on the 8, Dave Hassett on the 9, and E. Rye Vanderbeek on the number 10. Very good. I got one spot in the middle I need covered. That helped Zach out there. Ah, thanks, Owen. I can deal with that. All right, drivers. 10 car main event, independent C main. Drivers ready? Marshals ready? Shake your day. He's pulled up to the two and Josh, Steve, Dave, Ben, how about the local for this one? There's Mike. We want to use up the spot and then Dave. I want to sit down in the middle. That was Josh and Silver Buggy, so we can have Andrew Thomas get their way. Andrew has actually won a 13 type club race on a Saturday. Yeah, he actually smoked me about a month ago on a Saturday club race. So not used to being in a CMA for Andrew, but he's uh well, he's used to now. He's one of these guys. He's uh, cool. he's in the two spot in the pink buggy. That car for sponsored by 99 Watt Watt Balloons. Speed off rotors. Battle here for 
that final uh, third spot for the award. Oh no, oh no. Steve is also done something after that car. Maybe it's a ball cup, but in a short race like this, it is devastating. Andrew, look at the pilot. Let's turn the back from Josh and Mike here. Oh no, that wasn't Andrew. That was you line the pilot, my bad. Put the same car over here. Now Andrew's going to be putting laps. There's Dave. He's going to get around Dave. Casey's also going to be getting around Dave. They got a big win now. We're going to have a third place to Dave Sissy. He's going to have uh, nobody behind that Steve Ball, but unfortunately he is going a lot back down. And because of the ball cut, so Ben is going to be in the floor. Then Mike, Eli, Josh. Let's go, KG! Uh, Josh going to get from the inside of Eli. That didn't work. Stuffed it in the pipe. Go down two minutes left to go. Andrew Thomas is left from the get go. Casey's been in second base for this whole time. They're a pretty big lead over the day. Dave's got a pretty big lead over Ben. Five seconds. Casey, you're done. You get that spot locked up. The plaque for this one, Dave Ziski, your C main winner officially. Everybody else is done when they cross the line. There's Andrew. He's going to move on as well up to the B main of independent four-wheel drive buggy. And that's it. Everybody's done. Andrew, Casey, Dave, Ben, Josh, Mike, Eli, Steve, and Dave. Let's go. Race number 11.
Hey, hey, everybody. Seem to find a workaround for the Facebook issue. So we'll, we'll get that uh, all dialed in and hopefully have up the J Concepts feed here really, really soon. Special thanks for tuning in. For everybody that's on, we're still doing that waffle. We have what looks to be about, let me see here. Uh, I think we got about 18 spots left, guys, for the B6.4 waffle, thanks to NorthwestHobbies.com. So if you guys want to... Uh, want to get in on that 20 bucks a slot helps with the live feed and uh, you also get a puck system with it so of choice so puck system plus a b6.4 for you so if you guys want in on that i think we got about 18 spots left something like that 13 spots or something yeah close to 18 18 i think so if you guys want in on that let us know Thank you guys for tuning in. Sorry about the technical difficulties we've had yesterday. Usually our our system's pretty sound. And uh, for some reason, it's just been like gremlins upon gremlins. BJ Williams. It's your birthday. Happy birthday there, BJ Williams. like we have a couple guys in this one seven guys in this one also guys we're giving away free uh free mod or j concepts t-shirt but you have to get the top four in order top four in order uh nick nuthouse two more spots please nick nuthouse are you under nicholas chestnut because I didn't see Nick Nuthouse on any of our other uh, ones. Let me know on that one, Nick Nuthouse. Okay, so that is Nicholas Chestnut. Thank you, sir. Nicholas Chestnut, I think. He's around the big buckarama status. All right, we're going to get back to racing, guys. Thank you for the support. Oh, they get bunched up behind. So the top two going to get away. Somebody's going to sneak by. Might be Winders. Looks like it. More trouble up that step up dragon back. So David Fast to the front. Conley Jr. in the two. Matt Robinson, I believe that's him up to the three. Rustin Patton out in the four. Then you're going to have Mike, Lyle, and Ryan. So David Fast trying to get out of Dodge here. Conley Jr. in the two. He's got Matt Robinson closing in on him. That is the race for the bump spot at the moment. Up the back, a little bounce. Oh, too far to the inside for Robinson. Fasty. The blue, white, and silver out in front. Conley Jr. in the two. Robinson in the three. I think that's Lyle up to the four. Yeah, it is. Lyle moves up a spot, possibly getting up to at least third here. Putting some pressure on Matt. Then you got Rust and Mike and Ryan. Meanwhile, David Fast just clicking off the laps, clicking off the laps. We've got four minutes left to go. Lee, Matt, and Lyle right there. Matt bounces the pipe a little bit. Lyle's got to keep it in the black a little bit. Back tabletop, those second, third, and fourth. It's tightening up just a little bit. I've been saying a little bit a lot. Just a little bit. Oh, Matt gets to the inside. Nice pass for Matt. Just enough room to get around Conley Jr. And Lyle's going to be right there behind 
Conley now, and he's going to let him go, maybe. David Fast, comfortable, healthy lead. He can just chill out. Take his mind off of things. However, Matt Robinson will have Lyle Lamb right there behind him. I think Patton out also has gotten around to get up to fourth. Winders and Conley Jr. will be back there battling for fifth and sixth. But the bump spot still on the line. Matt Robinson coming up the hill. Down the straightaway goes second and third. Four minutes in, two to go now. We're putting a lap on that orange buggy. Be careful there. I think that was Ryan. So it's Robinson. Matt Robinson and Lyle Lamb still. That is second and third. They've been that way now for the last minute or so. Watch great. We're clear. One last push for Lyle if he can catch up to Matt. Lyle's going to be a little closer this lap. 26.5, that's Lyle's fast lap. One minute to go. Probably three more laps. One minute left. Matt a little on the outside of the groove. Oh boy, Lyle's right there. They're getting up. Oh, Matt gets sucked into the corner. Lyle gets around for second. Two more laps. Final lap here, Lyle has pulled away from Matt Robinson now. David's gone, he's gonna get an extra lap as a matter of fact, right there. Cross line, you're done. Looks like Lyle's gonna take the bump. Matt's gonna get that, uh, that first place plaque for this one. There's Ryan, David Fast gonna get one more lap. Pretty good practice run there for Fasty. You are done. All right, race number 11, race number 12. We are up. Race number 12. Ugh. Huh? Car one. Car eight. Car nine. Car six. Car five. Car three. Uh, probably. Car four.
All right, this is a big one. We need to make sure we have all of our marshaling spots covered, all Big Ten marshaling spots covered. This is a 10-car main event independent buggy. Car seven. Car two. No more laps. No more laps. No more laps. No moss. No more laps. Straight away is closed. Straight away is closed. Over fast Thank you. Okay. Trevor Moss on the one. Ben Seidlick on the two. Josh Catron on the three. Mark Schmidt on the four. How come Josh and Mark keep qualifying right next to one another? It's kind of funny. Uh, Casey Ford on the five. Roger Nemec on the six. Mike Salkowski on the seven. Brooks Underberg on the eight. Sarah Carney on the nine. And Ronnie Wint. Where is Ronnie Wint? Oh, okay, we'll give him a second. No pressure. Here he comes. He's a busy dude. He missed two rounds of qualifying yesterday because he had to go to a wedding. Had to. Basically means if he didn't, his wife would be really mad at him. So, had to. I was gonna put it down there because I hit my. Putting himself down. Uh, I need a marshal in the ten buckets. I need one bonus marshal on the ten. Every other bucket is covered, so we're dialed. All right, unfortunately, we're in the C main, and I don't see any names here on my $25 challenge, so Ryan was so close. I'll have to wait till the ProTech race next year. Ryan's going to be really good by then. I'm not even kidding. You'd be better than you are now, for sure. All right. Here we go. Driver's ready. Marshall's ready. Independent buggy C main shake and bake at the tone. No, oh, a little mix back there. Too bad, just keep it in the black. Our next track break to dust off the track isn't until race 20, so. A couple more upside down. Meanwhile, Trevor's like, well, I'm going to see if I can get away. He's going to go up to step up, gets through. I think that's Chance Rolk? No, Chance, that's not Chance. Who is that? I see a purple body. I'm like, oh, that's Chance. It's not Chance. Easy, easy, easy. Oh, boy, they both get around. How about Sarah Carney now? Up to the two is Carnage behind him. Oh, that was Brooks. I forgot about Brooks running the purple body. Trevor Moss up front, Sarah in the two. Uh, let's stay. Kowski up to the three, then Underberg. But it's uh, Selkowski that's keeping her honest here. I think the all the way up to fourth, maybe? Yeah. Fourth, then you're going to have Brooks, Mark, Ben, uh, Ronnie, Josh, Roger. Trevor Moss with a whole bunch of clean track. He's got a huge lead over the field. With four minutes remaining as well. 
Sokowski has gotten around Sarah for the two spot. And Casey now creeping up on Sarah Carney. She's already bumped up once. Ah, she rolls it over. The field gets stacked up behind her. Ripping in and crashing. Ronnie getting up there a little bit. But second place, top of the step. Casey's going to be right there. It's game on here for second. Trevor Moss is the white and yellow buggy. You got to let him go when he catches you if you can, please. And Trevor's going to have to be patient. A huge piece. If you need to wait a second or lay up or whatever you got to do, do it. But that's just my own strategy, if that's a word. Pretty sure it's a word. Man, up the hill. This is starting to get gnarly. Casey and Brooks. Oh, Casey gets out in the loose stuff. Saves it somehow. Then you got Brooks, Mike, Josh, Ronnie's in the mix. Two and a half minutes left to go. Oh, Casey bounces off the pipe. That's going to be Brooks sneaking underneath. Woo! Over the top. Oh, no. Mike and Mark getting together. Ronnie's got no luck. Here comes Roger Nemec. We're bouncing around. I think that that's Katron up to the two spot. Nobody wants second place in this one. It has changed numerous times. Two minutes left to go. I've seen a couple wait. That's good. We like to see that. Also seen some instant karma. That's okay. Maybe we settle down because Josh, Casey, and Brooks are still in the mix here. Then it's Mark, Roger, Mike, Mike Sarah, Sarah, Ronnie, Ronnie Trevor, Trevor way out in front. Casey up to the two. Trouble in the triple. That's going to let Casey gap the field now for second. The battle is now for third. I think that's Schmidt. Behind Josh Catcher, and he's going to take him out of the I'm not encouraging that in any way. I'm just saying. Good pass there for Mike. Get around Brooks there. Right to the inside. Stick. Oh, Josh got a little loose. Mark's right there. They crisscross up the step up. Meanwhile, Casey way out in front in that two spot. Trevor way out in front in the lead. 45 seconds left to go. Oh, Josh crashes to the inside. Mark Schmidt takes over the three spot. That's for the first place award from this. What are we on? C Main of Independent Two Wheel. Can lay down a heater. He's thought to catch, catch up. Ford in the two. Trevor way out in front. Trevor might even make the extra lap to the deal. Oh no, that Casey. Oh my goodness, Casey off the track. Mark Schmidt goes up to the bump. They touch down the straightaway. It's gonna be the last two quarters. Oh, Josh bounces on top of Mark. Mark Schmidt's going to turn and burn. He will move up to the B main. Casey's going to hang on for the first place official plaque, and Josh will come up just a little bit short. What a crazy, crazy finish to that one. Man. Trevor Moss had this one pretty much from the get-go. And Ben, you were done. Everybody is done. Oh, my goodness. Let's get back up there to corner marshal. Ben's car is broke. I'm not sure if you can get any more broke than that.
our night. Part three. Car seven. Car four. Car one. Car two. Car eight. Car six. Car five. All right, let's get everybody out there to corner marshal. Car 10. Oh, I'll try not to break him, guys. Don't break him before you race him. I know we got one running back to back. I think Josh is. I think Brooks, this is that one lower main that we had some running back to back. I think we're still going to be pretty good on Marshalls. The straightaway is closed. The straightaway is closed. The straightaway is closed. Ryan Mariana on the number one. Tyler Fleming on the two. Noah Ward on the three. Rob Sturchill on the four. Tim Weekins on the five. Kevin Blowers on the six. Brooks Underberg on the seven. Steve Wall on the eight. Don Drews on the number nine, and Josh Katrin on the number 10. We could use one more in the middle to help Casey out. All right. Oh, we missed number nine? Don, Don broke? Ah, all right. Yeah. Oh, Ben, you're supposed to be out there, aren't you? Uh, uh, go to the 10. Go to the 10 bucket. All the way over there. My wife just brought me four cold Mountain Dew Kickstarts. I'm, like, super happy right now. You just got to keep them cold, though. That's the problem. My fridge went out. Do you guys know my fridge went out? That's why I've been struggling. Otherwise, that thing would be packed. Here we go. Shake and bake. That's tone. And away we go, nose to tail. Not too bad. Nobody hit each other that first one, so that's good. Ryan leads us out. Tyler Fleming still in the two. No award in the three. Up that step up for the first time. Oh, straight away, straight away. That was weird. So was that. Huge crash from Noah. Doesn't change your top two, but I'm pretty sure Sturchill now up to three. Tim up to four. Noah in the five. Tim now up to the three spot. Rob drops back to the four. I think Ryan might have done one of those wheelie crashes where you get a wheelie and then you can't hold it and it tumbles for a while. And then all that, got Noah in that. Somehow Noah's truck didn't break. Top five kind of breaking away a little bit. Ryan and Tyler have been in that bump spot the whole time. Tim's been in that three for the last couple laps. Rob and Noah. Right there as they snake through. Oh, wow. Noah somehow finds a way to get around two cars. Up to third now. Oh, no. Ryan going to be three-wheeling it for a little while. But right there, something had to give after that wheel came off, and that car is done. Tyler Fleming will inherit the lead. Noah, finally in a bump up spot. Then you got Tim Weekins in the three. Rob Sturgeon will now be in the four. Kevin, Josh, I think that's Steve Wall, Haida, that's your full order. 
So up and around we go. Tyler down the straight. Noah down the, down the two. Two that was three. unfortunate for your leader. We'll do an instant they replay right away. now. Him three losing is. his wheel. Coming Getting up and over. Goes into the turn. The spot for now. Boom. Wheel gone. 320 left to go in this C main. The stadium truck. Okay, our leader's gonna be catching up to the tail in the lead lap, so let's be careful with him, please. Chris Hyda, that's second and, or first and second, coming up behind you, and eventually third. Noah did bounce off the pipe, so Tim is lingering back there in third. He wants a shot at it. Josh Catron, I'm sorry, that's gonna be first and second, and eventually third. Noah, right on the rear bumper of Tyler Fleming. Oh, Tyler Fleming just noses down all by himself. Tim's gonna move up to the two. Noah's your leader, Tim in the two, Tyler in the three. It's game on for the bump spot. Rob Sturchill lingering back there in fourth, few turns back. Now it's gonna be Chris Hyde, gonna have the leader in front of you and then second and third behind you. Wow, Tyler got underneath the, of Tim. And gets that spot right back. Tim's in trouble, he's on the pipe. Rob Sturchill gonna come around and take over the three spot. Minute and a half left to go. One minute left to go. One minute left. No award your leader, Tyler Fleming in the two. They got a pretty big lead now over Sturchill. Sturchill's got a pretty big lead over Tim. Tim's got a huge lead over Kevin. Uh-oh, was that Noah? That was Noah. Tyler Fleming gets back to the lead. Noah's gonna be right there with him. Tim's, or <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say, Tyler's like, well, you go right ahead because that's Rob Sturchill behind us. With 15 seconds left, Rob's gonna keep the top two honest because they're gonna be on the same lap. Any little hiccup and he'll be right there. Fleming being very easy with that step up. Rob's got to push a little bit, but I think he's going to run out of space and time. There it is. Top three are locked in. Noah and Tyler will move on. Rob Sturchill is going to get the first place plaque for the 13-5 Stadium C Main. Tim Beacon's going to be fourth. Kevin fifth. Brooks, Josh, Steve, Ryan was out. All right. Let's move on. Race number 14. Race number 14. Two wheel mod C Main. Car seven, car two, car six, car five. Car eight, car one, car nine, car three, car ten, car four. 
We're all checked in. Everybody's checked in. We need our stadium truck drivers out there to marshal, please. Yeah, you guys can uh, pick up your first floor main plaques from the tech area. I got the uh, Sutherland's helping out with that. Alrighty guys, thank you all for tuning in. We got the J Concepts feedback up. Let's get those top four guesses in guys. Chance to win a mod shirt or a J Concepts t-shirt free of charge. We send it straight to you. Just guess the top four. We figured out that Facebook thing. If you guys can do anything, share, share, share the feeds for us guys. If you can do anything, that would be really, really helpful. We're um, uh, it's all sorts of gremlins. All right, Owen Vandy becoming the one. Richard Lake on the two. On Tom Smith on the three. We had the network box go out on us, so we lost internet and was troubleshooting that for a while. And now, something going on with our Facebook uh, with the profile that's connected to, which is mine. So, uh, had to figure that one out. We got uh, another account, so we're back and firing on all cylinders now. So, we're happy about that thank you so much for tuning in we'll get it figured out and the bugs worked out in the future but for now for the rest of today we should be dialed in all right let's get this modified two-wheel drive buggy c main event and going in this one this should be actually pretty good there's some al horns in this one all right and we're starting off you're going into the first corner it will be Owen Vanderbeek grabbing that uh, that hole shot right there. And these guys are freight training around the track. Top four already starting to put some distance between themselves and everybody else right now. Coming around, that's Vanderbeek, Blake, Tommy Smith, and it looks to be Al Horn off the straightaway right now. I believe top two bump out of this one. So these guys are battling out Al Horn yesterday. We had some replays of him, him having some issues, that is. So Al Horn getting his uh, feet underneath him, and let's see what he can do. He's still in that fourth place position as we're in this five-minute C main event. Coming on to the straightaway right now for these guys. Dropping down and up over the tabletop. Coming through. Oh, and they touch midair. I don't know about that one. I can, let me see on that one. I can rewind it. So we're coming around now. Top three breaking away right now. I'm going to check that one out. So, yeah, as he came, as he came up and over, I'll do a small little replay real quick for you guys. We'll jump right over, and you can see it. Just barely tagging him there and off going. That was your instant replay brought to you by RC Garage. All right, down the straightaway. All right now, these guys coming off, tripling out, coming through. It is Tommy Smith, Al Horn, and Richard Lake doing the double. And out. Oh, Al Horn looking on the inside makes it stick. Nice clean pass there for Al Horn as he's coming around up over the triple right now. Makes his pass on Tommy Smith and Richard Lake now in tow. Richard out from hobby action. Al Horn from RC1. And I'm not sure Tommy Smith, he may be a local. Coming around right now up over the double here. We have Al Horn going to be taking that one. Oh, and they both grab each other in the corner there. No harm, no foul. Get going once again. Al Horn going to be checking out from the top two. Oh, and he spins over right there. There goes Richard Lake. Richard Lake goes by. Coming around right now. Second and third, battling it out for the last two bump, or the last bump position, I should say. Richard Lake trying to nab this one from that of Tommy Smith in this C main event. It's been a super stack build. Oh, and he grabs a pipe there for Smith. Down the straightaway now. Second and third, Al Horn's out of 
out of the shot right now. So he's later dude gone right now as Al Horn trying to check out. He's going up over that triple right now. Megan's on him as he comes down the straightaway for Al Horn. We'll get back on the battle on the beginning of the straight off the straightaway. It's gonna be coming right here. So that's gonna be your battle for the last position, third place, and I believe that ends up being first if they take the top two bumps. So that is the battle right there, and then there is fourth and fifth place right there. Oh, and he takes a digger into the pipe. Coming around right now for, that is gonna be, oh, Ryan Prince coming up. He's in the three now. Ryan's gonna be coming up on his hobby action teammate. Ryan Prince all the way out from Arizona as well. I always thought he was from Hoosier RC Hobby Plus. That's the first time I saw him and met him. He's like, dude, I'm not from Indiana. So pretty funny story. He works for Southwest, so he gets those plane flights for a dialed price, if not free, I'm not sure. Coming around here for Prince. Prince up and over the tabletop. Now we have Tommy Smith tracking him down. Coming up and over on the outside looking in for Tommy Smith. Well, no, on the outside looking in there for Ryan Prince, as we both know, he wants that bump spot from Richard Lake and bragging rights over one of the best announcers I know, Richard Lake from Hobby Action in the all yellow car, green car coming around up over the double. Nice looking strong here from Ryan Prince. He's turning it up here at the end. I don't know if he's gonna be able to get, oh, and Richard Lake makes a mistake. Coming here at the end, Richard Lake feeling the pressure right now. Ryan Prince looking to do it. Up in our tail, oh, goes in a little bit too hot for Ryan Prince. Oh, Ryan Prince might lose another spot. And he makes it stick there for Prince. Prince grabbing that third place position, almost having Richard Lake there. Richard was feeling the pressure. Pretty sweet. Al Horn taking that one. Impressive run for Al Horn. Well, Al, you didn't blow out on that one. Yeah, I finally put it together. <laughs> Great job, buddy. Thanks. Richard Lake, were you feeling the were you feeling the pressure there? Dude, I don't I don't I don't shake very often at races, and I was like, I don't know. I was like, Ryan Prince was getting to you. How'd you how'd you feel out there, Ryan? You were moving. I'm trying. I was trying. Good run, guys. Thanks, guys. Thank you once again, guys, for tuning in. Much appreciated. What's going on, Sick Lids Mango? What's going on, Joshua? Chris Nunez saying great coverage. Internet gremlins happen. Thank you there, Chris. I know, it's uh, just... For some reason, we've got actually all of our stuff here, the, all the new goodies that we got. Um, we got a new a new switcher board. We got a replay device. We got all new uh, technology up here. We got where I can say high racers. So we got a little uh, where we can write on the on there for you as well. So we've got all sorts of new stuff and all that's figured out and we've pretty much worked that all out. And um, yeah, we've just, uh, the things that we've had for years and years like internet and Facebook um, have been issues. So who, who would have thought that that would still be a problem in 2022? So looking to get this one started. Once again, guys, if you guys want in on the waffle, let us know. That NorthwestHobbies.com B6.4 with a mod puck system of choice. Let us know if you guys want in on that. I think we got about 15 spots left in that one. 
Proceeds help the live feed. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you can do anything for us, guys, please, please, please share, like, and subscribe to the channels. And special thanks to jconcepts.net for bringing us on out to cover their awesome series event out here. Shannon Malfatano. We got 15 spots left there, Shannon. 15. All right, guys, we're off and underway once again here. 13-5, expert up and over. Chad taking that whole shot, coming down top three, top four now, breaking out from the rest of the field as the others have problems. We'll see who those guys are, but I'm guessing it's a top four. Chad, Ryan, Alex, and Tyler Swift coming up and over the small triple already. Chad looking to not make this one good for anybody else as he's trying to break away from the pack up and over the tabletop here dropping down for Chad Tyler Swift Ryan these guys are moving right now coming around up over the triple Ooh, little washy there Gives advantage back to Tyler Swift a little bit. Tyler, one of our mod drivers out there. He's got that puck system in there. Dropping down up over the double. Tyler Swift out from Hoosier RC Hobbyplex in Indiana. We're going to be there in about a month and a half. Up over the trip there for Tyler. All over him. Down the straightaway. Oh, he has to let off. He was pulling him, and he said this isn't going to be smart. Up over the tabletop right there. For Swift. Now they're doing a double top three, breaking away right now. On the outside looking in is Ryan. Ryan going to want to get up to that number two at least. Oh, and he takes a digger right there. Full send mode coming through there, but now it's the top two, breaking away. Then third and fourth going out for the scraps right now, and also a podium spot. Phantom Power Joshua says for Swift. Oh, and he makes a mistake there for Swift, barely grabbing it. Oh, no. Up over the double. He's going to give up that bump spot. He's not going to be happy with that one, but gift for Ryan. Ryan takes that one up over Swift, definitely faster. He's going to be tracking him down all the while. Chad trying to run away with this one. As we're coming by, we have Swift. And Ryan, Megan killing it on the camera right now. Definitely tracking what's going on with the action. Keeping everybody in frame. Top three right now. Still top four. Take it. Starting to break away. And now they're going to start be, They're going to start to bunch back up as Chad is slowing up. Or These guys are just catching up. Coming around right now. Swift is going to look to battle out this one for this last spot. Oh, nice inside pass there from Swift. Class dismissed on that one through the double. Up over the triple right now. Swift oh, going up and over the trip, down the straightaway. He's setting his sights on first place right now for Swift. Swift on it, coming through. Dropping down there for Swift. Swift. Going to try and get to that number one position. Here go up over the triple. Down the straightaway now. Through. Here we go. Here comes Chad and Swift. Swift is going to be putting on the afterburners now in the last minute and 20. It looks like Ryan is out of this one unless they crash. So either these two work together. Up over the tabletop, they're coming through. Doubling out here. Let's see. Oh, and he makes a mistake. Swift could have easily went by on that one. That wasn't his fault. He was being nice. Up over the trip now. Oh, Swift looking high, looking low, looking for that super clean pass here. He's made them this entire time. Coming through the start finish line. Swift all over him, first and second. Dropping down over the J Concepts, double, doubling out here into the team associated corner. 
up over the oh and he tried to send it in right there but swift holding it that was super clean there down the straightaway swift taking that one over here from chad oh chad makes another mistake it's swifts to lose now swift up and over that back tabletop he's got it nerves getting to chad out there tyler swift on throttle and moving what a good run here from swift up and over the triple down the straightaway from Swift. We got some battles here at the back. We're gonna see, oh, and it looks like Chad makes a mistake. Ryan gonna get it. Way to go, Tyler Swift. Tough luck there for Chad. And Ryan gonna grab that one. It ain't over till it's over. Shannon, I will confirm on that. I just have to check it. I'll get this. Good run from Swift there. I'm gonna get a little interview with him. Good run, Tyler, man. You, that was a hard fought battle the entire time. You're all the way in third for a while and you just you, you put your head down, made it up, got all the way to first. Yeah, I just tried to be really patient and just stay as consistent as I could and, and the car was really good, just didn't really have to push it. Nah, well definitely consistency paid off and patience paid off using that race pace out there. Congratulations and best of luck in the B-Main. Right, thank you. We got class going up here for Connor Light, Matt Robinson, Casey Horn, and Ross Spiritual. So. getting this one started Shannon Malafitano thank you sir Shannon our biggest uh, biggest uh, ticket holder yet thank you Shannon he got many a spots thank you Shannon for the support all right we get this one started already breaking away for first second and third right now Remember the top two bump, and then the third place gets a plaque, and then fourth and fifth gets a plaque. I believe that's how it goes. All right, up and oh, and someone taking a major digger. That was third right there. 
All right, second going to be trying to track down first right now. Dalton versus Keaton. Up and over. These are seven-minute runs. Coming here at the end, one and two, breaking away from the rest of the pack. Let's see where the rest of the guys are. Oh, and you can see in the peripheral, that was third and fourth. Oh, man. Oh, no. That was horrendous. Coming through, that's third and fourth. It's just, it's just, uh, it's anarchy back there. First and second, breaking away from the field. Megan's on it with the camera. Coming up and over the tabletop through the start finish line. As we're coming around, doubling down here for first and second. Third place is just coming by the start finish line right now. Don. Don coming through in the pink car, dropping down the double on camera. Fourth behind him, fifth and sixth. Right there, top two are just breaking away from the rest of the pack right now. Their later dude gone. It's a battle right now, kind of, for third and fourth as they come onto the straightaway. Shannon Malafitano, I hope you win it, man. We appreciate uh, your support. Well, you definitely you have the best chance to win it. I hope everybody wins. There we go. That's the best way to say that. But thank you, Shannon, for the support. Helps with the live feed and uh, with all the equipment. We got a whole bunch of new stuff here so we can bring better streams to you guys with replay stuff it's uh we made a good about five six thousand dollar investment in more equipment to bring you guys good coverage thank you guys up and over the triple right now so a bunch of these guys so as we're coming through oh no so guys are coming through right now jonathan haas connor someone walking off the stand keaton coming by so Jonathan, Connor, and Andrew, we'll find them on the track. They're halfway in it right now. They're going to be coming off the straightaway. Here they come. Let's see who this is. This Jonathan? That was Andrew. So Andrew, then Jonathan. So these guys are battling it out for fourth, fifth, and sixth right here. Sixth place just taking a digger. So we have... Third, fourth, and fifth all together on screen right now. Coming up and over. Third coming down the straightaway right now. Fourth and fifth in tow. Coming around right now. Rimfire saying he's going to get two spots. Thank you, Rimfire. All right. As we are moving. Still looks like third place trying to check out, nab himself a podium position. Third, fourth and fifth right there on the left-hand side. There's sixth and seventh coming through. First and second just checked out. They're gone. Later, dude. No, you're looking good. Coming through by the start finish line right now. That is David and Jonathan. Andrew just ahead of them. That is your closest battle on the track for fourth and fifth. Black car versus yellow and purple car. As they come up over the triple right now, that is your closest battle as they're coming through, jumping up, and now down the straightaway for your fourth and fifth spot. And I believe that, oh, oh nice inside pass there for, for fifth, for fourth, I mean. So David grabbing that one from Jonathan up and over the double right now. Class dismissed on that pass coming through, but I know he wants it back. Oh, looked inside, can't make anything stick clean. A little bit of a chassis slap there. Up and over the triple. Oh, and he grabs the pipe there for David. Jonathan, he wants that position back because that's going to be further up on the podium. Coming around right now, up and over the double. But now he's going to have a rear full view mirror of Connor. Connor coming up on Jonathan right now as they are moving around up and over the trip. Oh, Connor taps out of this one. Down the straightaway right now. Let's see where these guys are. Everybody pretty much spread out in this one. It's going to be, there goes David. There goes Jonathan. David's going to be in the yellow and purple, dropping off the double right now. Now the black car of Jonathan going off the double. That's still pretty much your closest battle right now. Oh, did Keaton and Dalton end up battling it out? Your first and second. Let's see what's going on with that. They are super close together. 
So they're actually, we'll catch up with that battle here soon as we're in a minute 20 left to go. They should be coming by the line. And they are your first and second right here. The zebra print and the yellow and pink right there. That's one and two. The pink car leading out the zebra car up and over through the triple. They're going to be coming up on basically fifth and sixth place right now, putting them a lap down as they head down the straightaway first and second for those bump spots. They already have it locked in, but to add insult to injury and a grid position right there, going through the double. Oh, he gets it wrong for first place. Oh, and then lap traffic snags him. Coming around right now. That was pretty not good for first place, but he's back up and going once again, but definitely diminished his lead. Still, we keep it close here. First and second now down the straightaway. And off, lap traffic playing a factor in this battle. Coming through your leaders one and two by Hobby Town Wall. Up and over the double here, dropping down. Looking good as they're coming through. This little slow line there from Keaton. Dalton right there. Oh, Keaton doing the sky pass right there, risking injury. Trying to get that, that win coming through. Oh, there's some lap traffic, and he makes it by. It will be Dalton grabbing that one. Keaton in the two. Awesome running there from Dalton. Good job to Dalton. Dalton bumping up to that A main as well as, I believe, Keaton. Dalton and Keaton. Good job out there, Dalton. Hard fought battle there with Keaton all the all the way there at the end. Were you shaking a little bit? A little bit, yeah. Very cool. Is this like your first A main at a big race? Uh, no, I'm, I got A main at Protech for two wheels. Way cool, man. Well, look good out there. Hard fought battle. Anybody you want to thank out there? Uh, just my family for letting me do this. You got it, buddy. Best of luck. All right, thank you.
All right, everybody. Megan had to skip out. So Shake it, oh, bake. Megan's back. That's that was tone. quick. <laughs> what? All right, Megan's back up and going. I stand corrected. Someone right, broke. Shake it, bake tone. All right, we're getting this one going. Easy through the first couple corners. Let's get past this tabletop. That's been where a lot of the carnage has been. Oh, Brent does the inside thing that I was just talking about that from the last race. It's only a few spots, though. It's going to stack up the field a little bit. I think that might be for getting the worst end of that one. Will you charge my mini battery? Yeah. So Myers out in front. A little roll over there from uh, Damon, but Damon in the two. Then Sam, Brian Mariana, Tyler Chad. Chance, Ashley, Brent, and David. Dalton Myers, Damon Smith, one and two. They've broken away a little bit. We'll see if they work together here and try to get away. As Brinkerhoff from the eight to the three, that's probably the biggest mover of the race so far. Sam, Chad, Chance, Brent, Ryan, Ashley, and David. Getting close up to the B. I think the B mains are up next. Stadium truck B main coming up. Top two up that step up, doing good as they turn and burn down the straight. Riley in the five. No. In the five. Chad in the six. Now it's going to move up Chad up to the Change his color a little bit. Nope, that's Reuben King. Sorry. Uh, nice pass for Brent. Right there. That was beautiful. Seems to be passes so far. Also seen a lot of guys knowing their beat, too, which is nice to see. Look at that. Oh, it's going so well. Help, help, help. Dalton Myers and Damon Smith. Damon just took the lead from Dalton, but honestly, it doesn't matter that much. These two just trying to get up into the B main. Behind them, it's changed up a couple spots, but I think that's Reuben King still solidly in the three spot. Chance Rolk now in the four, Ryan Marion in the five, then Brent, then David, then Brinkerhoff, then Sam. Then Ashley. One and two have got some clean track. They got a minute and a half before the finish. One minute left. Little battle right there between Ryan, David, and Sam. Back there for sixth, seventh, and eighth. Got Brent chasing down Chance. Damon's pulled away from Dalton. Uh oh, does I say that? Damon went upside down. 20 seconds.
Cross line, you're done. Chance going to sneak in front of Brent there right at the end for fourth and fifth. Tyler's going to finish ahead of that pack. Ashley and Ryan. Here comes Peevler. Damon going to win this one. Dalton going to get second. Andrew going to take one for the team. Chad will get the uh, first place award after all that. And we are done. We are done. OK. Race number 18. Race number 18. All righty, I guess we had a, a Marshall go down. Let's replay that one. Basically went, eh. I rolled out of that one, I don't even know what happened. What do they do where they have the little little gun that fires a bullet? Shot him. It's like in those memes. Pretty funny there, replay. I don't know what happened. He must have caught his foot. All righty, guys, getting into the next one. Thank you so much for the guys getting in on the waffle. So as of right now, I'll also post it up so the guys can see their specific uh, ones they got. I went through all the payments and everything like that, and it looks like everybody is confirmed with what they uh, have done. So, so far, 42 spots are taken. So 42 out of 45. So there are three tickets still left, guys. Three tickets still left. And then that's it for the B6.4 waffle here from northwesthobbies.com. And uh, you can see it better with the, with the purple there. So with the northwesthobbies.com. And also adding in a mod puck system of choice for your B6.4. That's a bonus there for the winner. So a B6.4 kit with a mod puck system there. So if you guys want in on that, let us know. We have three tickets left, three tickets left. As we get into this next race, let's guess those top four guys, top four in order for your chance to win a mod t-shirt, mod t-shirt, mod t-shirt or a J Concepts t-shirt of your choosing. Top four, let's do top three in order. We'll do that, top three in order. Top three, top three. All right, you guys, we're getting this one going. Stadium truck, the main event, and we're off. Coming through. Up and over the tabletop here. Doubling down. Ooh, someone getting it wrong. That was Connor tapping out of this one. First going to try and take off and get gone for Templeman. Mason Templeman. He's won a couple, I believe, some JBRLs, all sorts of stuff. He's out from Saugus Raceway from Hot Rod Hobbies, our friend Jimmy Babcock's facility. Up over the tabletop there for Templeman. Templeman dropping, ooh, a little bit on two wheels there for Templeman as Dustin looking to track him down in the yellow truck. Coming up and over, Templeman's car looks like it's like a little bit off right now. He doesn't look super comfortable while Dustin looks like he's on fire on, on all cylinders right now. Coming around. Down the double, up and over. 
Make sure you guys share, like, and subscribe the feed. It would be helpful. Steve RC, Steve Iker for the waffle. I will check real quick here, Steve. Steve, Steve, Steve. Yeah, Steven, or that was the one where you were Stefan. Stefan, Steven Eichler. We got you for one spot there, Steve. One spot for Steve. Let me know if that is correct. Oh, and getting it wrong there for second place. Grabbing the pipe. Mason Templeman, now he's checking out and getting gone. Now his car's looking good. Number two, not as good as he's starting to slip out. Oh, and just now second place. I don't know, something going on with his truck. He looked so strong before, and now having issues. And just like that, we're in a heated battle for second and third and fourth now as they're coming through up over the triple station. Oh, and he grabs the pipe for second, going by. Oh, and grabs the pipe again. That was third. So these guys, third, fourth, and fifth, screaming down the straightaway right now. Second place trying to get up and gone, get his feet back underneath him. He has the speed. Coming through right now, third, fourth, and fifth in pitcher view. There's second place right ahead of him up over the triple. Here comes third up over the triple. Templeman is later dude God right now. Templeman out of here. Oh, something going on with our, why is our bottom right-hand side little Chingus not working? Okay, let me see here. Should be back up and firing once again, and we are good. There's our tracker. All right, race number 18 of 42. Coming through right now. Up over the triple section here. We have Dustin coming by the line. Trevor, Connor, and Brian going to be coming by the line. That is second place on camera. Oh, your leader. Taking a tumble right now. A little chink in the armor, possibly. He was way out down the straightaway right now for Templeman. Templeman out from Saugus, California. Hot Rod Hobbies is his home track. Let's see if Dustin has anything for him as he gets his feet back underneath him. But it doesn't look like Templeman. For him to be in the B main, he's been having some issues with his car. Oh, and he makes another mistake. Something hasn't been quite uh, quite right with his truck. He's going to need to try and figure that thing out. Heading down the straightaway. Just right now, first and second battle with 250 left to go. Lots of racing left. Mason Templeman making small mistakes here. Car doesn't look super comfortable. Oh, second place taking a digger in the pipe. Looking on the inside. Can't do anything with it. Templeman back out once again. Seems to be white knuckling that thing as he drifts around the corner, drifting again for Templeman. So something up with the traction on his rig. Maybe we'll catch up with him. Coming after this one, Templeman over through the double, usually very fast in the truck class, fighting for traction out there. As you can see him just drifting around these corners, coming around up and oh, almost going over right there. Something happening, we don't know. I don't know what's going on. Templeman coming through. Templeman coming through up over the double right now for Mason. Mason doubling out, just drifting through this thing. Tokyo Drift, they're saying, out there up over the triple. Oh, drifting again. Down the straightaway for Templeman. Just seems like a rear end's locked up or something. B.J. Williams, 40th birthday today. Shout out to B.J. Williams. Up and over the double. Oh, and Templeman gets stuck. He needs to get marshaled. But nowhere to be seen is Dustin. Templeman once again. Up and over the triple. Now down the straightaway here for Templeman. Templeman table topping out of this one. Car just looks so loose. Oh, and he crashes again. Just holding on to this thing. 
On and up over the triple there for Templeman. Templeman down the straightaway. Looks like he's on ice. Up and over, down by Hobby Town. Tabletop dropping down the J Concepts double for Templeman. Red and blue coming through. Triple. Oh, 50 50 grind just like that. Maybe Dustin, here he comes. He's right there. They're going to be on to the straightaway. That's one and two down the straightaway right now. Mason just holding on to this thing. I don't know. We don't know what's happening. We got one more lap left to go. Up over the double here. Mason Templeman going up over the double. Dustin right behind him. Templeman up over the triple, making it stick. Let's see if he can hold on to this one. Tripling out down the straightaway here for Templeman. Templeman right there. He's about to finish this one off, and he grabs it. Mason Templeman grabbing that one, and Dustin here at the end. Whoa. He was getting heckled, too. Tanya saying cash out for the waffle. I'll check it out there, Tanya. So I'll see how many spots she grabbed. Let's see if we can grab a, something with Templeman here. I need an interview. <laughs> so Mason, were you just gooning out there or is it really that loose? It just looked like you were on total and complete ice out there. Yeah, that thing was very hard to drive. <laughs> so what's going on? We know you're out from uh, from Saugus, out from Hot Rod Hobbies. This is usually your class. You're super fast in it. What's going on? What, what hasn't been figured out by now? Man, dude, I've been struggling with that thing all weekend long. I've, dude, I, I like rebuilt it yesterday and it was better for the last call. And right now it was just like on ice. It, so it looked crazy out there, but you held on to it, kept that in line. Uh, you need to figure out something for the main man. I know you got the skills to do it. Uh, you know, throw every, throw the book at it. I'm, I'm throwing the whole kitchen sink at it. Yeah. Good luck out there. Anybody want to thank? Yeah, absolutely. I'd like to thank all my sponsors: Team Associated, Reed E Proline, Team Asso I already said Associated, uh, RC Speed Secrets, Harrod Hobbies. Uh, my family, friends, everyone supporting me, and Sticky Kicks as well. Congratulations. Thank you. I appreciate it. Rick Prava saying that was stressful to watch. I am with you on that one there, Nick. Let's see here, guys. All right, Tanya's son, she shot us over for a spot. Oh, man, guys, we are down. We are down to two spots left. Thank you, Tanya's son. So we are down to two spots left, guys. Two spots left. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So two spots left for the B6.4 with a mod puck system. And you know what? I'm going to sweeten the pot even more because you guys have been so awesome. We're going to be putting in another mod puck system. Whether you want a four-wheel drive kit, a two-wheel drive kit, anything like that, mod has you covered. So we're going to spin it again for those guys out there for a mod puck system or something around there that you guys want because somebody might not be into RC. So if you want, we'll just we'll hook you up with a bunch of swag, something. Um, so for those guys out there, we're going to throw in another puck system beyond that for another winner. So there will be two winners in this one. One for the B6.4 with the mod puck system. And to outfit your rig, we're going to give you another mod puck system of your choice. 
Rick Provis. Where do I enter the waffle? Right here, Rick. Uh, let us know how many spots you want. If you want uh, Matt Check, I'm, I don't know. Maybe he means messenger. Let's see here. Here we go. Looks five minutes quickie. Take a bit. All right, we might have those last two spots checked. All right, guys, we're going to get this one started for the racing. All right, so Chris Nunez getting in and Sean O'Hare getting in for one. And then because we announced this at the end, I'll do one more for Rick if he wants one. Okay, so that's it, guys. So Sean, Chris, and Nunez, you guys, that's it. That's it. We had three guys answer at the same time. We'll make an exception because we're going to be throwing in that extra kit as it is as well for you guys. So you have two chances to win. So, so Rick, Sean, and Chris send it in. And we'll end it with that, guys. Thank you so much. All right. We'll get you guys covered after this one. Back to racing we go. All right. One, two, three, and four coming through right now. Up and over. Oh, getting it wrong there. All righty, guys. Some down. Then you got Wesley, Nate, Brandon, Tommy Mitchell, Owen, Dustin. Mitchell bounces out a little bit. Ryan Dunbar, right behind your leader, but they both know what they got to do here to make the main. Drew, trying to chase him down, just did a Leaders coming up quick to Mitchell and Owen. Drew Rubin King back to back to back, mid 22s. Real top two in a little bit. Thank you, Mitchell. All righty, guys, we're moving on with this one. We're all closed down for the NorthwestHobbies.com and ModHobbies.com, ModSpeedShop.com waffle giveaway there. We'll get back to racing. We'll let you guys know what's going on after this for them. Okay, we're turning and burning right now. One, two, and three on camera. Mason, Brian, and Drew coming through up over the double by the team associated corner. It's heating up here with humidity a little bit as they come through up over the triple. These guys are going to be getting into some traffic, coming down the straightaway. Oh, it's some traffic right there. Oh, man, that's a green car. Oh, gets by him three checking through modified four-wheel drive b main event up over the tabletop right now doubling down here for these guys and moving a lot of people streaming right now please share like and subscribe as we're coming up over the triple right now your leader mason then brian dunbar Ooh, brian getting it a little bit wrong there coming down the straightaway right now or right, that was mason let's see what happened there goes mason and there goes Brian and Drew. So those guys are still there. They're in the mix right now. There's Brian in the yellow and orange. We have Drew in the yellow and red coming through right now, breaking away from the rest of the pack. These guys go. 
Coming through right now, up over to, oh, almost getting it wrong there for Dunbar. Dunbar got, got past that pack. Up over the double right here. Coming through, Drew right behind him. It might be Drew in the, might be Drew in the pink and white. Let me see. And it is, so Brian Dunbar and Drew, that is your last bump position right there up over the double. Double in the back by Team Associated Corner. Brian Dunbar coming up over the triple. Time has expired, Brian up and over and down the straightaway right now, able to stick it in the A main for Team Yokomo right now. Great running there from Dunbar. So top two bumping up, four wheel drive modified buggy. Mason Herrick grabbing that one. Brian Dunbar in the two. And Brian making that bump up right there. Congratulations to those guys. Let's see here. Good running. Do you win that one? Perfect, stay here for me. Good job out there, Mason. Dude, running strong out there. Brian coming behind you. You guys kind of broke out from the rest of the pack, making it happen. Yeah, it was, uh, I mean, pretty easy car to drive, honestly. It felt a little slow, but that, it was pretty consistent. So. Awesome. Anybody you want to thank out there? Uh, definitely my mom and my dad. They're a big help in the pits, getting my cars up here and, uh, yeah, just bringing me up here, basically. Awesome, man. Good luck in the main event. Thank you. Alrighty guys, it looks like we are all filled up on the wheel. We had one more getting because a bunch of guys, but we added it and sweetened the pot anyways, so makes it better for you guys and because we love you guys. That's why. Alright, we're gonna get these last couple guys in. Alright guys, we're gonna light the fires on this one. The waffle is closed. Waffle is closed. Alright, we're gonna get this one started. Expert four-wheel drive buggy B main event. Top two bump in this one. Oh, and we're off. Whole shot here for Cole. Cole on it. Oh, top two. Oh, repping. Getting the worst end of the deal on that one. He had tagged the pipe and got twisted around. He's gonna need to play catch up in this five minute main event up over the double here. It's all about Cole Henriksen though and Damon Smith as they break away from the pack. There's third and fourth in tow. Talons there as well from Hoosier. 
coming down the straightaway right now. Let's see what these guys have to say about it. First, second, third, and fourth coming through right now. Down the J Concepts double for second, third, and fourth as we're coming through. Third and fourth is your biggest battle right now. That's podium right there. Oh, and he tags him a little bit for Talon. Let's off on the throttle. Smart from Talon. He's coming up and over the triple. Now down the straightaway. So right now going through the triple sec, going through the tabletop, I should say. Third and fourth. Talon in that fourth place position. In third is going to be James Dolan. But right now Cole Henriksen and Damon Smith going on to the straightaway. Third and fourth on camera view right now as that is your closest battle. We'll keep an eye on first and second. Let's get on with first and second through the tabletop down the J Concepts double. That is one and two, your top two bump positions. Coming through, Cole up and over the triple, trying to keep calm and consistent here for Cole. Cole now down the straightaway, on and moving for Cole. Right now though, Damon chopping away at that lead, like chopping down a tree. Coming through up over the double by the team associated corner up over the triple here for, oh, and he takes a digger there for Damon. Here comes James though. James not enough of a gap right there. Talon's right there as well on the outside looking in. Talon needs to pick it up in the B main here. Trying to make it up to that A. Oh, and he drags on the pipe there will be James now everybody pretty much spreading themselves out we'll get on with our leader and we are already on it Megan handling it coming down the straightaway right now up over the tabletop for Cole Cole now has a let me see what the differential is uh, he's got about probably about two three seconds on second place right now coming around Talon Tapping out of this one, going down to sixth place now. Oh, second place grabs the pipe, has to go second place battle right now up over the triple. Going to be coming onto the straightaway. That is Damon Smith and James Dolan. That's for your last bump position. Something happening to, I believe, Dolan on that one. Might have tagged something. Coming around, that is second and third place Damon and James. Up over the double right now. These guys are turning and burning out there. Up over the double team associated corner, J Concepts triple. Oh, and he almost takes a digger into the pipe there. Oh man, into the pipe now down the straightaway. Takes a nice inside pass there from Dolan. Oh man, oh, grabbed him right there. He's gonna have to give that one back to him, and he does. We're back on our way again. That's second and third, but here comes a gaggle of cars. Three more cars coming up behind him. So as these guys battle out, they're looking to possibly give this one up. That's going to be Dolan and Smith. Didn't see exactly what happened there. Let's see, someone grabbing it. All right, as we're coming around, Damon grabbing that one back from James. But here comes a gaggle of cars. Talon ain't out of this one yet. As we're down to a minute left to go, there are four cars that can battle. They're going up over the triple right now. Try and keep all of them in focus view as we're now coming down the straightaway. Up and over that second, third, fourth, and fifth for Talon coming through. Down the J Concepts double, breaking away from Talon right now as they're going, Damon, James, and Ryan up over the triple for these guys. This is for your last bump position to the main event. Everybody wants to make it to the A main, to those triple A's. Oh, someone takes a digger. Oh, he's got a hold, hold more on that one. I'd say it's almost a little bit more of a stop and go as he flipped across the straightaway. That was Ryan. Up over the double right now. These guys are battling it out with five seconds left to go. This is their last lap. Up and over the triple. Oh, coming now down onto the straightaway. Let's see. He's going to send it here at the end. This is it for him. Who's going to get this one? Bam. Damon Smith going to grab that one over James Dolan. Talon's done. Cole. Hendrickson gonna get uh he's gonna get a bump up spot there breaking away from the rest of the pack.
awesome running out there. Cole, seen you at many different races, making it happen. Don't you race big cars as well, if I'm not mistaken? Uh, no, I help my buddy uh, John Kinzer. He races RC cars too, but that's not every Way cool, man. So doing awesome out there, dude. How does it feel making the main event? Uh, it feels good. We definitely struggled a little bit in qualifying. I was expecting to be top five and... I don't know, it just, uh, we never run slicks here, so it's definitely different, but uh, I don't know, we're just ready to get after it in the main. Way cool. Any Anybody you want to thank out there? Yeah, I got to thank Tom Rinderneck with uh, R1 Works, you know, he always has my back. J Concepts, tires were hooking up out there, and Bat Fast Hobbies for the sport, and uh, everybody at Hobbyplex, I mean, this, this event's awesome, so I always love when it comes to town. Congratulations. Awesome, thanks. Thank you so much for tuning in, all the help and support we were able to get. We're sweetening the pot there with another puck system. So we're going to have two winners in this uh, in this waffle here. Just You guys are awesome just supporting the live feed. We really appreciate it over here at Mod. And uh, we're able to reinvest in new equipment and uh, getting people out here and everything like that. So it's uh, greatly appreciated that you guys are uh, helping us out. So I wanted to throw that in there. Thank you, thank you. Okay, let me see. We're all ready. Let me see here. I'll take this off. Okay, so we're gonna do we're gonna do the picker wheel here. I'm gonna show you guys just to confirm. I'll show all you guys the uh, the picker wheel. It's not as fancy. I need to get a fancier one here in the future but we'll uh we'll survive Thank you all for tuning in. What are you guys liking for all the uh, the racing? It's it's pretty good out here at the Plex. For those tuning in, there was a uh, there was a huge um, guys with the with the Pro Line crew. They were going super super fast at the beginning and still are going fast. But also the J Concepts guys need to catch up, and some of the guys going to the Silver Compound, and that seems to be where everybody's like now mashing and they're on it so that was uh i think a huge thing for the jc guys so it's good to see everybody making it happen all right let me see if i can get this set up i'm trying to one hand talk to you guys let me put let me see if i can put it on my headset hold on I almost need to show you guys the amount of wires and everything that I have up here. It's crazy the amount of uh, equipment that we have up here. This is 30 bucks. Crazy for the amount of equipment. Let me see if I can get basically this so you guys can kind of see it.
Okay, it doesn't look super professional here, but I'll kind of show you guys. You can see it right there. Sorry for the uh, exit out of that guy. So you guys can see it right there. There's the spinner wheel. And I'll go here, and you can see your name that's going to be on it. So I'll scroll down. You guys can see of how many entries there are. There's 46 where it's under inputs. You guys can see what we've done. We're going to mix these up as well, so everything will be mixed. So if there's any discrepancies right now that you guys see that you paid or something, you let me know right now. And if there isn't, if there is a discrepancy after the fact, I'll refund you and give you a shirt um, free of charge. So we try and do the best we can with everybody. We had one guy that said, "Oh, you didn't get me in." Later on, he told me he never even sent it, and he made a big fuss about it. So I was not super happy, but at the time, I, it looked pretty unprofessional. wasn't stoked about it. So there's everybody. Make sure, remember, it's 20 a spot, so you guys can see who there is. This is for the NorthwestHobbies.com V6.4, so you guys can see that right there. And uh, you guys can rewind this. I'm going to take this off, so we're able to get back on with the racing. Thank you guys, thank you, thank you. Comment in if there's any discrepancies and we'll be pulling it here probably before the A mains. Take that out and we're gonna get this racing started. started. 40 plus two wheel drive Mont Buggy B main event. And we're off. Coming through here right now, Brent and Riley on it. These guys coming through, a gaggle of cars, top three breaking away from the rest of the pack. Up over the triple. Oh, getting it wrong there. Oh no, oh no. Pile up everywhere. No, oh man, this, oh geez. No, oh, I don't know what happened. Megan's laughing over here. Scattered bugs, Megan says, scattered bugs. Don't know what, to, I don't even know who's going right now. All right, it looks like David and Eddie in one and two. Rob Sturgill, three, four, five for Craig. Thank you all for tuning in. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe. Okay, let's see what's happening as we head down the straightaway. Now it looks to be second and third, or is that Eddie coming by? Uh, that's Eddie and Rob right now. Ooh, coming through. Someone having issues. Oh, no. I believe that might have been Eddie having issues right there. Up and over. Thank you guys all for tuning in. We greatly appreciate your guys' support. We're going to be giving away basically over 700 bucks worth of stuff here. All righty. These guys are jumbled all around, but there's a bunch of them up there down the straightaway right now. Up over the tabletop here goes by Craig and Brett. Eddie going down to the four now, dropping down through the double. Oh, getting it wrong there for Brett. Back on his way once again. There's Eddie in the white and red. He flips over. Up and over the triple there for Eddie. Back away we go. By the start finish line for Craig, Brett. Here comes Eddie comes by. And Brent Riley now. Second and third, first place though. David Pivler just checked down and gone. He came by the line right now in the green and gray car, but it's all about 
the battle for second and third as they're coming by the tabletop, by the finish line right now. What's going on, Brian Cross? Greg Vander Brisk Briskrit said you had an excellent description of the cars. <laughs> coming around right now, up over the triple. Down the straightaway now for these two. Second and third, the last bump position that's up for grabs. And through the start finish line. Coming through, good battling right now down the J Concepts double. These guys look like they're both in team associated rigs. Up and over the trip here. Ooh, spinning out there for Craig O'Brien. Brent Nelson right behind him down the straightaway. Ooh, Brett gets it wrong. There he is on camera right now. Thank you guys, thank you for all your support of the live feed and our efforts. Greatly appreciated, definitely a labor of love. Trying to grow the hobby and you guys make it possible. And also of course, jconcepts.net. They make it possible for us to get out here. Up over the triple right there. Heading down the straightaway. That is your leader on camera right now, David Piver. David on camera in the green and gray. Going through the back double around the team associated corner. Tripling out there for him. Looking good. Oh, almost some lap traffic there. Down the straightaway. And by the start finish line. Up over the double, doubling out here, team associated corner. One twenty to go. So Craig and Brett Nelson, that's the battle for second. One twenty left to go, one twenty to go. Still on with Pivler, your leader in the green and gray. Coming through, Craig O'Brien and Brett Nelson. Let's see where those guys, oh, and they were having a battle, not anymore. He just flipped at the end of the straightaway. That should pretty much seal the deal. David checked out and gone right now. Half lap lead over everybody else, or his closest competition, we should say. Coming through, nice, smooth, calm, and collected, using those old man skills. Down the J Concepts double and out. Craig O'Brien going to be in the two. Brett Nelson in the three. Brent Riley and David Fast rounding out your top five. Down the straightaway here for David Pivler. Going to be coming up on some lap traffic here. Letting him by. That was Eddie from Hoosier RC Hobbyplex. We'll be there in about at the end of September, beginning of October. You guys will want to join us up and over the double here at INS 12 at the Hobbyplex. Hobbytown Hobbyplex, that is, in Omaha, Nebraska. Ooh, David Piver, oh, getting right by him there, down the straightaway. That was good to go, coming through, and done skis. What's going on, Carlos Sanchez from El Centro, Tom San, go Piver. Hey man, well now I know it's 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 Peebler. All right, awesome job out there, man. Hey, from from uh, start to finish, I was saying using the old man skills, smooth and consistent, look great. <laughs> yeah, yep, just being smooth and consistent. Uh, like to thank my sponsors, Team Where's Associated, J Concepts, and for putting on a hell of an event, uh, Boom RC, and that's pretty much it. 
That's awesome, man. Look good out there. You excited for your main event? Yeah, well, of course. It's going to be great. Good luck on making that podium, and congratulations. Right. Thank you, sir. You got it, buddy. All righty, guys. Thank you guys for tuning in. And be sure to share, a like, and subscribe. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe, guys. Megan doesn't like my writing, guys. You guys can see that. Share, like, and subscribe. I'm just like, I'm freehand. I'm like Picasso over here, Megan. I'm like Picasso. Yeah. She wants to give me handwriting pages. That's messed up, guys. She's a teacher, though. That's messed up. And I fly her out here and everything. I'm getting, sh I can't say that word. I know. She's cameraing, though. She's doing a good job. Thank you guys for tuning in. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe right there. I can't give you this pen, Davey. I don't trust Davey with the, the ultimate pen. He could be drawing some stuff on here that we shouldn't be seeing. I won't, I promise. Uh huh. All right, guys, and we're off. Expert two wheel drive buggy 17.5. This is going to be a good one. Say take off James Dolan, Riley, and Tyler Swift. Oh, and Tyler Swift getting. I, I don't know exactly what happened there. Back on their way. Oh, no. I don't even know if that was Tyler Swift's. Uh, he kind of was, like, underneath him. I don't think that was even his fault. So just unfortunate there for Swift. Let's see what's going on. I think that, I think that was Filbert. Filbert, I think, hitting that one. Oh, no. Riley goes down. Oh. So Dolan, Stanley, Smith, Sturgeon, Swift, Rep, and Price, Filbert, Edwards, and Myers to round out your fill. Top two breaking away from this one as they head down the straightaway right now. All right, and we're out. First and second, James Dolan, Tyler Stanley on it right now. Coming around down the J Concepts double. Here comes Damon Smith dropping down. There's Reppin. Reppin has that full mod puck system in there. Reppin had a terrible four-wheel drive run. He hit early on that pipe and just could never recover. It's super important in these five-minute runs that you just get a first clean first lap. All right, second and third and fourth starting to see some daylight between each other right now. First is trying to check out from the field. We'll keep on second and third right now as they go through the short shoot straight away up over the double by the team associated corner going up over the triple right now for the both of them. Here comes Reppin as well from Hoosier RC Hobbyplex in Southern Indiana down the straightaway right now. Second, third, and fourth dropping down up over the tabletop right now by the start finish line by the Hobby Town tabletop. Up and over the J Concepts double, dropping down into the straightaway. These guys have three minutes left to go, and there are three of them going to be trying to battle out for that last bump position right now as they go up over the trip. Down the straightaway right now for second and third. James Dolan just trying to get at and gone as these guys are starting to track him down. Tyler Stanley Smith and Reppin as they come through, dropping down up over the double through the team associated corner triple oh and just tapping out there for that was stanley hitting that one let's see if we can get that on instant replay and we can as he comes off you will see him we'll get a quick replay right here for you guys coming up and over can't make it he hits boom and taps out of that when they go by back to the live stream. 
coming around. That's going to be second and third. Reppin versus Smith as they come down the straightaway. And we're out here. Oh, and Reppin gets it wrong up over the pipe, and he's back on his way once again. Oh, and looks like Tyler Stanley grabbing another pipe, loses another position for him. That looks like Swift going ahead of Stanley now. All right, but it's all about Reppin and Damon Smith. A minute 30 to go between Hero 2-0, making it or not making it for Reppin right now. Reppin up over that tabletop. He wants to get into that main event. He's got the skills for it. Reppin by the Team Associated corner coming around in that Team Associated B6.4 with the mod puck system in there. Grab them on modspeedshop.com. And down the straightaway we go with Damon Smith coming around up over the tabletop section for them. And around Reppin starting to put on the burn here at the end. He knows he's got a minute left to go, minute to go up and over the double. Doubling out here. Reppin going to the triple. Ooh, goes a little bit wide, spins out there for Reppin. That's going to cost him about half a second there. A little bit more breathing room here for Smith. Coming around, James Dolan just checked out and gone in this one. Dang. Oh, and he flips over there at the end. Here comes Reppin. Reppin is on it with 25 seconds left to go. This is your battle for the last po last spot on the bump spot. Coming down. Ooh, can't make it stick as they're coming onto the straightaway and off right here. Coming through as they get one more lap after this one. Here comes Nick Reppin. Nick Reppin on it. Coming up over the tabletop right now. Dolan later do gone. Oh, I don't see. I didn't see what happened. Kind of grabbing on the back of him there for Reppin. Let's him go. Back on their way once again. Coming through. Let's see if Reppin can do anything up over the triple. Smith wants this one. Reppin wants it even more. Here comes that Tyler Swift coming up on him. That is Tyler Swift right there on him, making a pass here at the end for Swift. Whoa. Wow. Tyler Swift coming out swinging there at the end on Nick Reppin. Let's see, James Dolan. Here with James Dolan, dude, lights out the entire time. You kind of just checked out, stayed out of the drama, and uh, we're gone. Yep, so I got a good start, just kept the lead, put cruise control on, just got the win. Awesome, man. Anybody want to think out there? Uh, team Associate, Jay Conson, 3D Power, and that's it. Congratulations. Thank you. Rimfire saying, Megan, thanks for the great coverage. She says, you're welcome. All right, guys, we're in our B mains. And for our guys w thinking about the, uh, I think they'll probably have like another break uh, for everything. So we'll end up doing it probably before the A main event is what my thinking is. So we'll probably have that done before the A-Main events for you guys for the Waffle. We'll get a good little breaking point, but we sold out of those tickets. We appreciate you guys for the support. And like I said, we're going to throw in another mod puck system kit of your choice. Two-wheel drive, four-wheel drive, truck, you want a, or you want a normal drivetrain system, you want pin drive stuff, the featherweight stuff. So it's it's your choice on what you want, basically what you need. So that will be the second, uh, the second prize there. 
We appreciate you guys and all your support and what you guys are doing for Mod Live Media. Appreciate jconcepts.net and, of course, northwesthobbies.com. They've stepped up, helped us out this year. Uh, they've stepped up big time, going to be providing a kit to us for a lot of our streams so we can do what we need to do to help raise funds to uh, make these streams possible and for us to be able to invest in people and equipment because we're just looking to break even, guys. That's all we want to do. <laughs> and if you saw the stuff we have here, it's not cheap. So we appreciate you guys for stepping up. As we get in a 17.5 independent two-wheel drive buggy, seven-minute main event. A lot of people here watching this one. This is good to see. Everybody's priming up to watch the main events. That guy way overshot. All right, we're going to get this one going, guys. Let's hit it. Seven-minute main event. And we're off. Dave taking the whole shot right now. Second, third, and fourth. Getting away clean right now as they break away from the rest of the pack a little bit. Oh, nice inside pass for Diego on Jonathan and gives it right back to him. Oh, Diego makes another pass on second right there as they're coming over. Oh, and he grabs the pipe. Oh, man. Was slicing and dicing. Then he hit the pipe right there. That was unfortunate. I believe that was Diego that hit the pipe. Oh, no, he actually got tagged by somebody and sent him in. Something happening way back here. But, yeah, so with our rewind, with our rewind, it looks like Diego got snaggle tooth right there we'll show you guys so oh, what there's too much of a good battle we don't want to show what's up oh man coming down right now it's going to be david in the lead of this one david through then dave through trevor jonathan up and over the double okay these guys oh and he flipped over right there second and third go by and they're going to be hitting onto the straightaway But yeah, the white car, it did get taken out. Rolling over there for David. David tapping out of this one. Second and third. Here comes Diego. Diego coming right back up again. He's got the skills up and over the double. Doubling out here for Diego. Diego on it. Coming up over the trip right there. He has the speed to get up to the front. Looks like David gonna be dropping out of this one, unfortunately, out from Hoosier RC Hobbyplex. Super good dude. It's gonna be Dave Kozeski in the one, Trevor Moss in the two, Diego in the three. Oh no, who passed him up there? That's Diego, so Diego in the three. Right here, trying to pass up Trevor Moss. Oh, and Diego gets it wrong. What happens here? Is this David? Nope. All right, there he is. So that's first, second, and third going by the line right now. As we're coming through, dropping down off the double for both of, for all three of them. On their way, first, second, and third in pitch review right now. Up over the triple for first and second. Here comes third. Diego, I know he got the raw end of the stick in the, that corner over there by the team associated corner. So hoping that he makes it at least up to these top two, show what he's got. 
coming through around the start finish line for these guys around Hobby Town Wall. Up and over the double. Top three coming. We got some lap traffic. Lap traffic needs to move. Oh no, and he tried to pass him. Diego is trying to make it by some lap traffic. Your top three coming up behind Josh and It looks like, oh, Diego actually now in that second place position. So that may have been Dave Kaziski. That might have been your leader. That was your leader. I'm mistaken. So Kaziski, he is in the purple and the yellow. These guys hitting the cowbell out there. I need to see, I want to see that replay of him hitting that. That was nuts, trying to go for the pass. Okay, we're gonna get, we're gonna get that replay here for you guys in slow motion view, enjoy. Coming around, tries to make the jump pass. Boom, hits that thing. And off. That was your instant replay. Back on their way once again. That cowbell right there, that pole can be uh, a deciding factor right there as guys try to make the pass, risk, risk it for the biscuit. Up over the tabletop there, Diego just ahead of Dave. Up and over the double right now. They're both trying to track down Trevor right now with 1.30 left to go, 1.30 to go. Coming through right now. Up over the doubles. One minute to go, one to go. And coming through. Oh, looks like Diego getting all the way up into that lead. He's been fighting back since the beginning. Up over the double, patience is key is what this is telling you. Diego up and over through the triple and down the straightaway. The humidity is starting to come up in the building here. We can start to feel it as it is about one o'clock. Diego right now into the lead of this one. Trevor and Dave Kaziski. Ah, real good, a really good amount of people on right now. It's good to see. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe. Oh, something going down, coming down. What happened? Trevor Moss getting by. Diego goes to the two and Dave. What? Diego having that one all the way to the end. Trevor Moss grabbing it. Trevor Moss having that one. Great job, guys. Great job. Did you get second? No. Four? Trevor Moss? Yeah, stay here for me. Trevor Moss, awesome run out there, man. It's not over till it's over. Yeah, I guess so. It was in the C main and finally got bumped up to the B. Now, hopefully. So you bumped you bumped twice now to make yeah. it all. So that's awesome to see right there. We're gonna be we're gonna be voting for you to hopefully get in the top three. Congratulations out there. Anybody want to thank? Nah. 
just having a good time? Me. He's a M-E right there. There you go. There you go. Yeah. When they're not even here, they're here, you know. It lets you come and play. Congratulations, man. Thank you, man. Best of luck. Appreciate it. Thank you. What's going on, guys? We have Tommy P360. Believe that's one of our Huckleberry boys out there. He says, hello, thanks for the coverage, Matt and Megan. Thank you so much. Tommy. Let's go. All righty, guys. We're on it. Let's make it happen. And we're off. First, second, third. Breakthrough clean. Fourth gets Snaggletooth right there. That was Dunbar getting taken out. There goes Filbert. Filbert makes it by. So... Will Brinton, it looks like Filbert and possibly Mason, I do believe. Coming through. Oh, and Filbert into the side of him, and he waiting, 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 and he lets him go. Coming through right there. That was a good move there by Filbert. Coming down, dropping down. Barely tagged him there, gone, put him into the pipe. And we're off once again. Hello, Stacy from Tennessee. Down the straightaway right now, second, third, and fourth on it.
but only number one bumps up to the main event. Up over the tabletop there. Dropping down over the double, doubling out here for these guys. Four minutes left to go. That's going to be Wesley, Riley, and Mason, second, third, and fourth. As Drew tries to just check out and get gone in this one. We're coming around right now, up over that left hand double team associated corner, second, third, and fourth on it and moving. Onto the straightaway. And off for these guys. Drew just trying to be like, I am out of here, guys. Later dudes gone. Dropping down here for Wesley, Riley, and Mason. Through the team associated corner up over the triple. All staying fairly consistent right now. I'm not really seeing Riley's trying to make a move as he comes up, but loses that right back once again. He's got the pace to do it. He's just waiting for that perfect pass here from Riley as he goes up over the double down the Jay Concepts double. Coming through team associated corner for second and third, fourth. Oh, grabs a wheel a little bit, lets off throttle. Can't make anything stick right there. So close from all these guys, second and third. Click by right now, Wesley and Riley identical. And there is Mason, Richard Lake, and Dunbar. So all these guys looking to say what's up, at least for the podium overall. As we're coming through. Up and over the trip, down the straightaway. These guys moving. Tabletop out. Looking good for these guys. Not really much of a Oh, and Riley Filbert grabs a pipe on that one. Unfortunate for him. That's going to give Mason Herrick the lead. I think Riley will go down two spots. No, he goes down one. Richard Lake in tow right now. But still second and third. That is your battle as Drew is checked out and gone in this one. Looking to be on a different lap than everybody else at the end with 120 left to go. Oh, right there. Wesley and Mason looking for that overall. This is your, oh, and he grabs a pipe. Can't do anything. Back on it. Up over the triple. Oh, and he grabs a pipe. Later, dude, gone. That was his own fault. And I think that was Riley tagged the pipe, too. Coming through right now. We'll give advantage back to Mason. Then Wesley. And it does. Wesley, Riley should be there, too. Oh, it was Brian Dunbar, then Riley. Those guys battling it out. Up and over the double there. They go double again by the team associated corner. Triple out. Oh, somebody making a mistake. I don't know who that was. I think it was uh, some lap traffic because, yeah, Drew's still on it. So here comes Mason. There goes Wesley. That was Nate. They're at the end. Brian Dunbar coming up now looking to get that spot from Wesley here. Hopping over the triple. Down the straightaway now. And one second to go, Brian Dunbar, and they're at the end, won't be able to make it stick. Drew Ruben King gonna snag this one, start to finish, basically, all the way from the sixth position, red and white. What a good run from Drew. Awesome job out there, Drew. Dude, car looked good the entire time. We didn't even film you most of the time because you checked out and, and gone on that one. Starting in the sixth position, got up into the lead quick and kind of set sail. Mm -hmm.
Yeah, car was really good. I ran uh, gold slicks yesterday, and they were good, but I grinded down some silvers uh, last night, ran them in practice, and they felt way better than the golds did all day yesterday. That's awesome to hear, man. Good job out there. Anybody want to thank? Uh, I want to thank uh, Team Associated, Reedy, J Concepts. I want to thank my dad for bringing me to these events. Congratulations, bud. Good luck in the main. Thank you. One main event coming up, guys. A1 main event. Looking forward to it. Alrighty guys, and we are off with this one already. First, second, third, fourth, fifth. These guys know how to do it. Freight training around the track already. Brock Champlin in lead of this one. Dustin Evans in tow. There is Aiden Horn and Lee Setzer coming around up over the double. Brock Champlin jumping down the triple right now through the left-hand side, coming down the straightaway right now. Brock Champlin, Schumacher, AE for Dustin Evans here, and there is Aiden Horn and Lee Setzer, AEAE. -E -E. And then there's X-Ray of Tom Rennerneck in tow in fifth right now. Already the Schumacher of Brock Champlin trying to check out and get gone. Down the straightaway he goes. Dustin Evans in tow. Here comes Aiden Horn and Setzer. Oh, gets it wrong there for Aiden. Setzer into the side of Aiden right there. Oh, no, and they, they get all flipped over and back on their way once again. Unfortunate there for Aiden and Lee. Both some kind of mid-air contact there back on their way once again, though. Down the straightaway, though, for Brock Champlin. Brock and Dustin Evans coming around. Up and over that back tabletop section. Brock not looking like he's having any sorts of issues. Brock on the JC Silver Compound out there. And then Dustin Evans on the pro line. Up over the triple, down the straightaway. And then let's see, third is going to be Tom. And then Vanderbeek is in the team associated, but it's all about Brock and Dustin Evans. They go up over the double. Double out. Dustin has the pace to keep up with 
Brock. He's just waiting for that one mistake as Brock Champlin heads down the straightaway. Three minutes left to go, three left to go. Coming around right now for Brock and Dustin Evans. They're coming around up over the tabletop section for the both of them, keeping them both in camera shot view up over the double. Now it looks like Dustin turning on the heat. Vanderbeek coming off the track. Oh, and Dustin just like that, spinning around, goes up over the triple and tripling out, giving Brock Champlin a little bit of breathing room now when it looks like Dustin was actually coming for him. So here comes Tom Rennerneck jumping down. Here comes Lee Setzer. So everybody kind of spreading out right now in the top field. Brock Champlin coming up over the triple right now and out, coming to be coming down the straightaway for Brock. Brock on it right now up over the tabletop, going by the start finish line. Differentiation about three, four seconds right now. Here comes Dustin Evans. Dustin coming up over the tabletop. Looking good for Dustin. Dustin up over that double. Looks like he made up a little bit of time on Brock, but with these guys and how consistent they are, I don't know if we're going to see it. We need some sort of mistake out of Champlin in the Schumacher to see some sort of battle right now as Dustin Evans. Let's see if he made up any time. And he did. He made up two tenths on that lap alone. But he's running out of time right now with a minute 45 left to go. Dustin Evans made up some time on Champlin as Champlin is comfortable up front right now just trying to just set in cruise control mode. Just not trying to make any sort of mistakes. Stay smooth and consistent. Tom Rennerneck in the three. Lee Setzer in the four. Aiden Horn in the five. Davey making a mistake there. As we're coming around. There goes Brock. Here comes Dustin. And on that lap, Dustin losing half a second to Brock on that one. So Brock just set in flight right now. Looking to get it done. He is your current national carpet champion. He just won that one at NorthwestHobbies.com. Special thanks to them for the waffle. Up over the tabletop there. Oh, and it looks like Lee having an issue. We'll get this battle over here between Tom and Aiden. These guys had a good battle last year. 30 seconds left to go between Tom and Aiden up over the double. Here comes Tom and Aiden tripling out. Race coming down the straightaway right now between these two, X-Ray versus, oh, it gets it wrong there for Aiden. Aiden hits the pipe there. We'll see if we can get a replay of that one here at the end. We'll keep on with the battle though. Just Aiden pushing so hard, ends up just taking it and flipping right there. Coming by for Tom. Tom down the straightaway right now. Oh, Aiden slipping out at the end of the straightaway. We're back on with Brock Champlin. Brock coming up over the triple. Oh, here comes Dustin Evans. Dustin made up a ton of time here on Brock. Man, we didn't see where he might have flipped there. So there will be Brock Champlin and Dustin Evans, Tom Renneck, Aiden Horn, and Lee Setzer, your top five. Awesome running. Awesome running there from these guys as they finish him up. Good running, Dustin there at the end, making a hard charge. Can I talk to you too? Oh, yeah. yeah, thank you. Perfect. We're here with Brock, awesome battle there, tone to tone. I didn't see exactly what happened. We were watching the battle for third and fourth. Uh, what ended up happening? Did you make a bobble there at the end, but ended up obviously getting it? Yeah, no, I just, there was carnage in front of me, so I just basically, like, I stopped on the left side of the track over here and made sure I didn't throw that away. So, yeah, it was a good run. I came out and just tried to just keep going, like, the same pace, backed it down, like, 5%, just made sure I didn't make a mistake. So. No, it definitely looks like Dustin having the pace out there as well with you, so we're looking forward to that. The next uh, A main out there. You still sticking with the J Concepts uh, Silvers? Yeah, yeah, that's what I was on. I think the track was a little better last night. Obviously, the lap times kind of showed that, but, I mean, it's easy to drive, so. Most definitely. Well, congratulations, and good luck in your next one. Thank you.
All right, we're going to get Dustin Evans over here from Reedy and Team Associated. Great job out there, Dustin. You definitely keeping pace out there with Brock, and I just saw small little bobbles and then catching up to him there at the end. We're all looking forward to an A2. Yeah, for sure. I mean, he beat us bad, pretty pretty bad last night, and I was like, I got to do some work. I made a few changes, and yeah, four wheel was actually really good. I was able to kind of keep pace with him in the beginning. I had one kind of mistake over there that put me the few seconds back and then i know he was kind of cruising but i felt felt really good and kind of charged there at the end he's really fast the 180 finish line sweeper into the back that's where he's insanely fast if i can learn to like latch on over there i feel we're pretty equal on the rest of the track so that's just where i got to try to improve and take away that mistake and see if we can race in the next one love the inside thank you so much dustin good luck in two-wheel drive and the rest of four-wheel thank you All right, Jonathan Cole. See what you guys are saying. All right, Jonathan Cole waffle. I'm gonna do the waffle, Jonathan, when they do like a like a blower break. They usually do like a, a little break session. It might be between the A1 and A2. Um, so we'll do it. We'll do it then. So we haven't done it yet, Jonathan Cole. We're going to be doing the, it will happen in this stream. I promise you that. I'm just trying to get a little bit of a break section so I can set it up on the computer and, and set it so we can give it some time and we don't uh, mess up any of the races. All righty. Thank you so much, guys, for tuning in. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe. And we keep climbing in those numbers. This is awesome, awesome coverage right now. You know, be sure to share and like, guys. So share, like, and subscribe. We're looking forward to 13.5 Expert four-wheel drive buggy. Looks like I'm missing Megan here, so we're going to we're going to get this one going. I don't know where she went on me, but we are back on it and going. And off coming through right now, Brandon Schimmel on it coming down he's been super fast this entire time here comes templeman templeman right there as well and down the straightaway here we go there's templeman there is i don't know who that is behind him that's going to be holmberg sammy moran sammy moran looking on the inside of holmberg can't make anything stick and Breaking away from the rest of the pack is Schimmel. Coming through right now, up and over, down the straightaway. These guys go. Coming by Mason Templeman, Holmberg, and Moran. All with those puck systems in there, as well as Horn. These guys are turning and burning. Oh, Sammy goes over. Come by for Templeman, Holmberg, Horn. That is your battle. Did I say on the Dr. Pepper or something? No, you're good. Thank you. <laughs> All right. And we're coming around right now. Looks like Templeman's starting to try and break away from the rest of the pack. Three, four, five, six. Coming right here. Brandon Schimmel, though, breaking away. Coming through right now. So we have Templeman. He is Struggle City in two-wheel drive truck. Figured it out for four-wheel drive. And there is Holmberg. Templeman got that full puck system in there, front, center, and rear. Went up and around Templeman. There's Holmberg. There is Tyler, Alan Horn, and Sammy takes it over from Horn. 
as they head down the straightaway. That's going to be second, third, fourth, fifth, and sixth, all in camera view. Down the straightaway. These guys are heading Holmberg on it. Here comes Tyler and Moran. Moran trying to do something with this run. 140 left to go, early mistake for him. There's Templeman, seeming to lose a little bit of a pace. Oh, and he makes a mistake, loses two spots. And almost three spots now. Sammy sticking it, oh, and Templeman goes on the inside, shouldn't have done that one. Sammy right there, he moves up a couple positions to four. Coming through, there's Holmberg and Tyler down the straightaway. There's Holmberg, there's Tyler, second and third. Tyler right there on it. Tyler couldn't make it stick. He hit the pipe. Here comes Moran. Moran makes the pass on Tyler. Moran goes by. All valuable points for that overall podium in these AAA mains events. There's Tyler and Sammy. Third and fourth. Trying to stick it in there for Tyler. And here comes Horn as well. Onto the straightaway, off the straightaway. Holmberg, Moran, Tyler, Horn, Templeman. Coming through up over the double. Moran has this one. Now trying to track down Holmberg. That is the tone. So this is going to be their last lap. Let's see what Tyler can do. Tyler sticking it on the inside of Moran right there. Oh! Side by side racing. There at the end, that was cool. Good running. Tyler grabs that one. Dude, clinic out there. You got all three TQs and uh, checked out and gone. Yeah, I mean, car was amazing. Tom worked on the wrenches all weekend, made it an ass, so, I mean, all I had to do was drive, so. It looks great out there, man, going into uh, two-wheel drive here soon. We're looking forward. I want a battle out there, man. I want to see some sort of battle, but you're laying it down, making it happen. Congratulations. Thank you. All right, guys, that was a pretty interesting one. Been having some good mains here. A lot of fun. Thank you for tuning in. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe. We're going to be pulling that waffle here. It is full. We're going to be giving away that B6.4 compliments of NorthwestHobbies.com as well as it comes with a mod puck system for that B6.4 of your choosing. And then also for basically runner-up prize, we're going to be spinning the wheel again. And uh, we're going to be spinning the wheel again. And that will, um, that will give you your winner of the second one. So of a full puck system for another, uh, for one of your own rigs.
So we appreciate you guys. Thank you for tuning in to the show. Special thanks to jconcepts.net, Jason Rona, the entire J Concepts crew for bringing us out for all last year and this year. So everybody's loving the live stream. We appreciate you guys. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe. We appreciate you guys. All righty, guys, we're about to get this one started. Uh, guys, diff right now. Last main event for him. Spent a lot of time, money, and energy. Megan covering it. Good job, babe. So they're putting on and tightening up that diff. Putting it back down. Oh, got it working. That's cool. All right, get over there. If you break, if you break, you're going to get 
Just remember that if you break in the first five laps, everybody's going to hate you. <laughs> That's way cool for him getting it started. I like that. All righty, guys. We're going to get this one started. All right, so we get through that first corner here. A lot of these guys, all sorts of gaggled here. It's short course. Oh, and flips over there for third place. He gets through. Ah, actually, pretty clean overall. That was actually decently clean, I would say. All right, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, and tenth. Coming on through right now. These guys are moving. Your battle right now for second or for third and fourth as they come onto the straightaway right now. First, already trying to check out and get going right now. Max and Lee, there's Brett, there's Brett in the two, Brendan in the three, Ashley, he's the one that had issues. Oh, and he flips over right there behind you. Oh, no. So he goes to the four right now, losing only one position, which isn't too bad. Oh, no, he he's going to lose two positions. Oh, and he shuts down. That truck shutting down on him. Something may be going on with the diff. That's unfortunate. That's the one we waited for. That's unfortunate. He was going fast. All righty, guys. Mac, but he at least he got out there. That's 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 what I like. Is he at least got to run? Mac, then followed by Brett, Tyler, Trevor, Lee, Tim, Brendan, Jacob, Adam, Noah. These guys are moving through here. Your one and two coming through the J Concepts finish line right now. A little bit of two wheel action there from Brett. He ain't letting uh, Mac go though. Mac is right there, followed by Brett. This is an eight minute A main event, 13 5 short course. These guys are turning and burning up over. But now the battles for third and fourth going up over the triple. Tyler and Trevor Duncan. That's Chili Duncan, the J Concepts man himself. He's like Super J Concept sponsored. Chili Duncan. Oh, and Chili going up on two wheels. The slowest rollover ever there. Let's get a replay of that one. Chili had just made the pass. We're going to get a replay of that coming through. Right there. Boom. Grabbing it. Unfortunately, there for Chili. Bam. Hitting it. Going up and over. We're back on it once again. Your leader in the red and white coming through, dropping down the double, coming around the sweeper up over that next double into the AE corner. These guys are moving right now. Good to see a healthy short course class out here. One of my favorite classes. I might need to like just get one just to run at these events. Short course. Off and running here. It looks like still Mac Vanderbeek in the lead of this one, dropping down, coming around for Vanderbeek. Brett Nelson, he's going to be in the two. He's losing a little bit of eyesight, though, with them in that second place position. He's in the blue and the white. Coming onto the straightaway right now for Vanderbeek. Megan's on it with the camera. Blue and white is your second place driver. He's going to be coming up on some lap traffic. That of Noah Ward, I believe. Up over the double. You'll know Noah. He's the one that says, good luck, everybody. So that's really cool to see. Coming around here, up over the triple. Let's see if he lets him by. And he does. Good courteous driving there from Noah. Down the straightaway right now. White and red truck. Here from Mac. Tim there as well. Oh, Tim is down now. Sorry, he just passed the finish line. Here comes Brett. These guys are moving. Falling along with second place right now. All right, looking good. Up over the doubles, triple section, down the straightaway now. That's second place. It's getting a little hotter here inside the building. Humidity coming up. We have 3.15 left to go out of this eight-minute run. 
your leader on camera, the red and white of Mac. He got the TQs yesterday. He's looking to grab this one today. Oh, some running here for Mac. Mac down the straightaway. And off, looking good for him by the start finish line. And my boy. All right, I got Jeff Guess from TLR saying that he'll build me a short course to come and run. I might get an AE though, Jeff. I might uh, I might get the AE because I got I got lots of parts for them for the short courses. I'm gonna have to hit up hit up Team Associated. Get a kid over to mod. Jordan Ritchie, they do the waffle yet? Not yet, Jordan. Uh, between the, we're gonna have a break here for sure when they when they blow off the track. And we'll be doing it then. Oh, it takes a digger there for your leader. Mistake, a rare mistake. Have not seen that yet. As second place is coming through. He's two, three corners behind right now for Brett. So, Mac handedly in the lead of this one. Let's see if we can find that mistake right here. Yeah, we got that. We got that instant replay here for you. Compliments of RC Garage coming over. Bam! Hitting that thing. Back over. Comes back up. Bam! Your instant replay compliments of rcgarage.info. Back onto your live cam. Jordan Ritchie, not yet. It's going to be uh, probably, it's going to be in the A mains. It'll be in the A mains. And then Cichlids Mango from Cichlids says he'll paint, he'll paint a body for me. Oh man, by the end of this, I'm going to have a car. I want to get back to racing a little bit. I come out to these events, I don't race. I'm a racer at heart, I love it. I run a lot of fist scale. I've been riding four wheel drive short course at Huckleberry. So up and over that back tabletop there. Looking like Max gonna get this one. Still Brett and Brendan ended up getting by, so he just needs to stay out of trouble. Coming onto the straightaway, he's got a big lead. He's gonna grab this one, he just needs to stay cool. Don't even try and pass him. Just chill, yep, and he gets it. It will be Mac Vanderbeek grabbing that one. Awesome running, awesome running. Awesome running out there, Mac. Dude, from start to finish and yesterday, car looked great and uh, tone to tone. Yeah, yeah. the uh, truck was real smooth all day. Uh, yeah, just kind of go out there and cruise it around, big short course, and have some fun. And all the product worked good. Team Associated, SC 6.2, and 3D Power, and just a uh, fun class overall. So, awesome, man. Jay Concepts, obviously, on the tires and body. So. Congratulations, man. You got your boys running out here, too, right? Yeah, I have three boys. Uh, Alex Vanderbeek, he's in both uh, A mains and two wheel and four wheel. Um, Owen uh, had some struggles today, but he's 12 and he's coming along. And then Eli's just kind of having fun with it, and he's been running independent 13.5 and two wheel drive buggy. So 
I love it. Family adventure out here. Congratulations, and uh, good luck to your boys. All right. Thank you. All righty, and we're off once again as these guys file into that corner. Second, third, fourth, fifth. Oh, these guys checking out. This is going to be 17.5, two-wheel drive expert. Let's see if anybody has anything for Brennan Schimmel. He's been pretty lights out in these classes all weekend. It looks like Holmberg coming up on him right now. Holmberg on it. Here comes Tyler and Moran. But all TLRs, one, three, and four. Four, it looks like the Holmberg in that two right now with the mod system in there and as well as Moran these guys are burning coming out here a little bit getting a little high there for Schimmel Schimmel not able to shake out as early but now with little mistakes from Holmberg Tyler right there and Sammy Moran down the straightaway Schimmel getting that healthy lead trying to Holmberg needs to just wrap just strap it back up again and catch up pace with Schimmel. Schimmel needs to make some sort of mistake for these guys to catch him. Sammy Moran looks hungry right now, trying to pass up Tyler. Tyler got him in four-wheel drive. Sammy looking to take it in two-wheel over Tyler there as they come onto the straightaway. Holmberg, Tyler, Sammy. Oh, and taps out there for Tyler. Tyler going to have to wait up, and Tyler's going back again. That was a good stop there from Tyler. Here comes around Holmberg, Moran, Tyler up and over the double as we're moving Brandon Schimmel just creeping away from these guys Holmberg Moran Tyler down the straightaway now for these guys Sammy Moran and Tyler that's your closest battle on the track three and four as they come by the J concepts start finish line up over hobby town tabletop down the J concepts double and over Holmberg showing chinks in the armor right now making small mistakes letting these guys catch up to him all the while, Schimmel on a Sunday drive up and over the triple right now, down the straightaway for these guys, Holmberg, Moran, Tyler. Battling it out third and four, still your closest battle on the track. Tyler latching onto the back of Moran. Moran all the way off from Coyote Hobbies RC Raceway. Holmberg out from Thunder Road RC Raceway. It's a carpet track, so he's making it happen as they come down the straightaway right now Holmberg and Moran down the straightaway these guys battling out both mod drivers out there coming down dropping down oh and Sammy makes a mistake there goes Dunbar unfortunate there loses two positions there for Moran as he was looking to battle for second so Moran 220 left to go to do something about it oh and Moran goes over again drops another position tapping out there for Moran so as we get back on it, Holmberg handedly in second place right now. There goes Schimmel up over that back double. Schimmel dropping down, looking good. Just nice, smooth, and consistent. Holmberg actually making up some time on Schimmel. I thought Schimmel was out and gone from this one, but Holmberg looks to be catching up to him. Looks like getting by, I believe that was... Talon, so Talon pulling on over for these guys. They put him a lap down. 
Here comes Holmberg. Here comes Tyler. Oh, Holmberg stuffs it into a pipe. There goes Tyler. There goes Dunbar. Dunbar. Oh, and he taps on top of Dunbar there. So unfortunate there for Holmberg. You could hear the gears a chirp, and he wasn't able to get it going. That was a costly mistake for him as he loses two valuable positions after having second for the first three and a half minutes of this one. There goes Brian Dunbar. Holmberg right there. Here goes Tyler and Schimmel. Later, dude, gone. Tyler up and over in the two. Here comes Dunbar. There goes Holmberg. Check, check. Not. Nah. Audio should be good. You should have audio there. All righty. Come around right now. It's still Dunbar and Holmberg, your closest battle on the track. Coming around, dropping down the double. Dunbar in the yoke and Holmberg in the AE. Up over the triple for them. Dunbar looking to get third in points on this one. Tyler handedly in that two right now. These guys finish it up. Sammy Moran makes it by. Oh, oh, oh. Sammy barely making it by. Mason Templeman on that one for fifth. And we're moving. Good running. Here with Brennan, dude, awesome running out there. Just uh, saw at the beginning, they're keeping pace, but you were just so consistent, just the small little mistakes by him. They dropped back, he just checked out, gone, Sunday drive. Yeah, I mean, car was amazing again. Tom doing the wrenches, I uh, just try to keep it smooth. I mean, trying to get 99 runs around here now, so. Yeah. Uh, it looks good, definitely that consistency up there. Congratulations and best of luck in your A2. Thank you. Got it, all right, we're into modified two-wheel drive, A main number one. Like I said, we'll be doing that. Waffle guys, uh, during the, they're gonna have a blow break here, they must have one, they have to have a little break. I know that they do, because all these guys are like back to back to back to back, so they have a little bit of a, of a short break. And then we'll do the waffle then for you. Special thanks to all you guys jumping in, helping out. Greatly appreciated. Megan is killing it on the cam and the switcher board. Now she's switching between the cameras. She's all, she's on it up here. She's telling me what to do these days. And she's right, always. That's how it works. I'm starting to learn this. All right, this is going to be a good one. A1 of two-wheel drive modified. Let's get it going. Thank you guys for tuning in. How about this, guys? Top four in order. Top four in order. Get a of your choosing. This will be pretty cool. Of your choosing. Uh, let's put a mod hoodie. That's a good one. That's like a $50 value right there. I'm putting up a mod hoodie for who can guess the top four top four a mod hoodie they are super sick i'll have megan model it over here just kidding but they look good it's too it's too hot to model it it's humid she gave me one look like uh negative it's too hot well we can show it to you guys we got one here one top four in order top four in order for a mod hoodie guys that thing's like 50 bucks they're super nice they're very comfortable Go on to modspeedshop.com if you didn't know we had them and grab one for yourself. But you have a chance to win one right now. Mod hoodie, gra guess the top four in order, top four in order. And there's only one hoodie. I'm not giving away like all sorts of hoodies. 
And the consolation prize will be a shirt for the other guys. The first one that guesses it right that I can see because I got everybody's comment in here, whether it's Facebook, YouTube, or uh, Twitter, the first one that guesses it. And then after that will be shirts. Yeah, thank you guys for tuning in. Thank you for everybody for, for posting up. We try and give back to the community as much as possible. Um, and we do it a lot. We do a lot of goodwill and everything come out here and do this as well. So we appreciate your guys' support, tuning in, pitching in, and making the live feed possible and successful. So we're looking forward to two-wheel drive modified buggy out here at INS 12 at the Hobby Town Hobbyplex out here in Omaha, Nebraska. What's going on, Richard M? Let's get those top four guesses in, guys, and that will shut down at the 430 mark. 430 mark, it will shut down for your guesses and only one guess. All right, and we're off going. Dustin Evans, Aiden Horn. Oh, looking inside there for Brock Champlin. Can't make a stick. Lee Setzer and Tom Rennerneck. One, two, three, four, and five. And there is Vanderbeek. Looks like Cole Tollard Botta. These guys are on it already. Dustin Evans trying to check out from this one as he heads down the straightaway. He was pretty lights out. Super consistent in this two-wheel drive. B6.4 from Team Associated. B6.4 in the two. And the Schumacher LD2 in the three. There comes an X-ray. Associated, 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 associated. And I think a TLR. So not many TLRs, actually, now that I kind of talk about it, in the main event here of two-wheel drive and, I guess, four-wheel drive, for that matter. As we're dropping down here, first, second, and third on camera right now, that's going to be Dustin Evans, Aiden Horn, Brock Champlin, Lee Setzer, one, two, three, four, five, eight, six, eight. So these guys, they're going to be spreading it out here. Something's going to happen. We know it. So we're going to see what's up. I don't like one, two, three, four, so nobody guess that. I'll excommunicado that guess. All righty. It looks like Dustin Evans. We want to see some drama here. Oh, no. Lee Setzer drops down and out. Oh, no. It goes by. He gets it right back again. Makes a mistake and gets it right back again. A gift for Lee Setzer. One, two, and three. Still checking out. We have them on camera. This gaggle of cars back here. These guys are battling out. We'll get back over to the top three over here on the left-hand side of the track. Dustin Evans, Aiden Horn, Brock Champlin. Nobody making a mistake so far. Let's see who has fourth right now. It's still one, two, three, and four for your top four. Whoa. Let's see here. Oh, and just getting by right there is Brock Champlin up over Aiden Horn. Here goes Brock and Aiden. Here is Lee Setzer in the four. Vanderbeek in the five. Let's see what Aiden has to say about a second and third coming by your current running order. One, three, two, and four. Anybody have that guess? One, three, two, four. Eric Hayes looking to win something. One, three, two, four from Zinc. So they stay right now. You guys are the first guy would be that guess first would be Eric, and then Zinc would be winning a shirt. Coming around up and over. Let's see what happens here. Aiden Horn and Brock Champlin coming through. It looks like Dustin Evans. He's just staying smooth and consistent. Your battle, though, between Brock and Aiden coming up and over through the start finish line. Doubling down here. Triple up and over. Guys are looking good. Lee sets are there. And Davey Botta coming out of nowhere. Trying to catch up to Lee. As they have 125 left to go. Davey Botta making up time right now. But it looks like Aiden right there as well on Brock. Brock not making any sort of mistakes. Dustin not making mistakes. Let's see as these guys are starting to push hard here at the end. Left-hand side. We have one minute left to go. One to go. 
or it could be some drama. We will see. Coming through second and third right there, pushing hard. Oh, Davey Bottom making a mistake. Oh, they get together. Up and going once again, 40 seconds to go. These guys are moving, not much change up top. Davey Botta pushing hard behind. Lee Setzer there. 15 seconds left to go. They're going to get one more lap. This is it. Dustin Evans looks like he's got this locked in. Here comes Aiden and Dustin. He's going to be pushing for something. He wants those points. As we're coming up over that triple. Hey, not able to make it stick. And run out of time. It looks like one, three, two, four. Who had one, three, two, four? I think Zink got a shirt. Eric Hayes, let me see. Oh no. One, three, two, four was actually Yurf Rara getting that one. So Yurf Rara. Where is Dustin? Oh, oh. Perfect. Awesome job out there, Dustin. Dude, from tone to tone, he just kept it smooth and consistent. Car looked amazing. Yeah, it was really good. I just I knew my stuff was good. I wanted to try to push a little bit at the beginning, get a little bit of gap, because if you try to make someone else push, they make mistakes. And uh, well, they were right there. I, I slowed down a little bit, and then you start making mistakes. So I was like, all right, I just got to get back to, to hitting my lines and stuff. And yeah, it was a good race. Oh, look good out there, man. One more to go. Hopefully, you can lock it up in two. I'm sure you want to do I want to see a battle. But <laughs> congratulations, man. And uh, we'll see you in four wheel. Thank you. All right, it looks like your Ferrara. First one to guess the one, three, two, four. So that would be the one to win the hoodie. All righty, there was three of you guys that won your Ferrara. Let us know your information there, your if you're gonna win the uh, you're gonna win the mod jacket, and then for Eric Hayes and Zinc won. Let us know you want a mod or a J Concepts T-shirt. Send that information there. Email it over. It was your Ferrara. That, uh, that they won that first one. You do have to be, if we're shipping it for free, you have to be in the United States. I'll just say that right now, in the lower 48 states. So, and then if you want it, you'd have to pay for shipping. I don't know if you guys are, are uh, way out there, but uh, that's underneath the pretenses that's in the lower 48. <laughs> I'm not spending like $100 to ship a jacket. 
All right, let's get our top four guesses in for this one, guys. We're going to be giving away for this one will be a Mod or a J Concepts shirt. Mod or J Concepts shirt. Guess those top four. Top four, guys. Mod or J Concepts shirt for this one. Let's get those guesses in. Let's get those guesses in. Seven-minute run. Top four guesses. Let's go. All righty. Thank you all for tuning in. All right, we're gonna turn up uh, the other announcer. He's pretty good at this. It's like a 96 Nats. Al Horn looking for a spot around Brian Dunbar. Brian Dunbar running that Yokomo yellow yellow wheels. So it should be faster. I run yellow wheels. Brian Dunbar clipping a pipe. Alan Horn not close enough to capitalize. Big pile up. Minute 30 in, 6.30 left to go. Brian Dunbar, Al Horn down the straightaway now. Chad right there. Alex from going to last on the first corner is up to the four spot. Two down, six minutes left to go. Al or uh, Brian Dunbar over the back tabletop. Down the drop down, short shoot, Al Horn all over him. Al Horn to the inside, nothing there. Up the hill. Tight lines for both of them. Alex now behind Chad for that two spot. Couple of really good races going on here. A lot of experience up there on the driver's stand, if you know what I'm saying. Craig and Dave, you're going to be our first victims of lap traffic. First victims. There you go. Keep racing. Brian Dunbar down the street. Getting a little tipsy. And he's like, I have the experience and the know-how to keep four tires down to the dirt. Third and fourth work, working traffic now. Alex Sturgeon looking for a way around Chad. Al Horn looking for a way around Brian. Little slap from Al Horn, no problem. Really coming out of that one. On the end of the straightaway, Al Horn trying not to run into it. Big jump from Al off the center double. Alex looks like he got around Chad. He's got 3.30 left to see if he can make up a straightaway on these two.
Brian Dunbar over the center triple, up the hill, there if they're needed. A little under three minutes left on the clock, a little under three left. Brian Dunbar keeping Al Horn right in his rearview mirror. Al Horn right there, not letting up. Trying to catch a draft. Al Horn, really good, good uh, line through the uphill double. Gap between second and third, 2.5 seconds the last lap. Watch the end of the straightaway, watch the end of the straightaway. It's clear. Got third place coming up behind you, Tom, third place. Horn trying some different lines over this tabletop in front of me, trying to make something stick. Alex Sturgeon says, keep racing guys, because I'm coming. One more, that's third place. There you go. Got first and second behind you, Craig. Now first, second, and third. One minute left. Three tenths of a second, three tenths of a second. Separates the top. Oh no! Alex inherits the lead. Oh, big. No way! Alex's car is broken. Uh, but still, you got Brian and Al Horn racing out front. Take That's you cool. guys through that one here. Al Horn kind of bicycling a little bit at the end of the straightaway. At the end, that was that sucks. Alex Sturgeon Al Horn to the inside in that third makes place it stick. Position. Al Horn to the lead on the Al final Horn, lap. Final lap. Over the big triple. Al Horn getting it wrong. Brian Dunbar goes by. Brian Dunbar to the lead. They both jump over each other up the hill. Brian Dunbar in the loose stuff. Trying to make something work. Al Horn just has to baby it around this next corner. And he will win 40 plus modified. And Al Horn taking that one. Then Brian Dunbar, like Chad, Alex Sturgeon, Tommy Smack, Craig, and Dave Peebler. Good running out there, Alan. I don't know what ended up happening, but it looks like you guys were cool with everything at the end, but the entire time, you two battling it out. Same old story, man. We're both just going for it. We got utmost respect for each other. We're old. We can't see that good, so racing incidents has happened. You know, Brian knows I'm not going to do anything on purpose. I know the same, but we both want to do well, so we've been battling each other forever. It's like the... 7,857 battle and here we are again. Most definitely. Well, good job out there, man. Looked like you guys had some fun. Thanks. Brian, dude, leading the entire race out there. Looks like at the end, you know, I don't know. We got the replay. We'll kind of see what happened. You know, what are your thoughts on everything? Um, it's a long weekend. I was, I was an eight-minute race. Maybe I only had seven minutes in me, but uh, no, man, it was... Uh, 
it was hard Happy. to stay in front, but I feel like I, I nailed every line until the end. I just went a little wide on the tabletop, and he, he was right there to take advantage of it. So, And, yeah, like Al said, we've raced a million times. And, and like I said, when it comes down to the last lap, you just, you just go for it, and that's what he did. So good for him for winning. Well, good job out there, man. Congratulations and to all your sponsors. You know, did them, did them proud, and you've been uh, battling out in all your other classes in the A's. Congratulations, buddy. Thank you, buddy. Appreciate it. We got Richard Lake here. He's a better announcer than me, that's for sure. All the way out from uh, the Pandas track out there. And uh, thank you so much for coming on out, having some fun with us. And I saw the pit that was next to you, you know, that's been, you've been chiming that in online. You know, uh, so what you're saying is you don't have that back home. Uh, no, I don't have that back home. Um, yeah, it was a little sketch, but it was, it, it's been a great weekend. Um, you guys are doing awesome watching the play-by-plays, and I'm just – it, it, first time here. It's been a fantastic weekend, Alex. Kick-ass job, dude. I don't know if I can say that or not, but really, really good fun times. Well, it looks good out there, man. You're doing hobby action proud. I know probably uh, the boys are watching back home. Congratulations on your podium, and uh, we'll be seeing a hobby action later this year. Thank you, buddy. Thanks, buddy. I appreciate it. Awesome, guys. Thanks. Thanks. All right, they're already like lined up for this one. I don't know, I could see that. There was like the Gagla cars that came through. Let me get that replay here for you guys. This is gonna be on. So this is the replay. We'll slow it down, see what kind of happened. All right, who feels like punching it's a like baby? like dropping down there. That guy got tagged. Here comes <laughs> Sturgeon. Right, number 31, independent full drive he ended CJ, up hey, Connor, no, it's him, Matt, the, Trevor. Man, he ended up hitting that, At least and that took out Sturgeon right die. there. Unfortunate for him. I have that going Just for me. Just a gaggle of cars. So let's see. We can fast forward. <laughs> All right, here we go. We're ready to go. Here. This is uh, independent four-wheel drive A main. This is just a so single eight minute. Last. You got TJ Williams up front. Great job from our local kid. Eddie Headley on the two from uh, Hoosier Coming RC. Through. Hobbyplex. Then you got Connor Herrick on like the three. Horn. No award on the four. Tim Am Lukens I? on the five. Oh, Matt Robinson on the six. Side. Brett Nelson on the seven. Trevor Moss on the eight. Dalton Conrad Both on the nine. Both got contact in the air. I don't know if that was racing. You guys can be determining Let's that go one. Shake and bake. Bad bounce there for Dunbar, and back going again. Thank you, guys. All right, we're up and going. You guys can determine that one. That was pretty nuts. Unfortunate there for Sturgeon. All right, already. These guys are battling it out. And 13.5 independent four-wheel drive. Trevor, Matt, Our and boy, Dalton. Eddie Henley, he's got that mod four-wheel drive system, mod puck system in there. He's doing well out from Hoosier RC Hobbyplex. Shout out to Angie, our homegirl out there, the entire Hoosier family. We'll be there soon for the J Concepts INS 12 out here. I think it's called the Fall INS out there at Hoosier. So be sure to join us. Henley right there. Oh man, Eddie going back again. T.J. Williams in the lead of this one. Eddie Henley in the two. Through this race, I'm going to change so it up blowing, just a little bit. So, we so they're blowing the track off this. after this. If we will be doing the waffle after this one then. We've been giving away shirts, guys. We've been giving away. We're giving away car kits. We're giving away puck systems. All sorts of goodies for you guys. Thank you for supporting the feed. And if you could do anything, be, on, be just going on there. It's free to do. Just like, share, subscribe, and know when we're going to be posting up stuff. Special thanks to jconcepts.net for their support. And obviously, modspeedshop.com and northwesthobbies.com. 
takes a village to make this thing happen, and we appreciate you guys. So go on to those sites, support the ones that support you. Thank you so much. All right, TJ in the lead of this one. Eddie Henley in the two. TJ on point right now in the all red car. Up and over that double, doubling out here. Let's see what we're able to do. TJ's later dude gone right now. Let's see where Connor Herrick is and Noah Ward. That might be a battle. They should be coming by the finish line. I believe that's them. Yes, it is. So Noah and Eddie actually battling out. It's going to be the gray car and the red and white car dropping down the double-double through the short shoot into the team-associated corner. That's Noah and Eddie Henley up and over that triple. Triple out for them and onto the straightaway. No, I don't think anybody guessed that last one. <laughs> that was nuts. And somebody would have chirped up if they did. All right, up and over that triple. Oh, going way wide there for Eddie. Eddie up over the tabletop. Noah, little Noah, going to third. He was doing well last year. We gave him an interview. I think he won it. He's back on it again. He's a little dude, super nice, very polite. Good parents, raising them right. Come around here, up over the triple there for Eddie on camera. Eddie dropping down. Noah is in the three. Where's Connor at? Connor and, so the orange and black and the white and black is going to be your battle right now between Noah and Connor as they come up over the triple right now. Very good driving skills there from little Noah. So we're coming on to the straightaway and off the straightaway. These guys are moving. Noah getting it back under control. We're following that battle. Second and third on the screen. Doubling out here for the both of them. Oh, it looks like, oh, Noah. Oh, that was sweet. I need to get a replay of that one. Let's see what happened. Megan up here was saying, what's up? And he's there goes Noah. It, that was a cool save there by Noah. Look at this whip here, guys. They spread out or slightly there right there. I'll show you this whip by Noah. And you see here, they're still battling. We'll keep it. Oh, nice inside pass there from Noah, making it stick. Oh, and then he gets it wrong. Oh, little Noah. Down the straightaway, crazy. Back over the double here. These guys are too close to put the replay on. They're still battling it out. But I want to. All right, Noah right there. Two minutes, 2.10 to go, 2.10 to go. All right, we'll get that. Let's see. That battle right there. If there's no other replays, we'll get that one. Show you that sick whip by Noah up over that tabletop. Up and over, Noah trying to, oh, and Noah tips over. He's going to need to get a little bit of time back up again. Okay, we'll take this time to show that sick whip coming over here. For Noah coming up, he, man, he had that thing almost inverted and comes down. That was cool. Back live once again. One minute to go, one to go. It's still little Noah. Oh, nice inside pass there. Oh, I didn't see it. I'm watching a replay. <laughs> My bad, guys. All right. 
So it looks like they're pretty handily where they're at. TJ Williams, Connor, and Noah. They're finishing this one up. 15 seconds left to go. All right, TJ Williams gonna grab that one. Connor Herrick and then little Noah Ward. Awesome running. Great job out there, TJ. It looked great, and uh, dude, from start to finish. Yeah, it was pretty good. Um, my friend, actually, that was in the race told me that my steering servo was loose, so I had to tighten it a couple minutes before the race. And The nerves are getting to you. Congratulations on your win, man. Anybody want to thank? Yeah, Riley, my uncle, my mom, and my dad. That's about it. And my friends for coming out and watching as much as they can. Congratulations, bud. Thank you. Good job out there, Connor. Dude, you were battling it out there with Noah, and uh, you definitely earned that one. Yeah. Anybody you want to thank? Uh, my parents are bringing me, paying for parts, tires, whatever I need, and everyone around me for setup tips. That's awesome, man. Congratulations. Yeah, thank you. Noah, we're seeing you again this year, man. Good job. I, I don't even know if you're on camera. Yeah, you're on camera. Look good out there, man. Anybody you want to thank? Um, my mom and dad. I want to thank my mom and dad for or bringing me here. Very cool, buddy. You showed a lot of class out there. Good driving. You're being smart. Congratulations. Thank you. All righty, guys. Let's get the... It is... It is waffle time, guys. It's waffle time. So let's get that going. All right, it's waffle time, guys. Let's give away that car kit and a mod puck system as well as another mod puck system to a winner. All right, let me see here. How am I going to do this? Let's go. I know. All right, so nobody had any issues with the names that we had on there. I didn't hear anybody. So we got the waffle on here. Okay, now this looks like a good screen here. And we're going to show you guys the... Uh... All right. So we got the waffle there, guys. So there's going to be one winner for the B6.4 plus a mod puck system. And then we're also gonna have another winner for a mod puck system. So that's what we have going on. This is sponsored by NorthwestHobbies.com for, uh, for the B6.3 and sponsored by Mod for the puck system. And then the second puck system is for the uh, is sponsored by modhobbies.com, modspeedshop.com as well. Be sure to go on there and grab your guys' systems. We appreciate all your support or just a t-shirt, shirt, hat. Go to jconcepts.net, making this all possible. All right, guys, so you guys see the full screen here. I am going to go. Let me see. I'm going to grab the... Okay, and what you guys are going to see is I'm going to shuffle these up. So come right here. 
I'm going to go to shuffle. And we're going to, you'll see, uh-oh, come back. Take that. I don't know why it's it's going add. Oh, sorry. Okay, we're going to go to shuffle again. We're going to shuffle it again. Multiple shuffles, guys, so you all can see it. All right, we'll shuffle it one more time for good measure. Okay, guys, we're about to spin right now. Let me make sure everybody isn't, uh, nobody's saying anything that everything's okay. I'm going to look at the chat. All right, good luck, everybody. All righty. Let's get this going. We're going to shuffle this thing, and we're going to spin it. All right, live you guys can see what's going on. Let's see who the winner is. Big Buckarama again <laughs> winning the B6.4 and Puxa. Some Big Buckarama. He bought us, and I. you guys will see, I put it in there. He bought us pizza yesterday. He's, he's got some good karma. He won the last time. He won the, uh, the Jason Rona factory ride so big buckarama and he put in a hundred bucks so he got five spots there so he bought us lunch <laughs> and it's not you guys saw what 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 just happened so big buckarama winning that one okay so big buckarama getting that one looks like big buckarama is happy he's lucky man he's winning the big prizes out there okay so for this next one i'm gonna say big buckarama he can't even win the next puck system. So Big Buck Rama, he's he's too much winning for Big Buck. So I'm gonna, he's my friend. I know we're gonna be able to say that. So the other puck system's gonna go to somebody else. We're just gonna keep his names in there just for sakes of this. He goes, nope, I'm out. So Big Buck Rama, he's gonna pull his, he's gonna pull his. Uh, from any of those so big buckarama won his it's a one and done so we're going to shuffle these up again and if it becomes big buckarama again we will shuffle again so this is for that second puck system guys second puck system all righty guys we're going to spin it here we go spin there we go all right, uh, let's see, let's see. The next winner. Rimfire, what? Rimfire is another one of our big, big uh, he, supporters. He always is in here saying something. And you know what, guys? Mod's going to throw in a, a mod hoodie. So we're, so we're going to do another winner here, too. So we want you guys. You guys are awesome and supporting the feed. We're going to throw in a mod hoodie. So this next one is going to be for a mod hoodie. Rimfire can't win it. Big Buckarama can't win it. So Rimfire, we're going to get you a puck system of your choice. Big Buckarama, you get the B6.3 and the puck system. And we're going to do right now, we're going to do a full hoodie. So a hoodie for you guys of any size you want. Ship free to your door. So we're done. So Rimfire can't win it. Big Buckarama can't win it. We're going to shuffle these guys up again. We're going to shuffle these guys up. And this, again, is for a mod hoodie. We want to thank you guys for tuning in. All the support on the live feed. We appreciate you guys. All right. Shuffled up. We're going to spin it again. Let's see, let's see who's going to win it. Oh, Shannon winning this one. Malafitano, he actually was our biggest uh, our biggest supporter. I believe he got 10 spots. So Shannon, full on, uh, I want to say he was our biggest supporter. So Shannon getting a very expensive hoodie, but he got something out of it. So thank you, Shannon. Much appreciated here. Um, Big Buckarama, he's been a huge supporter. Rimfire's been a been a huge supporter. So we so we definitely appreciate you guys. Uh, so Shannon winning this one. So Shannon, please 
um, hit us up. I'm going to contact each of you guys with, uh, with the email address. And Shannon's going to get a mod hoodie out of this one. Big Buckarama winning the big prize again. He's big Buckarama, he's getting the good, uh, the good karma. He's been supporting every feed here, and it's and it's showing. Um, and then also Rimfire winning that uh, winning that other puck system kit, so or drivetrain kit, whatever you want. Um, so thank you guys so much for all the support. Um, he goes, that's it. Not now. I'm going to get some mod stickers too. <laughs> So thank you guys for all the support. Go on to modspeedshop.com. Special thanks to northwesthobbies.com for pitching in that B6.4 kit. Please go on northwesthobbies.com, see what they have to offer. Uh, special thanks to jconcepts.net for all their support um, and all your guys' support. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much for pitching in. We greatly appreciate it. So once again, um, Big Buckarama, Rimfire, and Shannon. So Big Buckarama. Rimfire and Shannon, you guys are our winners. So we'll put you guys up on here. So be Big Buckarama. I'm going to mess this up. B6.4 kit plus mod pucks. And then Rimfire. This is almost like for me, so I can go back to it. Puck system. And then Shannon went in the mod hoodie. So thank you guys so much for all the support. Uh, Shannon chiming in. Thank you guys so much. We appreciate you guys. Go on to modspeechout.com, northwesthobbies.com, jconcepts.net, and support the ones that support you. We greatly appreciate you guys and what you do for the community and the live feeds. We're going to get into four-wheel drive modifi modify buggy, 8-2, main event. Tune in, share, like, and subscribe. Thank you, guys. All right, guys, we got that in. Thank you, Shannon. Thank you, Big Buckarama. Thank you, Rimfire. And thank you to all of our supporters. All of you guys have a chance to win, as like you saw. There was plenty of people around watching what was going on, so everything obviously on the up and up. And we appreciate uh, your guys' support. So those guys will be getting their prizes. Big Buckarama, you need to go buy a lottery ticket, bro, because you're, you're a lucky sucking dude right now. And it's getting paid forward. All right, guys, let's see how this one goes. Modified four-wheel drive buggy, A2 main event. All right, and we're off. 
There it goes, Brock, Dustin, Aiden, Lee. Freight training around the track right now. Cole Toller, Tom Rennernick. Let's see if anybody has anything for that of Brock Champlin right now. He's been so fast this entire time. Come around right here. Brock Champlin just trying to set out and get gone in this one. Here comes Dustin Evans. He looks hungry. Up and over. Here comes through the triple section right now. Now onto the straightaway. Brock Champlin and Dustin Evans. Here comes Aiden. He's not out of this one yet. There's Lee Setzer. You guys are moving. Up and over. Double doubling out here. Dustin Evans dropping down. Here comes Aiden Horn up over the double. These guys all in pitch review right now. Megan killing it on the camera up over the triple. Down the straightaway right now. There's Dustin Evans dropping down. Brock Champlin up over the tabletop. Not showing any signs of weakness right now. Both of these guys are completely on it. He was saying that Brock is super fast on that right side of the track. He's going to try and learn in this race what he might be doing wrong. But right now they look absolutely perfect. Nobody making a mistake. Oh, little squiggle there from Dustin Evans coming down the straightaway now. And off for Dustin. Brock Champlin goes through. A little bit more daylight in between them up and over that tabletop. Dustin Evans, here comes Aiden Horn doubling out here through the team associated corner for these guys. Up over the triple, Aiden Horn. Definitely, he said he was off pace early, but he got back on. He talked to his teammate, Dustin. Those guys' cars look unreal right now, but it's all about Brock Champlin in the Schumacher right now, up over the double. His car just looks so easy to drive. He's got those J Concepts silver ellipses on there, ground down. So looking good there from Champlin. Oh, and looks like a mistake there from Dustin Evans. You can see it in the corner. There's Aiden Horn and Dustin Evans up over the tabletop. We caught it in corner view. For Aiden Horn and Dustin, second and third. Little doink right there from Dustin, spinning him around. Let's see if I can go back there and find that in the peripheral view for you guys. So we were on with, yep, we can see it in the corner view. We'll play it in super slow-mo as Megan still follows these two guys as we're coming around, and we'll slow it down for you. You can see Dustin go, judges it wrong, hits the corner and pops back around, and then Aiden goes right by him in your rcgarage.info instant replay as we're getting going once again on camera. Aiden Horn and Dustin Evans coming around by the start-finish line. Oh, Dustin gets it wrong. That was a crazy crash right there. Let's see that one. That might have been a pretty cool little snapshot right there, and we got that one as well. Megan on it for the camera as we'll get this one going in slow motion view for you. We are live on that. We'll play that for Dustin. He grabs that pipe. Boom, he hits there, launches the car, goes into the wall, back over. Testament of strength for the team associated. B7 4.1 back on it once again for Brock Champlin on camera in the Schumacher looking good. So Dustin Evans dropping right now. So Cole Tollard making it by. Aiden right there. We'll catch up with them. Megan is on it up over the triple right now. Coming through, down, dropping up and over. Cole Tollard out from, I do believe, trackside hobbies. Up over that double. Super good kid dropping down here for... Cole Tollard and Dustin Evans, your third and fourth place driver. Big Buckarama saying he's out of here later, man. All righty. Down the double right here, we have Cole Tollard and Evans, both team-associated team drivers and Reedy team drivers going up over the trip down the straightaway now. Looking good out there. That's going to be Dustin Evans and Cole Tollard up and over. 
coming through. Looking good. Oh, up and over the triple there. Oh no, Dustin gets stuck up on the on the pipe. All right. Back with Aiden Horn. Aiden, did he flip? Aiden flip. Okay. So he lost it. Oh, okay. So Brock Champlin, Aiden Horn, Cole Toller, Dustin Evans, Lee Setzer around us out right there. We'll get with some of our top guys. Well, Brock, done in two. I didn't want to see it because I wanted battle. But you look good out there, man. Car looked amazing. And you just set out and set sail. It uh, just looks so comfortable to drive. Yeah, it's super easy to drive. They blew off the track uh, in between the last race and our race. And uh, yeah, that thing just gets better the more grip you get it. So it was three wheeling in some areas. Like, just it's just so comfortable when it does it. It, it just picks up more speed. So I don't really understand it, but it's good. Awesome, man. Well, already coming off the Roar Nationals, winning that one in carpet, coming out here to dirt, showing what's up in four-wheel, looking good. And uh, what's your, what are you going to do after this? I know 702 closed down. Yeah, uh, it's pretty unfortunate that it closed down, but uh, I have some plans. We'll see. We'll see what works out as far as that goes. As far as racing goes, there's not a ton of stuff as the Nationals for eight skill, uh, electric are next week. Then there's a Visions, the Visions race, but I think I got a race in Connecticut at the beginning of August, so look forward to that and go from there. Awesome, buddy. Best of luck. Thank you. All right, Aiden out there. Hard fought battle with both Dustin and uh, Cole was kind of coming up on you there at the end. Car looks good out there. Uh, just kind of just losing a little bit of pace, but still super, super fast with that team associated. Yeah, I mean, Brock's, Brock's got his four-wheel drive program pretty figured out right now. It's, it's pretty hard to argue against that. He's driving well, so um, congrats to him on the win. You know, he, he earned that and um, yeah, just didn't quite have the pace. I was doing everything I could out there, but um, just wasn't enough. No, well, still looking good out there. I know uh, you guys were some of the, you know, you're having issues a little bit earlier yesterday. You found it out, and right now you're uh, gonna looking for that podium spot. Yeah, super tricky surface. Um, super tough to figure it out, but uh, we're working hard, and uh, we're gonna see where we end up. All right, buddy. Best of luck. Cole Tollard, one of my favorite pro drivers. This guy's awesome. And uh, Al from Trackside Hobbies, dude, your car looked great. Always out there battling. Seeming to be a little bit off pace this weekend, but, you know, you're so consistent that uh, you're always in the hunt. Yeah, my cars have been good all weekend. It's just been driver error on my part. Uh, cars have been good. Uh, mad props to Brock for sweeping and qualifying in the mains. His stuff's really good, so proud of him. And when he gets a good car, it's hard to beat. No, well, you're looking good out there, too, man. Congratulations on your uh, getting third in that one, and uh, we'll see you in the next one. All right, thank you. Check, check. All right, REO online. I'll give you a rundown on BattleBots here after this one. 13.5, expert four-wheel drive, buggy, A2, main event. We're about to hit it. And we're off. Brennan schillen has been super fast in this one. Templeman right behind him. See if these guys have anything to say about it. Up and over the double. One, two, three, four, five. Six breaking away from the rest of the pack right now as they're coming down and now one or two. Oh, Templeman looking inside. Can't make it stick though on Schimmel. Coming up over the triple right now. Down the straightaway. These guys go one and two. Schimmel looking a little bit squirrely right there, but he's been so consistent the entire time, taking every round, winning, winning uh both in his A mains for A1s. So he's looking to clinch this one early, but these guys want to say something about it. Coming down and over Templeman, not letting go of the back end of Schimmel right now. Coming around, here comes Holmberg and Moran and also Horn. 
These guys are on it, so nobody. Oh, and Schimmel making a mistake right there up over, grabbing the pipe, but able to get it off the pipe. And Brennan Schimmel, so get, maybe getting a little nervous here. Who knows? Up and over the trip here. Here comes Templeman and Kyle Holmberg. Schimmel's not out of, out of the woods yet. He still has another 345 to go. These guys are coming, but they are battling with each other, letting Schimmel just try and check out and get gone and get comfortable. That's what you don't want. All righty. As we head down the straightaway right now, there's Templeman. There's Holmberg and Moran. All of them running mod puck systems in there. Up and over, dropping down over the double. Doubling out for those guys. Triple. These guys looking good. Oh, right there, Holmberg lets off with Sammy right there. Good sportsmanship right there. He kind of clipped it. Got off kilter. He could have nailed the throttle, but it would have been worse for the both of them. Third and fourth battle on camera view right now. Templeman right ahead of them. Sammy Moran, he had a heartbreaker in that first one. Looking for a better one in the second one. Mason Templeman in the two, but right now Schimmel just checking out and gone. Your battle, though, is between Sammy Moran and Holmberg. Right now, Sammy, he's trying to catch up to Oh, and, and he goes over. That was Schimmel turning over right there. It's an all-new battle. One, two, three, coming through. Schimmel turning over. Coming up over the triple right now. Here comes Sammy Moran up over the triple. Holmberg making a mistake. So Schimmel tracks rolling right there. Trying to get back on pace. 2.15 left to go. He's going to try and strap it back up and get this overall win in four-wheel drive as he comes up over the double. Double out for these guys. Brandon Schimmel up over the triple. Still looking good, just not trying to make any sort of mistakes. These guys, second, third, and fourth. Holmberg grabs the pipe. Now it goes down to Sammy Moran and Templeman. Oh, Sammy gets caught on the pipe right there. But no harm, no foul. He's back on it once again. These guys making some mistakes behind Schimmel. Not what they want to do. We have Mason Templeman jumping the triple. Sammy jumping the triple. Keeping them in view as they come up and over onto the straightaway. Here comes Sammy Moran down the straightaway. Right behind Mason Templeman. As we head on the back side right there. Still your closest battle. It looks like Holmberg has, oh no, Sammy goes over. He's gonna just try and retain that third now as we go into 115 left to go. Tyler, he's gonna be in that fifth place position. I think he got second last time. So, or third for that matter. Still going around. We'll catch up with that battle. Kyle Holmberg and Tyler, oh, right there. Coming around. Yeah, it got all loosey-goosey right there. And there's another battle, a whole bunch of guys, but everybody pretty spread out now. I don't think I said Brandon. <laughs> so Schimmel on this one. All righty. Looks like, oh, battle shaping up once again, coming down the straightaway between Sammy Moran and Mason Templeman as they go up over the tabletop. 14 seconds left to go. This will be their last race. Sammy's a very aggressive driver. He's always super quick. Come around on Mason Templeman. Mason right there just ahead of him. Sammy Moran going to try and get as many points as he can. Oh, Mason going a little wide there. Sammy, oh, Sammy going up and over, losing that one at the very end. Templeman, sigh of relief there as he comes down up over the tabletop. Here comes Sammy. Sammy just tiptoeing around and finishing that one off for those guys. What a good run. It will be Brennan Schimmel grabbing the overall there. Mason, Templeman, two, Sammy Moran, Tyler, and Kyle Holmberg.
All right, Brandon Schimmel, dude. Little little bit of uh, tip overs here and there, nerves, but uh, dude, you made it happen. Got that second win overall for four wheel. Now you're gonna try and do it in two wheel. How's it feel and uh, who do you wanna thank? Uh, feels great, track got a lot grippier that time. Uh, but I mean, I wanna thank Tom, uh, everybody, Wits Racing for getting me out here this weekend. Uh, everyone that supports me, mom and dad back home. Uh, yeah. Congratulations, man. Good luck in two wheel. Thank you. All righty. We're getting lined up once again. We're moving through this one fast here, guys. Seventeen point five independent two wheel drive buggy is up. Eight minute main event. All right. We're gonna, I'm gonna let Alex announce a lot of this one. I'm a little tired. All right. You good? If they have a been turned off their remote start stop thing, they don't definitely do not want to hold on to reverse. So I'm just pointing that out. Everson go to the middle. Thanks. Yep. All right, here we go. We're winding it down, guys. We are, what are we, seven races away, including this one? All right. All right. Eight minutes. Let's go shake and bake. That's Tone. TJ, very patient there. Dalton, you sort of threw both the corners. Then Dalton, TJ threw a corner, I think. Connor saw it, he wants to avoid it. Starts a little bit of a pile up back there, a little bit of traction on the top of the hill up there, lots of grip at the top of the hill. Dalton and TJ can get away clean. I think Connor got his spot back, he did. So Connor, how shall it? Andrew Thomas and the Starbury Banana. Up to four, then Connor. Dalton and TJ Pitt next to Series champ from Plexpec. When you win Plex, you're not allowed to race Plexpec anymore. So he had to move up and now he's TQ. Classes. Classes. Him and TJ go back and forth very clean. Back and forth as well. Andrew, Thomas in the three. Connor, House, Connor, Herrick. Diego, Keaton. 
Tuesday, getting around to Dalton. Make it happen, trying to go two for Tuesday. An independent buggy. Ooh, Dalton gets a little off the line. Andrew Thomas. Thomas is catching Dalton now, so Andrew, another tough stepper, turn independent racer. He's got a truck, a wheeler, a two-wheeler, a mini. He's going to be racing mini with us later. These guys are in carpet here at the Plex. Here at the Plex. Here also get number four. Another Plex to here. Previous Plex, not for a while, though. Oh, look at Connor Howard. Nice pass. Saw the inside. Oh, but Noah gets him back. Oh, Noah runs off the pipe. He had Connor covered. Herrick now applying some pressure to Andrew. TJ is all off on his own at the moment. Oh, of seating. Might even miss a Oh, Andrew's in the pipe. Connor Harris going to get around. That's for third place. Dalton is making up some ground on TJ. TJ at 25 40. Dalton's pipe. No traffic. Traffic at the top. Oh, 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 my goodness. Dalton gets a spot. Jake was in a bad spot. Nothing he can do. We got time. We got 3.30 left to go between these two. Don't count out Herrick and Andrew Thomas. These two mixing up. Dalton bounces off. TJ's right there. Looks like he got back around Connor Herrick, but they're way back now from the top two. They'll call the straightaway in half. Oh, there we go. Keaton Roddy. Don't look now. That yellow and orange or pop pink buggy's close. In fact, there's Connor Herrick going over. Emerson's got him, but that's going to be a spot. Meanwhile, Dalton and TJ putting laps here on Noah and putting lap here on Connor. How sh Oh, TJ looking for a way. Oh, my goodness. Over the Dalton bounces out. Two fifteen left to go on the clock. Those two go again. Meanwhile, I think Herrick has gotten uh, around Keaton again. Next, trouble there for Dalton. Uh oh, uh -oh no trouble for Dalton. There's Andrew. Andrew's over the triple. 
Connor Barrow is upside down. That's going to really split it up now. Uh, Housh, Ward, and Ponte. Ponte's not on anybody's lap, but Housh and Ward are going at it, so just be careful knowing that one of your videos is in front of you. DJ now with the straight and left to go. Oh, Dalton rolls it over by himself. 20 seconds. Andrew Thomas has uh, Ponte between him and second. He's going to let him go. But it's not over till it's over here. Andrew's been. Andrew from the eight to the three. Catch the two. Dalton, hang on here. A little bit of lap traffic. Thanks, Connor Harris. One more. I think time's going to get him. Andrew caught it on. Dalton, that locks you in. Man, what a performance is today, this weekend, by T.J. Williams, our very own T.J. Williams taking the win. Man, Keaton Roddy with a four. Diego from the ten to the five. Trevor Moss, Connor Harris, Connor Hausch, no award, Jake Poteet. That is a race. Good job, everyone. Expert A1, A2, I'm sorry, Expert A2 coming up. You can feel the end coming. TJ, Dalton, and Andrew. Emerson's cousin is coming over tonight again. He has basically made our house his hotel for two days every single week since the start of summer. Well, TJ, Gretchen I think you're going to be bumping up, man, to the next to class. Laundry getting form. two wheel, getting four wheel. We should be charging him. Thank you. Uh, once again, very fun racing with Dalton over here. And thanks to Riley again, my uncle, my dad, my mom. We should go fishing tonight. With everything throughout the weekend. Oh, right, buddy. my wife just Great said no. Great job, and uh, you know, we'll see you in the next class up. Congratulations. Thank you. Car nine. Dalton, right? Car eight. Awesome job out there, Dalton. Hard fought battle and uh, making it happen. Yeah, thank you. Anybody want to thank? Uh, just my family again for letting Car me do this stuff and helping me out. Awesome job, buddy. Congrats. Thank you. Hey, great job out there, bud. Car Almost seven. grabbing second Car there at the end, saying that Car you ten. bumped up, right, or something like that. So getting the bump up, going okay. to third. Congratulations. Get you guys out there to Marshall. There's no uh, independent racers out there? expert. My dad and my whole so it should not be an issue at all. Just supporting me all through this race weekend. Congratulations. Thank you. All right, hopefully we fixed the direct audio. It was, it's a wireless system and it was underneath a bunch of stuff. So hopefully it should be, uh, should be good now for the direct audio. Okay. Congratulations to all of our race winners. Dr. Pepper time. All right, everybody's checked in. Number laps, number laps, please, number laps. No more laps, please. No more laps. No more laps, please. All righty. Uh, 17.5 expert two-wheel drive buggy. Brandon's going to try and take this one overall now. All righty, guys. Where are we getting this one going? Should be a good race. We got 
Seven more races. Seven more to go, guys. Seven more to go. All righty. Let's get it. And we're off. Tires are snapping right now. Brandon Schimmel up over that tabletop. Kyle Hornberg in tow. Tyler right behind him. Sammy Moran stepping out of this one. So he's going to have to go to A3. All righty. So we're coming up and over. Now down the straightaway for these guys. Schimmel, Holmberg, Tyler. Coming through and out. Going through the double right now. Schimmel has a rear full view mirror of Holmberg. Did Holmberg figure something out? He looks real hungry in this one. Holmberg coming down and around, going up over the triple. Ooh, going way too high on that one. Lost some time, losing some more time there. Now he's got Tyler behind him. TLR, AE, TLR, TLR. It's funny to see, I don't see really many TLRs in the mod classes, but they are sprinkled everywhere in the stock and super stock classes. Stepping up and now down the straightaway here. Schimmel followed by Holmberg and Tyler, as well as James Bell. These guys are turning and burning right now up over that triple for Schimmel. Schimmel looking good in two-wheel drive. Sunday drive for him. Holmberg trying to do everything he can up ahead of Tyler. Tyler trying to catch him. Over this triple right here. Holmberg onto the straightaway. Tyler in tow. These guys are moving. Now Holmberg getting a little bit of distance in between him and Tyler. Maybe turning on those afterburners. Tyler making a mistake. Holmberg nowhere but forward to go. Nobody behind him. So Holmberg can set his sights on Schimmel. Tyler and Bell, your closest battle on the track right now. Holmberg trying to catch up to Schimmel. We'll watch it in our peripherals right now. Your closest battle is for third and fourth. Coming by the start finish line in between Tyler and James. Dropping down off the double. Schimmel going through the, through the triple section. Oh, no, Holmberg goes over. That's going to be about all she wrote. Oh, Tyler makes a mistake. Marshall getting him. That was lucky there for Holmberg that Tyler made a mistake too. So Schimmel is later dude gone. That's gonna be, oh, and Schimmel almost going into the wall there, but he kept it on all four tires. These guys are on it. Two minutes to go, two to go. Down the straightaway right now, Tyler and James, your closest battle on the track, Holmberg now. He is in viewpoint of Tyler, losing him before, not anymore. Holmberg coming down up over the double right now. Tyler right there. And Tyler and James Bell. Cole Henriksen up from the 10 spot up to the five. All right, one minute to go, one to go for these guys. Coming through up over the triple section here. Holmberg, Tyler, Bell, Schimmel checked out and gone. Looks like somebody's checking out of this one early. That's going to be Templeman checking out. Holmberg and Swift now. 
No, and Tyler, I mean, Tyler, sorry. Tyler making a mistake, though. So here comes James Bell. James Bell and Tyler right here. So making it for the both of them, Tyler and Bell. Dropping down, let's see if he can do anything. Up over the double here, Tyler up and over the triple. See if he can make it stick. Keep that all valuable points here. Holmberg's gonna go for the two. And that will do it. So Brandon will take it from by Kyle, Tyler, James, Will, Brian, Jackson, James, Sam, Town, and Mason. All right, race number 36. Single job modified, AMA number two. Well, Schimmel, it's time for you to go to eat, grab a drink, and uh, kick back your legs and watch the rest of the aim mains. Good job out there. Locking up two-wheel. I believe your mechanic said that you already locked up four-wheel for the series, grabbing uh, all three wins for the first three races. Congratulations on the win, man. And uh, what do you have to say? Uh, nothing. I mean, thanks to Tom. Uh, I mean, we've been running great all weekend. Uh, he's been working hard. And we've been testing a lot. So everything's been leading up to this. So. Congratulations on the wins, man. Now are we going to see you graduate up to mod for this next year? Uh, I'll be running stock and Nats, and then uh, generally after that, maybe. Cool. Most definitely. Well, good running out there, man. Definitely a threat at every race. Congratulations. Thank you. like the Tom Baker chiming in saying the mod systems are money. Thank you, Tom. I thought you said the mod streams are money. I, when I first glanced at it, I'm like, oh, thank you. <laughs> Hopefully you guys are liking the live stream. All righty, guys. You're Ferrara. You already won. There's no uh, guesses in this one. All righty, guys. And we're off. Oh, Aiden Horn already stepping out on that one. Little bit of a glitch. And here comes Brock now. Brock, ooh, he turned in a little early there too. So right now, Dustin Evans, he's trying to get where Brock doesn't sweep the weekend. Brock already has one four-wheel drive. His four-wheel looking pretty untouchable, but equally, Evans' two-wheel is looking untouchable this weekend. Up and over the tabletop, Dustin already breaking out in the lead quite far already with Brock in tow as well as Aiden, Lee, Tom, I believe that to be Vanderbeek coming through up over the triple for these guys. Aiden Horn, Lee Setzer, and Tom Redderneck. That's going to be three, four, and five. Oh, Lee goes over the pipe all on his own. Davey Botta right there looking inside. Can't make anything stick. So here comes... 
All right, up over that triple right there. Ooh, Brock getting away with murder on that one, snagging the pipe, but nothing happening to him. Coming down the straightaway. Brock Champlin, Aiden Horn now getting some feet underneath him, putting on those afterburners, trying to catch Champlin. He got beat by him in the last one. He doesn't want to make it happen in this one. So he'll almost assuredly take him out of possible contention because if Dustin wins this one, who would come down, I guess, to the final one, and then it would be a tiebreaker because uh, they both have um, four points. So they come down to, I believe, your overall time. Oh, Brock making a mistake there. He's going to lose three positions on that one. Marshall's got there as fast as they could, so Brock Champlin with the uncharacteristic mistake right there. Up over the triple. Aiden takes that one. There goes Tom. There goes Lee and Brock. Going to set his sights getting back up at least to that third place position. He only has three minutes to do it in, though. Coming around your leaders, Tom Rennerneck in that three. Here comes Lee Setzer and Brock Champlin. Brock up on two wheels. He's pushing now, trying to catch these guys and get past them. A little bit of whip action from him. Oh, Lee right there. He lets off on throttle. Tom wasn't able to do the triple. So good race pace there from Lee Setzer watching what was happening. Lee right there, right behind him as he's coming up on the back end. Renner neck hits the pipe, lets two by. You see what one bobble does. Very clean racing from all these gentlemen coming up and over the double right. Oh, and Brock hits the pipe again. Renner neck actually marshals him. Nobody's fault on that one. Brock just grabbing the pipe right there as he goes to fourth place. There goes Lee Setzer into the three. Dustin Evans, though, checked out. Gone Sunday drive for him. He's looking to take this one home. TQ and wins here for Evans. Aiden Horn, he's the only one that can do something about it. Lee Setzer right here as well coming down in that three. Tom and Brock on the straightaway coming down up over the tabletop. And here comes Cole Tollard. That's going to be four, five, and six. As they come by, Dustin Evans is later dude gone. So as long as he don't break, he'll be fine. He'll win that one. Coming through right now. Oh, and Tom Rennerneck gets it wrong. Oh, and Brock gets it wrong all on his own. Trying to go on the inside, but doesn't do him any justice there for Champlin. He's going to use this one as a throw. Oh, Tollard gets it wrong. I didn't see exactly what happened there. That's unfortunate. Oh, man. Then Davey Botta goes by Brock. So Brock and Davey Botta right now. Closest battle on the track as Davey's going to go up another position, probably into the fifth place position. Down the straightaway here. This is definitely a throw out for Champlin. So Davey goes to the five. Dustin Evans, Aiden Horn, Lee Setzer. Tom Rennerneck, Davey Botta, rounding out your top five. Let's get on with Dustin Evans in our final 30 seconds here. The all-blue car, Team Associated B6.4 up over the triple. Up over this triple, coming on to the straightaway. He is your leader. 20 seconds left to go. 20 seconds to go here for Dustin. Dustin, this is most likely going to be his last lap, so as long as he finishes this one up, he's going to grab this one. Dustin Evans in the B6.4. Reedy Power on there. I believe some Pro-Line Treads coming down the straightaway here for Dustin. Dustin going to lock this one up. Awesome running from Dustin. <laughs> Congratulations. Let's see these guys at the end. Davey's going to grab the five. Brock and Dominic. Dustin, Aiden, and Lee. Awesome run out there, man. Like Sunday drive. The car looks so good.
Yeah, I mean, my two wheels since Friday has been incredible. Uh, yeah, TQ two out of three, Aiden got one. Shows the associated stuff is awesome. Um, yeah, I couldn't be happier. And my stuff's really good up front, and I'm really confident right now. So I, from the sound of the gun, I'm able to just kind of like charge, which is typically not the way I like to drive. But when my stuff's that good and I'm super confident, I know I can just come out, come out really good and try to build a gap and then try to maintain it. Awesome, man. Well, look good. Anybody want to think out there? Yeah, of course. Team associated, Reedy Power, Proline, my mom, my wife, uh, everyone that supports me, follows me still. I've been doing this for a long time. And... Still battling up at the top, so going to keep at it. Congratulations, buddy, and see you on the podium. Thank you. Aiden, good run out there, man. I know uh, he's just you're on it out there, and it just seems like, you know, just little tiny mistakes here and there. Yeah, just um, that first corner was hurting, and um, can't be doing stuff like that if you want to race for the win, unfortunately. And, uh, yeah, Dustin has been on it all weekend. Um, I knew that if I let him get away, I wouldn't be able to reel him back in. So had to maintain contact and um, didn't. So uh, here we are. Best we can do is second, and uh, let's shoot for that. All right, buddy. Best of luck in A3. Thank you. Elite, always been fast out there, man. You had a pretty good A1. A2 was even better, and um, looking to put it on that podium. Yeah, it's going okay. Uh, kind of. Didn't really have the pace this weekend, I feel like, but, you know, trying my hardest out there in the pits and uh, trying to keep it clean. So that's why I did an A2. Um, had some battles with uh, Tom and Brock. Um, luckily, was able to kind of keep it clean and, uh, you know, kind of pull away from, from the rest of the pack. But, yeah, stayed in third. So uh, Dustin's uh, pretty much been on it in two well since we got here. So, uh, you know, congratulations to him on the win. Uh, Well-deserved. But, uh, yeah, it's been going good so far, so we're looking for a good A3. Awesome, man. Anybody want to think out there? Yeah, of course, uh, Team Associated, uh, Brent, and everyone there has uh, always been super supportive of me. Jay Concepts, uh, Jason and Paul, everyone there uh, always helped me out. Reedy Power, um, SS Hobbies, uh, my mom and dad, um, Makita, Factory Team, Kicker. Yeah, everyone that watches and supports me, I, I appreciate it. All right, buddy. Best of luck in A3. Thank you. Got it. Lily, 12. Emerson has his uh, desired starting uh, angle. Go straight into that downhill thing. Huh? Yeah, I know. Well, they're lining them up. Are we all lined up? Okay, we're good to go. All right. Uh, Mini B. Is Benjamin out there? Oh, never mind. Sorry, I had a transponder come up here. Never mind. Sorry. Okay. Uh, Mini B melee. Five minutes on the sound of the tone. Quick tone. Emerson and Alex. Oh, who's that diving to the inside? Emerson and Alex out front. No, Connor Herrick to the lead, then Alex, then Trevor and Emerson. Connor out front. Making the triple just barely up the hill. Alex right there behind him. Emerson going for a big flip. Connor going by traffic now. Alex right behind him. Alex slapping the wing on the ground doing a wheelie. Emerson getting Alex on the inside, up the hill. Connor down the straightaway, leading him around, just trying to hang on to that thing. Emerson Sturgeon, like a shark, working his way through the field. Emerson 
Emerson right on the back door of Connor, looking to the inside of the triple. They both get kind of squirrely. Emerson comes up the, the uh, benefactor of that one. Connor getting it wrong. Alex goes by for the two spot. Emerson with a pretty healthy lead. Alex making the triple, Emerson up the hill. Emerson down the straightaway. Whoa, who was that? Flying. Emerson now with a pretty substantial lead over Alex. It's going to take a mistake. Two minutes left, two minutes left to go. If you're looking for a very good upgrade for these vehicles, might I recommend the J Concepts ellipses made for the Mini B. That's what your two leaders are on. Emerson working traffic now. Alex with clean track. Emerson running that uh, yellow, yellow wheels, kind of yellow and white. Number 69 going over the triple now. Oh, wait, that isn't him. There he is. Emerson hitting lap traffic. Alex right there to capitalize. You heard her, one minute left to go. Emerson feeling the pressure. From Daddy-O. Alex over the double, over the tabletop rather. Emerson over the next tabletop, getting it kind of squirrely. Alex now right on the back door of Emerson, running into Emerson a little bit, getting him all messed up before the triple. Alex goes by. Alex, now your leader. Oh, Alex takes it. Oh, man. Emerson will never live this down. Then you got Connor in the three spot. I can't believe Alex won, actually. Emerson's car was so good. <laughs> good, good. How are you? How's it going? Good, yeah. Rock and roll? Oh, yeah. Well, after everything, through qualifying yesterday, into the main events, your boy beach and every one of them, or except for the last one, he broke, but uh, his car was faster, but you showed the old man's skills and father skills to make it happen. Dude, <laughs> after that 40, this is like deja vu, after the 40 plus race, uh, I was like, all right, well, if Emerson and I get first and second, I'll be pretty stoked. And then, I don't know, I don't even know how I won that. I was so happy, that's so funny. It's a good ending for kind of like what's been going on. I've seen you've been having some rough starts on different stuff and going on in 40 plus and all sorts of everything. Great running out there, man. Congratulations on your win and these super cool little mini bees. Yeah, dude, mini bees are really fun. Uh, they handle everything like the bigger cars. You got to be a little safer with them and stuff. But uh, um, when uh, when the J Concepts came out with the uh, ellipses, both Emerson and I were like, dude, we should run these on the dirt. And we did. And we're like, hey. Emerson took his Mini to Adrenaline RC and, uh, and showed him and ran it out there on that track. And Jason's like, hey, we should 
do a class of those at our race. And, um, and Emerson's like, yeah, we should totally do that. So that's why we did it. Um, they're super fun. It, 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 I was trying to use today the, the mini bees is to kind of break it up, kind of give it some um, levity. Is that the word? You know, just, just something, something fun to do. And something it, lighthearted. Something lighthearted and fun, and it worked out. So, man. Awesome. Congratulations. I'm also, I'm also very stoked that I won. By <laughs> I beat his son. That was the main <laughs> thing. Congratulations, Alex. Alrighty, guys, let's get on this one. 
All right. We're off. Dustin Evans, Brock Champlin already getting this one and locking it up. Here comes Dustin, Aiden, Lee, Cole, Rannerneck, Vanderbeek, Bada. Coming on through already. Dustin Evans and Aiden Horn as they're breaking away. Lee sets her right there as well with Cole Tollard. Are all team associated with Rennerneck being the exception? Making it happen right now up and over the tabletop. Dustin Evans just on point right now. Brock Champlin on it. I mean, not Brock Champlin. Dustin Evans on it. Brock Champlin with him gone. Doesn't really have much to shoot for, but just like that, making that mistake gives Aiden a little bit of uh, daylight right there, hooking on a toe leash on the back of Dustin Evans for Aiden Horn. Aiden now following in suit. Was losing him there for a second, but not anymore. Aiden Horn on throttle and hauling right now as he's going to be coming onto the straightaway with Dustin. Your one and two. I do believe this may be for the overall. Because I think Dustin has two twos and then Aiden has a three. I do believe. So if he gets a one and a three, a two and a two, I think it comes down to their fastest time or combined time. It might be combined time for the tiebreaker. As we're coming through right now, up and over that double, Aiden Horn, Dustin Evans through. The short shoot, looking good. Aiden Horn trying to make it go to a tiebreaker. Dustin Evans doesn't want that. He wants to win it handedly. Take that second overall podium position in four wheel and second in two and first in two wheel. Awesome running there from Dustin in two wheel drive. Just lights out, knockout. These guys are on throttle and hauling. Olsen is in the TLR, so thank you so much. I thought he used to be on AE, though. We have Dustin Evans, Team Associated B, 74.1. Aiden Horn, same thing. Lee, same thing. Oh, and Lee goes over right there in the peripherals. Cole Toller goes by, loses uh, a couple positions there for Setzer. Aiden Horn trying to not lose it, but he's losing sight of Dustin Evans and fast. Here comes Cole Tollard. He got by that of Lee Setzer. Now Cole is setting his sights on Aiden Horn as it second and third comes up over that left-hand side. Doubling down here, doubling out for Cole Tollard. Cole Tollard on throttle and trying to make up some time. Through and through, oh, so issue from Evans. Here comes Horn, oh, and Aiden losing it all. <laughs> Almost having it there. Let me get a replay of that one. I don't see what happened. Okay, we can play that last whole thing right there. Oh, and Cole Tollard got by. Got by uh, Aiden Horn there. We'll do a replay of Dustin Evans' crash there at the end. Little bit uh, almost opening up the door. But let's see. I don't know if that will give it to any sort of a glimpse for Cole Taller to get on the podium. I'm not sure. He might come to a tiebreaker between Aiden Horn and Cole Taller then. So we're coming, coming around up and over and through for Aiden Horn. And Cole Tollard, second and third. Oh, no, Cole going over out of nowhere for Tollard. Here comes Botta. Botta Bing right there, up over the triple, setting his sights on Tollard. Trying to make it happen here. 
That is it for Tyler. Oh, Botta tried to go for the digger. Couldn't make it stick with Tollard. And that will be all she wrote. It will be second place for Dustin Evans there. Aiden Horn, oh, they're still on the same lap. But Dustin right there as well. Man, just on the wrong side of the pipe there for Aiden. Dustin, block out a little bit. My homie back here. <laughs> Hello. Hey guys. Great job out there, Dustin. Uh, it looked good, but we we weren't even following you, and then he came into camera view, hitting the pipe at the end there, and uh, you know, Aiden almost making the pass on you in the corner. We were kind of looking forward to that battle. Yeah, no, my four wheel is actually really good. I had a couple little bobbles. Um, I mean, the first two mains, I was pushing so hard to keep up with Brock. He was kind of in a, another league in four-wheel. That time, I got to kind of drive my own pace, which was, I thought, pretty good, but obviously wasn't enough. And then I, I made a few little bobbles, and then Aiden sent it on the table. I was like, oh, gosh. But, uh, yeah, I mean, it was good, just a few little bobbles, but happy to get second. Hey, second overall, first and two-wheel. Congratulations on your podiums, and uh, we'll see you there. Yep, thank you. You got it. Aiden. Looking good out there, man. I was commenting. I was like, ah, he's losing pace load and makes a mistake. And then I don't know what happened over here. You just kind of like bopped it on top and it flipped over on you. I was like, ah, oh, it was, it was, I was hoping you were going to make the pass. Yeah, I, you know, definitely wasn't expecting a little gift like that. Um, he had the crash there and I, I guess it just got me excited, you know, got the heart rate up, got the blood pumping. And uh, when that happens, you tend not to drive as well. So you just uh, do things like jumping into the pipes and stuff. So that's unfortunate. Um, I wanted that second because I knew that was going to be for second overall, but um, didn't quite drive good enough. Uh, look good out there, man. Congratulations on your podium. Uh, is, is it go between you and Taller now, or you got third handedly? I got third. So congratulations overall, bud. And uh, your dad's right here behind you. I see him chuckling every once in a while. And... Uh, he, he should have a good run in this. Congratulations on your wins, and um, uh, it's time to it's time to get out of this heat. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Just uh, one more run here. Big Large is going to go throw it down in A3. I'll probably have to marshal him a couple times, but uh, we'll see how it goes. <laughs> All right, buddy. See ya.
next song with Tim and Henriksen on their left. Alrighty, guys, we're about to get into this one. Brennan Schimmel already locked this thing up in two. See what Templeman, Holmberg, Moran can do. These always all have been fast, and we're off. And we're going. Here is Templeman, Holmberg, and Moran. Oh, nice oh, inside pass. Templeman getting it wrong there. He ended up swinging across there. So Holmberg and Moran now breaking away from the pack. Moran needs a good run in this one. I think he had a terrible four-wheel drive run in the last one. It's either that or two-wheel for Moran. Oh, Moran grabbing the pipe there. Oh, Horn looks low, but can't make anything stick right there. Jumps too wide there, way too far. Horn makes it by. Here comes Tyler as well. Kyle Holmberg trying to check out. He's gone in this one. Oh, man, something happening to Horn. I didn't see exactly what it was. All right, here comes Moran. Moran trying to sling up here on Holmberg. Holmberg out from Thunder Road. Triple coming down now for Moran. Moran on it, up over the tabletop. Tabletop out for Moran. He's looking good. Moran just ahead of Tyler. I think this is for podium right now. Moran needs something right now. Up and over the tabletop. The better points he can get, the better he'll be to make that podium. Oh, Tyler gets it wrong, but no harm, no foul. Moran right there ahead of him. Up over the triple here for Moran. A little Sammy full four-wheel drive puck system in that boy. Coming around in that second place position. He's moving. Coming through. Holmberg on it. Up and over the small triple. And single down. Sammy Moran looking good ahead of Tyler. Sammy now setting his sights on Holmberg. Holmberg coming down. Sammy full throttle down right now. He's feeling it. He's in the groove for Moran. Moran, let's see what he has to say about it. He's going to be going up over that triple. Gets it a little bit wrong, though. That might give a little advantage back to Holmberg. Holmberg definitely a very smooth driver out there. Holmberg coming by with a 22.8. 24.0 there for Moran, so not going to help and do Sammy any justice, especially when Holmberg is pulling 22 second laps there. So up over the triple there for these guys. Holmberg, let's see what he has to come by with. He had that 22.8 up over the double. 23.4 there for Holmberg. 23.0 from Moran. Moran making up. Nearly half a second on that one. So Sammy feeling it right now with a minute 30 left to go. But it's going to take a mistake from Holmberg for Sammy to catch back up. So something happened. So just like that, Moran comes by Holmberg. Holmberg looked like he messed up. Oh, and Holmberg gets on two wheels there. Holmberg dropping down up over the double. Good job with both of these guys. They've been on it all weekend. So Holmberg, they'll make the mistake. Sammy Moran trying to take third round win. Sammy needs this for the points to try and make it to the podium. That is for sure. Up and over. Moran looking good. Dropping down up over the double. Here comes Holmberg. Getting his feet underneath him again. Making that mistake. Having this one. And it was over. But one mistake's all it takes. Up over the triple section there for the both of them. 40 seconds left to go. As we're coming around. So 
So Sammy. So right now, Sammy, Sammy would be second overall for this one for Moran. If he can keep this position, Holmberg will go to the three. So right now, Sammy Moran looking to take second overall. That'd be good for him. Kyle Holmberg, though, he's right there on Moran. Moran coming into this last lap. This is all for the marbles, second and third, up for grabs. Oh, and Kyle Holmberg, unfortunately, tapping out on that one. And then Holmberg finishing that one up. Maisel Tempelman going to the three. Wow, good run there for Moran there at the end. Holmberg going to the three overall. I mean, it's been a hard-fought battle for you this weekend, man. You've been kind of up, down, here, and around. And uh, you ended up grabbing second overall in that four-wheel drive class behind Brennan. Brennan's su just super fast out there with the TLR car as well. You were running full mod puck system in there. Car looked good, man. And uh, I think you would have had some for him. You just had little mistakes here and there throughout the weekend. Yeah, all weekend has just been a bit of a struggle for me, trying to find the tires and grip. So I guess kind of pulled together in the main, so... You got made it happen, and uh, congratulations on your on your uh, finish right now. And uh, we'll see you on the podium. Cool, thanks, Matt. Anybody you want to thank? Yeah, all my sponsors: TLR, R1, J Concepts, uh, Mod, High Tech, Vision Racing, Cheetah Racing, RC Machine, uh, Coyote Hobbies, Cichlids. You got it, buddy. Congratulations on your win. Thank you. you got it. Times with the bump ups kind of hit here. There's Mason. Just don't go fast the way you can get a lap in. The 10 buckets open and the one cone is open. I need two more marshals in the back to help Allen out. And then one in the 10 bucket, please. Two marshals, really quick, please. Two. Two. Dose. Thank you. Hey, Ashley, what are you doing? You should help, you should help Marshall in the back with Alan. Okay. Dominic Passione, your TQ on the number one. Will Brinton on the number two. Kyle Holmberg on the number three. Emerson Sturgeon on the four. Tommy Smith on the five. Talon Henley on the six. TJ Williams on the seven. Sam Ford on the eight, Mason Templeman on the number nine, and Dustin Hosick, your final bump up on the number 10. Marshals are, where'd my marshal, in, where'd he go? Ah, there we go. So you were doing the right thing there, thanks. Sorry, I didn't see it. All right, here we go. Driver's ready. Marshals ready, eight minutes. Shake and bake at the tone. Easy through the first couple here. We've seen most of the guys get through it. It's after this tabletop where it gets kind of tough, but look at these guys, man. That's awesome. So far, so good. We're off and rolling. Leave it to the 40 plus class to have the worst start of the day. <laughs> Dominic, Kyle, Will, Emerson, Tommy, look at TJ. TJ's had a really good day today. Oh, trouble. 
He's going to go back. Emerson up to the three. Tommy in the square. TJ McFadden will hit a bunch of pocket touch there for those keep it clean. Eight minutes is a long time to run with no mistakes, but it can be done. <clears throat> Dominic, Will, Emerson, top three. Tommy and TJ, they got a gap now over talent. Uh, Kyle again with some trouble, going upside down. And then back there's Mason, Kyle, Dustin, and Sam. Mason taps out a little bit. Dominic in front, Will in second, Emerson third. Emerson being very, very smart up the hill. Tommy right there behind him. Uh, Emerson, Tommy, and TJ having a great run. TJ, truck is usually one of his faster classes, so it makes sense that he'd be up there battling with these guys. How about Talon Henley creeping up there in the picture? Kind of did the same thing. Last, uh, last round at Adrenaline, he was kind of hanging out there. All of a sudden, next thing you know, he was in second. Dominic Will, they're separated by two points. Then a little bit of a gap back to Emerson. Wow, Tommy got super lucky. That's going to move Talon and Kyle back up there. Emerson on the pipe. No harm, no foul, though. Tommy's still right there with him. They're having a great run themselves. Looks like they're going to be putting a lap here on Mason. Eventually, maybe. Ooh, Tommy trying to get on the inside of Emerson. Couldn't make it stick. But Dominic, Dominic in trouble. Will Brinson goes to the lead. Emerson trying to get pushed around. Tommy holding him up. So now we've got a change up, and it's Brenton and Dominic. That's not what Dominic wanted to see, because Will has a fast truck as well. Dominic was a little bit. We got four left to go. Kyle Holmberg is making his way back up there. He's in fifth. Dominic with some more trouble, so Will to the front. Oh, man. Oh, my goodness. Will, <laughs> I mean, Emerson and Tommy back and forth. Oh, Tommy is in the pipe. Hal Holmberg. Trouble. Laps. Uh, lap. TJ and Mason, be careful. That's first and second in front of you. The gold and white of Emerson will be third. Right now, Tommy and... Emerson solving the three spot. Will now Dominic. Emerson surrounded by lap cars. TJ behind him. Uh, Mason Templeman in front of him. Kyle upside down again. Here comes the pack. That's going to be Dustin. And Tommy. And Talon. Brinton up front. Three minutes to go. Dominic on the pipe. He's going to lose some time to Will. TJ, that's your lead. You just don't run into him. Plus, he's my son, so don't do that. 2.45 left to go. Emerson in third. Emerson looking to get another third in the INS, maybe. Kyle, there's still time for Kyle. Kyle's got a fast truck. He's just been a little few too many crashes. Dustin and Talon are back there, also working it. Tommy, and then Sam, TJ. Dominic on the pipe again. Brinton. 
Leading us out. Two minutes to go. Kyle right now is about a second faster than the whole field. But he's like, dude, if I just wouldn't have crashed a whole bunch at the start. Mason with another big crash at the straight. Dominic the fastest that time. Actually, Kyle also matches him. Kyle again. Kyle's about a second quicker right now than the whole field. Dominic did match him, so Dominic trying to catch back up to Will. They got 135 left to go. Uh, no real lap traffic in play, but Kyle is catching up to Emerson. Emerson is on treads. Kyle's on slicks. That's kind of where we put Emerson with the safe, consistent bet. Will's got no traffic in front of him yet. Dominic doesn't either. Emerson and Kyle are free to race. 110 to go. Emerson and Kyle have a pretty good lead over the next competitor, which is Tom Smith. So we'll see how that plays out between those two. Kyle's definitely a little quicker than Emerson right now. But Emerson has been racing since he was three. Can keep a pretty tight line when he wants to. 45 seconds, two battles going on, one for the win. Dominic is catching up to Will, now Will's catching up to a whole bunch of lap traffic, so two races going on here. Emerson trying to hold Kyle off. Will trying to hold Dominic off. One last push, TJ, Talon, you guys will eventually have the leaders. Oh, Emerson just couldn't quite make the corner like Kyle. Hang on to her. Fourth is better than last. Watch the end of the straightaway. Careful, that one's busted. 20 seconds, last lap here for your top two. Possibly last lap for third and fourth. Kyle's gonna make one more for sure. It's gonna be close for Emerson. Dominic, I think, had a trouble. Time's expired. Will Brinsman gonna take the win. In 13-5 stadium truck, Dominic Passione's gonna get second, Kyle's gonna get third, Emerson's locked in in fourth. Tommy, Dustin, Talon, TJ, Sam, and Mason. What a finish for the local boys this weekend. Race number 41. Mod two wheel. We'll give you guys a second if there, you need buddy. it. We'll see who Winning gets that one. in I here. Think you got the one out of adrenaline as well, if I'm not mistaken. And uh, you know, hard fought hey. battle. I saw the fish shake. Dude, uh, you're happy with that one? Oh, I was pretty happy. Um, yeah, I got the one in adrenaline. That was great. Uh, I still haven't got it from TQ, so I've I've yet to TQ around, but I've won them both. So that's awesome, Alex. What matters in the main? Anybody want to think out there? Uh, team Associated, Factory Team, Reedy, uh, J Concepts. Uh, Jason for being here, Alex Sturgeon for providing the facility. and we'll get everybody back out here to Marshall, uh, please. All my friends and family. Awesome, man. Congratulations. Good run. Thanks. We're almost done. Two wheel mod figured out. Dustin Evans took the win, so he'll sit this one out. Expert two wheels up, and then we're done. We'll hand out the awards, take our pictures, and then uh, for me, a lot more work before I go home. <laughs> car six, car five, car three, car ten. Car 11, car 2, car 8. Car 7. Emerson. Hey, come here. Will. Go, 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 go talk to Emerson. Car 4. Car 9. Everybody is checked in. All righty, guys. We're looking good. Trying to finish this one off. Trying to finish this one off.
Thank you guys for all the support on the live feed. We will also have the podiums at the end. It will be on the uh, on the live stream here. So we will have the podiums at the very end for you. So it should be super dialed. I appreciate you guys for tuning in. Appreciate all the support. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And get this one started already. Dustin Evans has locked this one up, so he's going to be sitting this one out. And then the rest of these guys are going to be battling it out. Let's see what the... Or the estimated will come up once they start. We'll be able to see where these guys will end up. All righty. And we're off. Aiden Horn definitely has a better start to this one than he did, I believe, then in four-wheel. Coming around for Aiden and Brock in tow right now, right up on him, letting off on the gas there from Champlin. Lee sets her into, oh, and just like that, Aiden, he ended up, he caught the corner. That was not Brock's fault. Aiden caught the corner, and then it drove Brock right into the back of him. So right here, here comes Rennerneck and Champlin. These guys are coming around and moving. Let's see what happens here. Lee Setzer now in the lead of this one for Lee. Aiden not having too good of a run on this one, much like Brock's run in the last two-wheel drive run for him. So Brock trying to get up to that podium spot with the Schumacher. Lee Setzer wants to say something about it. He's been running smooth as well. Up over the double there for Lee. Here comes Rennerneck. Rennerneck home track for him back in the day. Lee Setzer, Rennerneck. Champlin, Bada, Davey Bada coming out in mod this year, doing, doing pretty decently decent here for Bada. He's going to be in that fourth place position, coming up and over through the mini sweeper, dropping down for your top four. They're breaking away from the pack right now, and there's Brock and Pacone there behind them. Let's see what happens. Here comes Lee Setzer down the straightaway. This will be a good win for Lee. Here comes Rennerneck and Champlin and Botta. Pacone, anybody's game right now as these guys are pretty bunched together right now. And one mistake from any of them, you're dropping three, four, maybe five positions here. Up and over the triple there for these guys. Coming down the straightaway goes Lee Setzer. Lee up over the table. Here comes Rennerneck and... Champlin, Champlin losing sight of them a little bit. He's not gaining too much. He's going to try and shape it back up in that LD2 Schumacher, but it's Team Associated X-Ray Schumacher Associated. Coming around down the straightaway now for Lee Setzer. Coming around. Oh, Lee right there. Here comes Tom. Tom is on it. Lee Setzer, Tom. Tom looking on. Oh, and he takes out Lee right there. I don't know about that one. I don't know. He might have came back into the uh, line on him. That might have been racing right there. We can check that one over again. Might have been just racing. So I think when they landed, yeah, Lee did come back into the line on, on Lee. So... He kind of kind of came down into the line a lot. Let's see if super close battle here. They're coming down. I can show you guys the replay. You guys can determine it for yourself. We're going to go on to the instant replay right here. We'll see how they take off. It looks like Lee did come down into the line. You guys can be the determining factor. I think probably, yeah, I don't know if Lee came down into the line on that one. As we keep it going once again, back on with your leaders. 
All right, Tom Rennerneck, Brock Champ, and Lee Sets are Dominic. So it's going to be Lee, Dominic, and Bada right there. We'll get on with our top two, though, coming down the straightaway. That's going to be Tom and Brock. Ooh, Brock right there. Here comes Tom coming around up and over the double here, or tabletop, doubling down. That is your battle for the lead and potential overall here. And these guys are shaping up. This is your A3 main event here. So I didn't see exactly what happened. So heard sportsmanship, so we're good and going once again. That's Tom Rennerneck and Brock Champlin coming down and around. Looking good here for, so Brock doesn't even need to win it. So it looks like Brock has second solid coming through and down the straightaway, but I know for bragging rights, they want it. Tom Rennerneck, Brock Champlin, Pacone, Lee Setzer now. Oh, up and over. Lee almost can get on Pacone there, but it's all one and two. Tom and Brock Champ. Oh, and grabbed him right there. And they go once again. Good sportsmanship right there from Brock. As Tom and Brock, let's see what happens here at the end. As all of them are bunching up here at the end. Tom, Brock, Pacone, Lee, now Vinternick, and Bada. Great running, guys. Great running. It'll be Tom, Brock, and Dominic. One, two, and three. Congratulations, guys. We will get an interview with the top three guys here. We'll get you an interview if you want. Brock and Tom. Some run there, Tom, in the X-ray gear, looking good, man. I know you're with R1, getting on X-ray and uh, doing very well with the cars. Yeah, it was uh, honestly a really slow start out here. Um, been making progress the whole time. Paul Chicarillo has been a great help. Uh, two wheels feeling awesome out there that time. It was a nice race with Brock, so uh, yeah. Uh, it looked good from the both of you guys, very courteous on both parts. And uh, even we replayed it with you and uh, Lee right here. It looked like he kind of came into the line right there. So I would say that was that was fair. Uh, my call would be. And uh, it looked good. You two kind of got together. And overall, very clean race and very proud of that one for sure. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it was, it was a great race. I just want to thank uh, X-Ray, RC America, R1 Works, J Concepts, Cheetah Racing. All these guys are helping me get to the top. So as well as my family, they're awesome. They're out here watching. It's a great time. Congrats, buddy. Thank you, Matt. All right, Brock. Man, do it. you and Dustin Evans basically trading it out. TQs for the both of you. Wins in each one and getting second in each one. The car looked good out there. You looked hungry in this one and uh, a good battle there with Tom. Yeah, there's really, I mean, I didn't mean to hit Tom twice. Both were coming on the straightaway. I just wasn't expecting to come on as quick as I did. I drilled the line and then the back section, I just can't stop out there like that. So, yeah, it's... It, Overall, it was a good weekend. We traded. It's just like April Fool's. So we swapped again, and uh, yeah, the car was a whole lot better. I was running some white old silvers on the two wheel, and then I put on my full drive tires for that last one on just the rear, and the thing was really good. I wish I did it a little sooner, but live to learn. Now I know for the next time, and we'll go from there. Awesome, man. Well, best of running out there. Congrats on your podiums, and uh, well, we'll see you on the podium. Congrats. Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you guys for tuning in. Be sure to keep with us. We will be uh, following over on the podium. Patrick Muse saying, when is your guys' next live event? Awesome coverage you guys have. Thank you, Patrick. We appreciate it. Thank you, Chris Nunez, for the compliments on the coverage. Hope you guys have liked it throughout the day. Couldn't have done it without my lovely girlfriend, Megan. She has been on point the entire time with the camera work we've been working as a team all right already brennan has snagged this one last race of the weekend last race of the day last race for this event we are glad this is over because it has been humid as heck up here and uh we're glad so we're gonna be get this one going
Let's see what these guys have to say. Coming at the end here, Holmberg starts second. All right, and we're up. Clean, clean start so far. Ooh, I like it. Let's make it happen. Oh, yeah. Oh. Um, I don't know which one it is. It might be me. There, I don't know who's those Geo bags. It might be mine. <laughs> we'll see. Holmberg on it right now up over the tabletop. Here's James Bell, Tyler, and Moran. Moran, I think, had a terrible two-wheel drive run in the last one. Oh, and that was getting on to Tyler right there. I don't know if that was Moran's fault. He kind of washed out in the center there, and he had nowhere to go there for Moran. But it is all about Holmberg right now. Holmberg now down the straightaway. He has that mod drivetrain system in there. He's got the full-on uh, featherweight system in there. And he also has a puck system. He's going to be trying both out, but making it happen there for Holmberg as he goes over that back double. Looking good here for Holmberg. Then goes Bell. Then goes Dunbar. Coming through Holmberg. Oh, Holmberg grabbing the pipe there. A little loose there, but now it gives Bell a little bit of the room back on him as we are getting into... Final stretch. Well, not really. We saw 3.40 left to go. Holmberg, Bell, Dunbar, Templeman, and Tyler making this one happen. Here at the end, down the straightaway here for Holmberg. Holmberg on throttle. Up over the table. And out for Holmberg. Holmberg looking good. Dropping down, these tires are snap, snapping out here. And we're moving around. Matthew Burr just online now. Yes, we have drawn for the waffle. Go before the A3s, or the a A2s, A2s. If you want to rewind the video on YouTube, Matthew, if you go to YouTube, you can rewind the video for the waffle. We had three different winners, actually. All right, it looks like, oh, Holmberg making another mistake here. Oh, no, here comes Dunbar down the straightaway. His nemesis corner for Kyle Holmberg has been that corner. That's messed him up. Here comes Templeman and Dunbar. Holmberg right now trying to snag this one and trying to grab second overall. Sammy, oh, Sammy's out. He's going to throw away this run. All right, Kyle Holmberg down the straightaway right now. And here comes Templeman and Dunbar. These guys are moving out there. Up and over the double. Coming through, Dunbar in tow in the Yokomo. Up over the double, it's associated, associated, Yokomo. Doubling out here for these boys. Coming down the straightaway now. Kyle Holmberg in the lead of this one. Final stretch, we have a battle. Top three bunched up right now. One minute left to go, it's anybody's race. Holmberg, Templeman, Dunbar. Somebody's going to send it. Dunbar could be the big beneficiary of this one if Mason happens to get into Kyle, unfortunately, or Kyle hits a pipe and collects Mason. Anything can happen. Sometimes third's the plus, best place to be. Coming around right now, up over the triple for Holmberg, Templeman, Dunbar. Down the straightaway. Good race here at the end of the INS 12. Jay Constance, oh, nice and sliding into it there for Dunbar. Nobody's fault. Mason almost stopped in the corner. Dunbar sliding in. Tokyo Drift locking up the binders not to hit him. Coming through. Kyle Holmberg, little bit of room right now. 
12 seconds left to go. These guys are gonna get, gonna get I think, one more lap. They are eight, five, four, three, two, one. All three of them make it by here at the end. Kyle Holmberg and Templeman here at the end. Oh, almost there. Templeman looking high, looking low. Can't taps him on the back. Holmberg gets a little boost there from Templeman. Here comes Holmberg around that corner here at the end. Good running from Holmberg. Holmberg through and through. Woo, that was a sweater for him. Wow. Good running for these guys. Good running. Hey, here for me. Man, I bet that was a stressful race for you, man. Get way ahead in that your nemesis corner and just there at the, that corner kept getting you time and time again. Yeah, having one set of slicks uh, on silvers and it just got softer and softer and a little bit harder to drive, but yeah, was able to pull it out in A3. You look good out there, man. I'm sure you got, what, probably second on the podium overall. And uh, you're fast in all classes, a little bit of terrible luck in, I think, in truck. Um, but you were running good in four wheel, good in two wheel. Congratulations on your runs. And shameless plug running the mod systems in there. Great job out there, buddy. And uh, how'd you like the event? And how did you have some fun? Oh, uh, great time. Uh, this is definitely better uh, in the summertime than the spring and not having to wear uh, coats. And yeah, it's nice. Definitely be back next year, hopefully. I know I'm going to disagree with them because it's humid up here for us. But uh, for everybody else, it's nicer. Congratulations on your wins. And uh, we'll see you on the podium. Yeah, thank you very much. All right, guys. So we will meet you guys on the podium. Just give us about five minutes here to, uh, to get all the wireless system hooked up. I've been prepping it in the background. Thank you guys for tuning in. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe. Visit jconcepts.net, modspeedshop.com, and northwesthobbies.com. Grab some goodies on there. It would really help us out. We'll be right with you. Stay on the feed.
guys hear me? Probably not. I don't think so. All right, try taking this out. Oh, which which one is this on though? What? Yeah, we were on six. I don't think this is working. I have to mess with that later. Yeah. Oh, I should be able to tie into his announcing. And then I'll see if my if mine will work out there with this guy. Now let's we'll walk that over. And I can turn on Alex's because his should work wirelessly. Do you want this put on six now? Uh, no. You know what? Let me walk over there, and I'll, uh, I'm going to set it up, and then see it once you push six, see if it's got a good signal, okay? You good, baby? Straight misery in there, dude. Uh, I said there's like three of them around. I was like, how's it going to be all day? Fourth place, full power. It's misery, and it gets like worse during the day. And you're just like, it's terrible. We're there the entire time. It was terrible. When we got here, I was like, man, Jason, I'm like, why do we have to have this during the summer, dude? I'm like, I'm about to double my price, man. I'm like, this is terrible. Dude, ultimate sweating the entire time. Second place, Dustin Evans. Okay, this is okay. And CQ and win! Block! Yeah. Shit, man! Three out of five. Okay. And they can see? Alright, we're going to go to, uh, we're going to do that. We're going to split it up here. And uh, we'll start with our first. Third place was Brandon Edwards. Uh, first, no. hey, 
Yeah. You kind of almost, it's, it's sad, but it's good, but we, we got used to it, you know? Yeah, you just have to take a break every once in a while and be like, all right, it's enough. I'm going to come in and get in here for a little bit. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> He's like, let's, let's keep that mentality. <laughs> We'll do our next uh, takeaway thing here. Uh, expert forward will probably let you know. Uh, is that an interesting thing? I'm going to go move the, the thing around. James Bell, 10th place, James Bell. Uh, James Bell, James Bell. Uh, James Bell. Uh, James Bell. Uh, James Bell. Oh, I can do this one. Yeah. Well, when you're in. Oh, sorry, yeah. My uh, updates in the B main were like, I couldn't do it. Because it was B main straight into the freaking triple A main. There was no break. <laughs> Ninth place. I got the four wheel and two wheel mod button. Oh, you did. Eighth place. Ryan Prince. One, two, three. Seventh place, Cole Henderson. From the bump up spot as well. That's pretty good considering the starting position. Yeah, yeah. Sixth place, Alan Homer.
Fifth place was uh, Tim Weekend, who took his already. Eddie Henry, fourth place. Third place, Noah Ward. Second place, Connor Perry. Connor Perry. And I'm seeing a chart here. TQ and a win for TJ Williams. Wait, hold on. Thank <laughs> you. 
Hey, Jason. I don't know. Everybody's pulling you multiple directions if you want to do the wrap up. Okay. Thank you. 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 Thank you.
Hey babe, make sure this is working when I click it on. Hey, we're gonna need it for a little bit, whoever has the short course. Okay. So I don't know. Well, we're gonna be doing an interview with Jason Rona. What's that? So, for the Adrenaline RC, uh -huh. race, I won a, a t shirt. Okay. And I still haven't got it. I'll make sure you get it. Hit me up. I don't know, we sent in the stuff, it might have slipped through the cracks. Okay. Hello? Yes. Working? Working? Perfect. Perfect. Here with obviously Jason Rona. Dude, amazing event out here. You said almost 300 entries. Um, give us the full wrap up here. We kind of changed months, tires changed, and uh, kind of threw everybody for a loop this year. Yeah, I mean, yeah, like you said, we came here before uh, last year. The first race of the year was uh, below zero here. Uh, obviously, we had snow yesterday outside. And, a little different condition, I think, in the summer versus the winter. Uh, uh, we all went to go compound tires, the guys that were racing the year last year. Uh, this year, everybody started with gold and gravitated towards the silver compound, which recently we're more familiar with. You know, gold was obviously something that ran a lot of in the past, but it's their local favorite. So, we uh, kind of that, the grass started to gravitate towards the silver that I talked about earlier. I did that. Uh, ran two qualifiers by a Britain's car. Uh, and uh, you know, they wanted me to try out the silvers, uh, so we threw it in there and I drove this car a couple times. And I guess it was okay enough to convince some of the drivers, Brock and others, uh, Lee, Cole, uh, the drivers to uh, go with the silvers. And in the end, uh, I think that was the right call. Brock ended up getting a T2 win with them, uh, the smoothie twos and the silver. And then uh, in, uh, in two wheel, he ended up getting a second. You know, Dustin had a great weekend. He, uh, one oh, two main great, great drive for him, and then uh, Brock kind of battled his way in the second, and uh, two wheels. So uh, we had a lot of fast guys. Will Britton actually he won the stadium truck race for this weekend. Uh, you know, we had a uh, uh, Alex, uh, one of the fun races that was watching the car, Mini Bees. Uh, Alex won the the, uh, the silver races, or I'm sorry, the uh, tire on the Mini Bees. Yeah, it's just different. You know, running these, each event is, has its own set of circumstances you kind of have to work with and overcome, obviously. Uh, probably one of the bigger tracks. This and, this and Hoosier, uh, as we uh, have Aiden Moore and our Washington family here, he was, he was, he was happy. Uh, so, so, yeah, I mean, obviously, this is one of the bigger tracks we have for the uh, But I think it's a favorite of all the racers. Everybody likes coming here, kind of opening their cars up, cars up, and like you said, we have a near sellout race, and Alex runs a good program, and he's got a good uh, system here to get new drivers in. It's a big, uh, big thing for all these guys, getting new drivers in. Uh, you know, I know I was talking about Tom earlier, they're not here as much as they used to be, because uh, Tom was out of the but they were saying that they come here a lot, and they're certain that new people all the time, they've never been in, and you know, they used to be local. So uh, they're seeing a lot of new drivers trying to the hobby and RC, which is good. Uh, and then Alex is just about everything across the board. If you want to race something, they'll pretty much race it here. We've been here for four years. 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 We've been here for four
Oh, it's going to be fun out there with, uh, with those guys out at Hoosier. And then also we have another NCTS uh, event. Where is that going to be at? And uh, we can guys afford that. Yeah, so I mean, right now on the calendar, uh, we started at CBT, we went to actually Northwest Hobbies. Uh, we kind of move on to our, uh, third race, which is uh, the one in Connecticut on the uh, outdoors. Uh, that's probably, as a racer, that's my favorite event. Unfortunately, I'm not going to get to go this year because the World Championships will be going on in Spain. So me and Anna and Allison will be in Spain, but we talked earlier to Paul and me, and we'll probably have a break for somebody to come up to the it should be really good. We're looking forward to it. Thank you so much for bringing us out here. And then, you know, another part on the on Saturn end, you know, we've had a, a couple races at 702, and I'm sure you've heard the news about that. Uh, what are your thoughts on, on that as well as uh, you know, the future for another round of uh, Jake Monson's event going into 2020? Yeah, I mean, it's a uh, uh, little bit of a surprise, but I think it's, I think it's to me, it's a thrill. Really, really, my three favorite places to race are the indoor carpet for the second of Most definitely, the sound not working. Not working. Hey, help cool right low and it's oh, echoing here. back and forth. So, okay. so, so well, we appreciate you, Jason. Thank you so much for everything. Uh, so we're gonna we're gonna have another round. There's, there are tracks out there, and uh, you know you always bring a, a world class event every time. And uh, we appreciate you and Jake Concepts and Anna and the entire Jake Concepts crew. So definitely, guys, go out and get out and grab some stuff. All those soldiers always have. I'm going to miss you, buddy. Like that of what's going on. And uh, you can see anything cool uh, coming up at, at Worlds here in Spain. And you were just there with, uh, with Spencer. Um, yeah, I mean, we just yeah, have, we just uh, have uh, so much going on between doing the 10 scale. We're going to have the four round tour in August. And try to come back to that. Try to get some news. And, uh, and then, of course, the Worlds in September. And I know we're going to have to come there with, uh, with uh, you know, the best that we can. so much, Jason, Jake Concepts, and everything that you guys do. We'll see you at the next one. Best luck at the World Championships. I think uh, I won't see you much before then, but definitely probably see you at future. So uh, best of luck out there. Thank you so much. And uh, it's hot. It's time to pack up and uh, buy you a shower. Thank you, Jason, so much. And uh, we'll see you at the next one. Oh, all done. <laughs> Thank you, buddy. Because you technically won it. You didn't bump. Oh, doggos, you're done.
Oh, yeah. You're, you're He's pooped. Oh, yeah. He's yeah. pooped over here. Nah, man, thank you the coverage. Hey, thanks, brother. I appreciate it. Did my nephew uh, ask you about a t-shirt? I think so, yeah. Something might have slept through the cracks. I, I have another batch that's going out, so I'll get him on this one. Cool. So, yeah, just message me on Facebook. Well, or, you know. Yeah, yeah we'll, we'll get you covered. No big deal. Oh, did you switch the camera? Okay. So the... Wasn't coming wasn't in? coming in? Well, see, look, it goes on there, but then when I put it on YouTube... Oh, maybe oh, this, maybe, this, maybe that was doing it. Okay. It's okay. Yeah, it is what it is. All right, we'll do a final outro here. Check, check. But the eye rig was peaking. This was coming up. Huh. Well, hopefully this was. Which one? This one or that one? Yeah. It should have been working. Ah, sorry, guys, if you guys weren't able to see that. Basically going through with Jason Rona. Uh, what's going on for the future? We were talking about um, the races out at, uh, you know, here. Um, had over 275 like, entries or something like that. Going through world stuff. Hopefully you guys were able to hear it. Um, we were in a different location and don't know maybe if uh, one was overdriving the other for the microphone. So hopefully you guys enjoy the coverage. Thank you so much uh, for tuning in. Uh, we'll see you guys at the next one. Um, our next J Concepts event will be, I do believe, the NCTS at RC Madness, and then we're also going to be covering Redemption, uh, a drag race simultaneously. So we're going to have Rudy at uh, RC Madness with all the mods set up, and then uh, Megan and I will be heading down to Redemption 2.0 for a drag race. So that's going to be a lot of fun, and uh, and then after that we've got Hoosier, and we're going to be going through going through live stream. So we really appreciate your guys's uh, support and uh, everything. And hopefully you guys enjoyed the stream. Um, we uh, try and do it as best as possible. And uh, sometimes maybe like that audio glitch there at the end, uh, we weren't able to, to catch that one. So it is what it is. But uh, maybe you can hear in a little bit, put on some earphones or something, catch with Jason what was, what was going on. So um, with everything, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the stream. Thank you so much for tuning in. I'm Matt Olson. Megan is right here behind the camera. She did awesome on cam for us all weekend long. Uh, couldn't have done it without her with all the replays and the telestrations and the, you know, the directing and what we were able to do with the waffle. And uh, I greatly appreciate you guys um, getting in on that and helping us out. I think we gave away a lot of, a lot of goodies to everybody. And um, we just really, really, uh, you know, appreciate your guys' support and, and what you guys do for the community as well. So special thanks to jconcepts.net, modspeedshop.com, and obviously at northwesthobbies.com for that raffle and uh, modhobbies.com for all the all the goodies in Mod Speed Shop and Mod Live Media. So um, we appreciate everything. Thank you so much, guys. It's super, super humid and hot um, out here. So uh, we're going to wrap up our bird's nest of wires and everything else that we have going on here. Until next time, we'll see you guys soon. Um, I think actually it'll be a kind of a cool event. I'm covering some... Uh, some little uh, mini guys on motorcycles, I think, next weekend. So that'll be pretty cool. You guys can tune into that. Something new, something fresh um, out at Glen Helen uh, motocross track. So should be a lot of fun. Thank you guys so much. Hopefully everybody can hear me. And, uh, yeah, so we're looking good. Enjoy it, guys. We'll see you soon. I'm Matt Olson. See you. Bye.